Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. Says many true no what what's a live stream? Claire, do you know what a live stream is? Nah. I don't know, it's like a video, but it like it happens in real time or something. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to one hell of a day. Um so so nah. is... Today Today the live stream is back and I get to like and I've just got like Rome Total War Remastered here, and I'm, I, don't, I don't care what it says. I, Claire, I told you to change. I didn't tell Claire to change this. What? What, what Claire should have done is she should have oh taken the Total War and, and brought it down. We should. Okay, Claire, can, before we do this again, can we make a new logo where we rearrange it so it actually goes Rome, then Total War, then Remastered? Can we actually have a new logo? And, wait, is I that believe a crime? John, oh, yes, crime. I believe, John, we have a policy that we don't. Change the logos of things. I'm changing that policy. It's Rome Total War Remastered. Can we? Oh, can we? Can fine, we just? Fine, yeah. Okay. Fine, I'll do that. I, I think do it that. might be. I think it might be a crime, but we're going to do that. Um, okay. So that's which is fine because it's not like we have to, you know, take time off next week to move house. No. Maybe. No. No. Speaking of which, yes. Oh God. Oh God. How moving house is hard. Uh, we're trying to move an intruder headquarters, and we've been trying to do it since cocking December. No, before that, December was like the point where it got serious. Uh, when do we start? I can't remember. I can... October? November, maybe? Something like I that. Can't We've been trying to move house for the last six cocking months. And it just keeps getting harder to do. Maybe it'll happen next week. I don't know. Who cocking knows? Welcome to Road to the Warrior Master. We're just going to talk about that instead. We're going to just talk about Rome. It's great. Yeah, we, we, we just had. <laughs> we just had. An exciting afternoon of yes. suddenly having to do a lot, a lot of, of like phone moving calls. admin and stuff. Yeah, phone calls and emails so, and all sorts of fun shit. Uh, so we're just going to do this. We're just, just going to play Road to the War instead. It's going to be great. Let's, okay, let's see if I can make this work. Because Road to the War, Road to the War. Remastered, not Total War Rome remastered. I refuse. Uh, everything's fine. Oh so let's God. see if I can just make this work here. And in a second. Oh, blimey, that's a bit. Okay, so the title screen was always a bit aggressively loud in Rome. It's fine. The real thing should definitely be not, 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 not so much. I think I'm allowed. To, I, thought, I hope I'm allowed to show all this off. By the way, I think this is fine. I, think I can show this off. There's, there's grump, there's grumpy dot Caesar and the less grumpy barbarians and so forth. They also, I swear, it's, after I first saw this, they patched in a new thing in the background. He'll be around in a second. Um, not Egypt man. There's like, it, 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 he's not really, he's not really a tiller. Man, but it, him, this guy, he wasn't in the game the first time I saw it. They kind of added him in, because I'm like, it's really fascinating. I'm just getting this game as they just, like, release it. And, like, they, they keep patching it. And, like, some stuff, they're specifically patching, because I'm telling them to patch it. It's great. It's like I'm a god of Rome Total War. It's magnificent. Hey, John. Yes. Did you turn off Super Chats? Because people are saying they can't do Super Chats. That's interesting. I, I, I wasn't aware. Go down and uh, click there. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're logging as me right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try just turning them off and on again. Just t t turn off and on again, see if that works. <laughs> Wait, didn't you just try and turn it off and it's still... Yeah. Click that. I clicked turned off and then it put itself back on. Okay, now it's off. Now turn it back on. Yeah, let me do stickers as well. Yeah, do, do both. Now turn them both back on, and we'll see what happens. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> whatever. La 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 la. la, 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 la. Let's fight. Uh, okay, sorry. The big, the big one I wanted to talk about. Bloody hell! I'm just gonna turn down the audio. But the, 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 this, this is one thing they haven't changed. The music was always a bit aggressively loud on the title screen, and it still is. Let's just, let's just turn that down a little bit. Let's just have that. La, la, la. All right. It looks like now it might work. Oh, I mean, oh. I, I've. I've turned it back on again. Oh, I'll have to have that back that later. Okay, I want to show them. This is something... Okay, so one, uh, exciting new confirmations for you times many. Um, next episode of Night's Old Republic is going to be... Uh, Night's Old Republic is... Yeah, I think we finally figured out how to do this, by the way. We, we all... I think... Well, hopefully. <laughs> we don't know. Bag of YouTube's a mess. Um, so what we did was... Um, I, I, the one KOTOR's about to end on Friday... After that, full series of Rome Total War Remastered. All right, I can bring you a full series. It's great. You mean Total War Rome Remastered, don't you? Shut up. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be fine. Um, and I was going to I was gonna show this off there, but I can show it off here now anyway, which is... Um, so remember how the, basically in my video, I said, oh yeah, they, the one problem I had with the population, the population uh, mode and the way population is handled. 
in this game. Whereas I wanted them to um, have the, uh, where it's real populations, where uh, taking people out of your population eats, uh, yeah, it's working, uh, eats a huge amount of um, oh, yeah. people. And then you just ban them elsewhere, and then you get a huge number of people elsewhere. And that wasn't a thing. So they sent me a mod. Um, I kept complaining about it. So they did this, which is now, it's its own thing. I got the, they, officially it's called the population cost rebalancing setting. So you can now set this as a thing. It's in the game. This is now, I don't, this is, this is basically because I wouldn't shut, stop bitching. I wouldn't stop bitching to the yeah. dev team about this. I like, I, I spoke about this on like three extended conversations about how important the population system was to this game. And eventually they gave in. And they made this, and now population cost balancing is its own toggle in the game. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a whole bunch of other stuff um, that's been added in that's, uh, that I just kind of, because I was complaining to them about it. So, like, um, they're being really receptive. The devs are actually listening um, to, like, what, because they, they've given it to, like, a few people who are really old school, hardcore Rome Total War fans. And, like, we're on the Discord with them. We're engaging with them. Like, you know, we're literally, like, you know, we're, when we spot things we don't, like, it's not just bug reports. Like, when we just see stuff we don't like, we just say, hey, you know what? I've put thousands of, into, thousands of hours into this game. I think this is important. And they're actually changing, they're actually changing stuff on the fly, like, for us, as we complain about it, which is really cool. Okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm trying to make them make so many changes, and some of them are not workable. Um, and some of them are just like, you know, it's just, if you put thousands of hours into this game, you know about really old legacy residual bugs. Um, so this this is basically, this is many a true nerd mode. So basically what I do is I, I'll put everything in remastered, and I just leave this on classic, because I find this hilarious. So, and like, when you, if you get this game, if you get this game right now... Then, like, if you if you turn that mode on, that's John mode. All right, that's that's John mode right there. That's that's what that is. Which I'm very excited by. Uh, one thing I'm not going to turn on in the actual series, but I'm going to turn it on here because why not? Is there is hello extreme unit scale. <laughs> the game flags this as experimental. Here is an exclamation mark inside a triangle. Please, for the love of God, don't turn this on. But I'm going to do it anyway. Um, this is because this is a unit scale so large, it's beyond what the, the original game was designed for. So, the city streets are kind of not big enough for the units. Lol. I'm gonna turn it on anyway. Ha <laughs> Um, so, I'm gonna turn this on because this is like, I think it's like 300 peasants. Uh, 300 peasants per, 300 men per peasant. Sorry, 300 peasants per peasant. What? Uh, oh, what? And as a result of that, I, I can like, what earth are you doing now? Well, I'm trying to understand what you're saying when you're talking about the number There's of There's 300 peasants, peasants right? per a peasant, okay? It's a new peasant exchange rate, alright? 300 peasants and a shilling, it's fine. Um, but so, so if you do that, if you turn on extreme mode, and then you turn on population cost rebalancing, every peasant you train trains 300 taxpayers out of your city! It's dumb! It makes no cooking sense! The entire world just goes bananas because the AI just kills itself! It's the best thing! And it only exists because I demanded it! It's great. Uh, so that's, that's where we are. That's where we are right now. Um, so, what we're going to do is, um, we do have limits tonight. There's limits on what I can show you. For example, um, I do have access to the DLC campaigns, Barbarian Invasion and Alexander. I can't show you them. I do have them. Uh, they, they seem to be really good. Uh, they, they run very smoothly as far as I can tell. But I can't really, I don't like, we can't really talk about them in huge detail. And I can't show them off yet. Um, we're, so, we're, we're just in the base game. Which is fine. Uh, and you notice, obviously, yeah, we got all these new factions. We got these factions we didn't used to have. Uh, so, like, I think today we're going to go into a faction that, like, didn't used to be in the game. Which I think will be super fun. Uh, so, Claire, I think I asked you to have a straw poll ready. Yeah. Um, so, yes. What we're going to have is it's, it's definitely going to be, like, a new faction. Factions we didn't used to get access to. So, okay. Put put, put the options are. Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have the options ready to go here? So, faction is the question, by the way. Faction. Faction is the question. Uh, yeah. so Pontus didn't used to be in the game. Uh, Pontus didn't used to be in the game. Yeah. Uh, so Pontus is an option. Scythia didn't used to be in the game. I had to double check this, because if you'd asked me, I'd have sworn blind Scythia was in the game. But I went to check, like, the old Rome wiki, and it said, no, Scythia was never a playable faction. Which is really weird. Um, so Scythia, 
uh, should be an option. Spain was never an option. Spain was a brilliant hybrid faction. It got, like, um, barbarian, uh, like, and Carthaginian troops, and it got proper artillery, which most barbarian factions didn't. Uh... What? Oh, I thought I thought Claire was I thought Claire was signalling me for some reason, but no. no. And Armenia, Armenia's fun uh, as well. Armenians they get cataphract archers. They're the only faction that gets cataphract archers. Um, and the other two are Dacia and Thrace, which are right next to each other. So we'll leave, we'll leave them. We don't let have like uh, all the options. Hey guys, please uh, <clears throat> don't vote in the chat. We are putting together. There will a be a poll. We can't count. The votes that are in the chat, and also, yeah. uh, it does make it a little bit more difficult to uh, see other comments that go on that people are making that are not about the vote. Yes. Um. So there you go. Uh, we did do a full series, of course, on Brute and Slayer Sids already. So we won't. So we won't be. Super chats are broken for anybody not in the. Some people are saying outside the US super chats aren't working. Something just came in in pounds though, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, we we we're, we're not sure. We're not sure. If you'd rather just go and go and join the Patreon, you could do that too. Uh, Patreon submission the thread. will be here in the chat when John is done telling me the options, guys. That's those are the options. Those four. Yeah, you only told me two of them. No, I didn't. I said Spain and Armenia. Okay. What are you doing? Following. Ah, uh, it's your, your job, My whatever. Job, yeah. Yeah, okay. Spain and Armenia are the other mm -hmm. options. There we go. Lovely. So that's going to be coming into the chat. Uh, Mo man terrible. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you're the, oh, they get um, cataphract, same as Parth. Like, I mean, it always struck me as odd. Because, like, in modern Total War games, you get so many clone factions. But Rome didn't have a single clone faction. Even the non-playable factions had their own stuff. Like, Macedonia was the only Greek faction with really solid uh, <coughs> cavalry. And Pontus got, like, the chariots, which, like, most people around them... Uh, didn't get, and Armenia got cataphract archers, which no one else got. Uh, Dacians were specialist in range. Thracians got Greek and barbarian stuff, and Spain got Carthaginian and barbarian stuff. Even Numidia, who are generally like, deemed as like the least interesting faction, they got camel troops, which no one else got. People are upset about you not putting in Macedon, because apparently it wasn't in the original. You're right! Okay, t delete, delete the poll and create a new one with Macedon in it. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> That's fair. Macedon should be included. Macedon was not originally in, and they are a big central faction in the Wait, middle. I can edit the options. But can you? Apparently. Have you actually already shared it, though? Yes, I have. Well, then that's not fair, is it? Yes, yes. Just give me a second <laughs> to figure it out. Okay. Uh... You're going to give me a second, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in slow mode, because there's 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 many people. Uh-huh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. My fault, probably, in some way. Oh, yeah? Uh, but yeah, the, the Numidians get, um, they, they get cavalry, and they get cavalry arch. We can have Numidia oh, in there as well. <laughs> Whoa. Lol. YouTube! I'll, 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 I'll complain to YouTube about this. Now I have turned out I have infinite power. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them to fix it. It's going to be fine. Oh, dear. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Doing some plug again, Axlam. Yeah, I was sorry, it just, uh, it, it, it fell off. Uh-huh. All right, all right. I, I'm doing any, I'm, I'm, I'm we do, doing We're doing any. new poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, we'll have new media in there as well. Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so we're going to... Okay, new midi uh yeah. Macedon. Yeah, Macedon. And then the four that were there, yeah? And then the four that were there, yes. We have new media we in there as well. We need to do a, a runoff because uh -huh. there's a lot now. No, no runoffs. All right, all right. One only. All right, this is first past the post voting. It's the worst that's, way to do that's voting. very good. It's the that. worst way to do voting, but here we go. Okay, new post coming in right now. Mm hmm. Oh, dear. Right, new poll coming in with, with like, Five or something options. It's going to be great. Six, John. Uh, shout out to Hunter who gave us $50. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and uh, they say, first time I've ever been able to catch a live stream live. Thanks for the years of great content. And look forward to more uh, Rome Total War remastered content. St full series starting on Monday. And uh, you know what? I'll reveal it. I'll reveal it at the end of this, uh, the end of this yeah. live stream. It is not just a brand new series of Rome Remastered. It is the first ever Rome Remastered. In fact, Rome Total War full stop challenge run. It's a challenge run. 
Okay. And Stop. folks, I started editing it today. Yeah. And it is good fun. It's dumb. It's so dumb. Yeah. Uh, a challenge run uh, in Road to the War is starting on Monday. Okay. So that's it. That's 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 interesting. Right there. Oh dear. Pfft. Lols. Uh. Yes, there you go. You were briefly logged in as me. I, I saw. No, most... I am logged in as you mm -hmm. all the time, so I can be in the studio. Yeah, makes sense. I should probably make you a, a, a whatever, an admin or something. N n no, I mean, I am, but it's just mm -hmm. like... Uh, fair it's enough. Just, it, it's fine, it's fine. Don't Excellent. you worry your pretty head about it. <laughs> Shut up, you. I'm the talent, as they call me in the industry. Yeah, but I'm like, you know, the the... the I'm the one that does the work, so... What? Do you not? I'm like the Vimes to your veterinary. Mm, I mean... You're right, I'm like more the Vimes to your nobby. That's more like... Wow! Fuck you, You're dog. right, you know what, you're colon. You, you can be... You, 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 are, you are Sergeant Colon, I'm Vimes. That's fine. Or Corporal Carrot. Oh, no, I'm, I'm Carrot. I feel like I'm Carrot. Yeah, Perfect I mean, you're definitely Carrot. <laughs> you're definitely Carrot. Yeah. But, like, that makes me Angua, so I'm cool with that. You're not Angua. And also, I've never been sure how you're supposed to pronounce her name. I've never been 100% clear on that. Mm -hmm. Dear, oh dear. Oh. Uh. Right, give us some super chats while waiting for the votes to come in. All right, all right. If I can find them, because <laughs> YouTube is doing a fucking YouTube again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, shout out to Josh, who gave us $2 and says, Hello from Washington State in the USA. Uh, and then we've got... Best uh, state. It's my favourite state. Seattle's great. Uh-huh. Uh, Department of Redundancy Department, who gave us five Swiss francs, uh, and says, Last year I was elected youngest deputy speaker of the Geneva Parliament. In six weeks, it should be my turn as speaker. The pressure is rising. Amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, we've heard about that, uh... <laughs> We've heard about that before, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Just in case you need a quick catch-up, by the way, Macedon is uh, phalanxes and good cavalry. Pontus is amazingly awful cavalry, the odd phalanx and chariots, which are hilarious. Armenia is cataphracts and cataphract archers. Numidia is camels, the only faction I believe that can actually train uh, camels. They don't have, to, uh, don't have to hide them. Scythia is, of course, horse archers across the sky. And Spain has a really good varied roster of infantry. Including naked fanatics and bull warriors who are great fun. The guy the basically just legionaries in disguise. Clap. Um Rat Poison says John is rinse when declare is two flower. <laughs> also fair. Yes, that's actually that's fair. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's more accurate than any of our watch related analogies. <laughs> you could also be Magrat. You could be Magrat. Mm, yeah, yeah, it could be Magrat. I think you'd be um, good Magrat. Though I hope that if I start as... Uh, I, I do hope that um, in my old age I develop into Nanny Og. Yeah. I think that's that's a... That's a I think you're a Magrat who could become a Nanny Og, that's fair. Like, I think that's a, that's a yeah. good ambition how's, for, for, your, for our old age. How's um, the poll going, by the way? Do we have, do we have a confirmed answer? Uh, you, we have a definite winner, yeah. We have a 40% of the vote. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that is Mastodon. Mastodon it is. Yeah. All right, Mastodon start off in a good... Well, Mastodon start off in a difficult position. Yeah. Uh, but you can snipe off the Romans nice and early. Uh, this, Which is why I kind of... I probably wouldn't go for them for, like, a full campaign. Because it's a bit too easy to just snipe off the Brutii, like... And just, like, dumb. Brutii gone. Then you've just killed a Roman family. Uh, like, it's, it's a bit, like... It's a bit too easy if you're Carthage or a Greek faction to just say, You know what? I'm just going to go and I'm just going to squish the Romans before they get going. Uh, so generally, like, if I'm doing, like, a faction that's, um, that's, like, not Rome, I want to start further away from Rome. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, make vague hints as to what I might be thinking of doing, uh, on Monday. What do you want to do? You know, Soleil said back in the day, they start way over here. Uh, example, obviously we're going to do very hard, very hard. Uh, we'll go for no battle time limit, follow characters. Uh, to may as well turn on short campaign, because why not? And, uh, okay, mass on it is. And I think I can't, okay, I need to, I need to hit enter. There we go. Uh, I think one of the things I'm not supposed to show is the intro sequences, because they're not quite done yet. Work, work in progress. So I can't show you the intro sequences, I think. Uh, so that's fine. There we go. Everything is lovely. Uh, this is... No, the game's out for, like, a couple of weeks, but they've just given me the full version, and they're just letting me kind of tell them what to put in it, which is a bad idea. Uh, 
Oh dear, very bad idea. Mastodon is tricky. They start off in a really overstretched position. Oh, it's fun thing that also has been added in since I uh, showed this off, by the way. Some people thought the, ba the map was a bit too, like, vibrant. They thought it was a bit too colourful. It's a bit more colourful than the original. Mm. You can change that now. Uh, you can just change that. So in the graphic settings, you can just kind of say, uh, uh b -b 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 campaign vibrancy. If you want to just go, you know what, I'm boring and I, and I hate colour, then you can just make the map like that. You can just see the map is now a lot less vibrant. But that, but I'm not the most boring person in the world, so I'm not having that. Uh, so yeah, you can not only have uh, the unit colour scale be a bit more kind of like, you know, uh, bland and grey and brown. You can also have the actual campaign map be, be way nicer. Uh, so you can have the campaign map be way more kind of like uh, uh, fiddly diddly or not. Uh, so okay, uh, Thrace is obviously going to make a beeline for Byzantium. Uh, I start off over here. Sparta is currently unguarded, but it has actual Spartans in it, which is a problem. Uh, and that's not enough to, to do that. Uh... Uh, Athens starts off... Athens, this has always been a fun trick, by the way. Athens starts off with one of the only academies that's already on the map in the game. Um, so if you can get in there first, the first person, the first general in the game who sits in a city with an academy... Um, gets to basically get a whole bunch of unique celebrity followers. And the same thing for the scriptorium, and the same thing for the, um, the, uh, Ghibli Jibber. Ludus Magna? I think, whatever it is. Um, so, like, you know, taking Athens super early is really valuable for that reason. Uh, and there's also, yeah, I kind of may as well get, keep an eye over to here. I probably want to stay friends with uh, the Greek cities if I can. Uh, if I can get to Apollonia before the Romans do, that'd be good. It's easier for Greece to do. Otherwise, the Brucha would be along here. But they won't take it their first turn. It'll take them... They'll, they might well land here, this their turn, but they won't actually attack it till the turn after. So, do I have enough cavalry to get over here? Because, yes, okay, this is... Sorry, this live stream's just gonna be me gushing about Rome, about Rome Total War. Like, you know in modern Total War games how you've got stances? How a general has a certain amount of movement points... And the army with them can move that far. Doesn't matter whether the army is entirely, like, you know, heavy siege equipment or, like, artillery or, like, swift light cavalry. Moves the same distance. And, like, you know, if your general has, I get 10% more movement, then everything gets 10% more movement. And it makes no sense. It's just, it's, it's not organic. But, no, no, in Rome, in flipping Rome... How far you can move is a function of what you are. If you build nothing but a cavalry army, you don't need a march stance because you just go further. But infantry just can't go as far. And artillery just went even less far. That's how artillery was powerful, but still balanced. It literally slows your army down to be carting artillery around. And that makes so much sense. And it's never been in Rome Total War since. It's, I think it was in... I think it dropped out in Empire? And it's never been back. It's so sad. Why was this not a thing? I'm just going to send my faction leader together with all my cavalry, my elite Macedonian cavalry, and my light lancers over here. Um, assuming that Rome do not, and I may as well just kind of slap down a um, slap down a tower uh, by a what's that? Thracian mercenaries. No, I'll leave them. I'll pick them up on the way past. I can easily make it here next turn. So I'm just going to try and snipe Apollonia just so the brute I can't get it, uh, which is fine. Uh, everything mm, else... Cavalry armies do have different movements in Three Kingdoms, people are saying. Oh, is that back in Three Kingdoms? That, I uh, genuinely didn't notice that. Yeah, one of many James that says movement has worked the same in almost every Total War game. And it doesn't then, in Warhammer. It definitely does not in Warhammer. 100% mm, it does not in Warhammer. Yeah, but, like, Warhammer is, you know, mm -hmm. a fantasy game. Yes. So... And Athens has got like four units in it. I want to send most of you over to here. Uh, I will spend... I've got a bit of money. I'll buy a mercenary pelter. Ash probably shouldn't have bought them. They're not very good. Uh, instead, just get another tower down. Where is my diplomat, by the way? My diplomat's over here. I'm going to bring my diplomat down to basically have a chat with uh, the Greek cities as early as possible. If I can get them locked into an alliance, like, right at the start of the game, that's great. Um, bum, 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 bum. Other than that, just move around over to here. Send reinforcements from Larissa. I just want to basically rush Athens. If I can just, like, rush Athens, then that's great. Uh, and then send you over to here. Those six units together should be able to handle it. When I say they should be able to handle it, they're not actually very good at, like, taking cities uh, when there's walls up. But we, we can kind of cheese it. It's fine. 
Uh, Thessalonica, then there's Bylazora over here. I'll probably just keep these guys where they are because Dacia can't really be trusted. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind sending you up to here just for the sake of a little bit further. A little bit further. You make it back? Yeah, you can still make it back. Uh, and then slap down another tower. That'll just warn me if Dacia's on the move. Because, yeah, look at those bastards. I just, I just want to have visibility of them. Uh, towers can be... I think this was new. Towers can be seized. They've now got little flags over them. So you can seize a tower. When I first played this game, uh, towers did not change hands automatically when you took a territory. I said this is really annoying in Barbarian Invasion. Because the um, Western Roman Empire has towers like all across its borders. If they just don't change when you take an error, it's really irritating. Uh, so they changed it. Again, I, I've gone mad with power, Cloud. That's, that's yeah, what's happening. I've, yeah, I've, just, yeah. I've just gone completely mad with power. Uh, Alright, um, yes. just a reminder for everybody, it looks like Super Chats aren't working for a number of people. It's not on our side. We tried uh, turning them We turned it off, off and on and again. That's on again. the extent of our technical knowledge. Uh, that's all we can do. Okay, um, so it looks like it's YouTube YouTubing. So if you have anything you'd like to say, if you want to give a Super Chat, but you... Are not able to um one option for getting uh, one option for supporting the channel is to check out the patreon uh page and then one option for giving a message uh having a message read out is to at reply me in the chat so at reply claire russo in the chat and um then um you know i'll try to make sure to read loads of messages from from chat as well uh, we've got loads of questions about the remaster itself. Yeah, you've got questions about the remaster itself. We can, I can try and answer them for you yeah, right I now. Yeah, I don't know if there's things that you're allowed to say or not say. I think I'm allowed to say just about everything at this point okay. if it's about this game. So, I think it's fine. Couple of questions yes. uh, about the game then. Yeah. Uh, the archives want to know if you can be a Roman. If you can be Roman Senate in this remastered, sorry. No, that's the only faction that's not become a lot, along with the rebels, uh, because it's just kind of, it doesn't really make sense mm -hmm. uh, to be Rome. So I assume you could unlock it just like you can the original, just by tinkering with the files in the back end. Uh, but if you can, I do not know how to do it yet. Uh, uh, but like, it should be a fairly simple unlock, just like it always used to be. Okay, next question. Uh... Does this remaster require a high-end PC to enjoy the graphics? That's from Chris. Uh, I have not had the chance to uh, play it on multiple rigs. I've just played it on my rig. Uh, but I've spoken to other people who have played it on, like, fairly unremarkable rigs. And they seem to have had a pretty good experience of it uh, so far. So I think, it's, I think it should be okay. But I can't, like, guarantee that. Because I've only played it on my system. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Max would like to know if there are any land bridges on the campaign map in the remaster. No, land bridges have not been added. Uh, it kind of looks like they have. Because if you look at that there, it literally looks like there is a land bridge there. And it looks like there's a land bridge over here by Regium uh, too. But they are not there. I, I have tried marching troops over there and like tried to walk over this gap. You cannot move over this gap. Um, so there, there is no land bridges were first introduced at various points, like around Constantinople and on Sicily in Medieval 2. Uh, they have not been, uh, they've not been retroactively added in, uh, as an option. I don't think anyone's particularly racism as a thing that ought to be in the game, because it wasn't in the original, and like, you know... Uh, to my mind, it's kind of good there's not land bridges because I like the fact that if you want to control a crossing, if you can just park your fleet like in a location then your troops can just cross using the fleet because entering and leaving a fleet like doesn't really seem to cost movement points in this game whereas like um in in some other games like entering and leaving a fleet can like end your turn effectively uh, but like in this game you could just like you could use it to basically use a fleet as a bridge and then like you could displace someone else's fleet for the same reason uh which i happen to like so i think that's actually pretty good um, so I'm perfectly happy with, uh, with all of that. So I've got troops just piling in every direction. I'm, I'm beelining towards Byzantium, Athens, and Apollonia. I'm just going to basically just try and, um, s grab some territory. Uh, and I should probably raise some additional troops. Uh, what can I actually raise here, by the way? Not much! Okay, peasants in Corinth. Great, literally nothing. I do have light lancers as an option over here. Light lancers are great, really light, but they're ludicrous dumb fast. Uh, so I'll get one of them uh, in production over here. And I will get some levy pikemen. In production over here, because Levy Pikemen are really good. They can out trade effectively against militia hoplites simply because they can reach further. So, yeah, just end the turn. And same old, same old. Dacia. Oh, what are you doing, Dacia? 
What are you doing? Okay, they're withdrawing to their city. Good. Uh, Don't come hey, me. folks, if you've asked me a question and I haven't asked it to John yet, uh, please bear with us. There are a lot of questions uh, you don't need to ask again a bunch of times. If you've at replied me, I am copying it into my document. Mm -hmm. So it will get asked. Uh, shout out to JT, Grump and Dennis, both of whom asked if sea battles have been added. Sea battles are exactly the same as they always were. It's auto-resolved as a function of um, uh, just uh, the strength and the boats and whatever. They're exactly as they used to be. There has been no attempt to retroactively add sea combat in, which is probably a good idea because... <laughs> Ro uh, Total War as a franchise has spent two decades struggling with how to do sea combat. And in the end, in Warhammer, just kind of threw, the right, the, threw their uh, hands up in the air and said, Screw it! Every time armies meet at sea, there's just a convenient island. And they'll fight on the convenient island. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Screw you all. Uh, which is probably for the best. Can I ally with these guys? That's generous. Good. I'll take it. Okay. I'm now allied with the Greek cities, which is fine. Because it means, yep, yeah, the, um, the Bruto haven't even bothered uh, showing up. Which is really good. Uh, so we can also just get over to here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to ask you some of these questions about the game in a kind of a quick, uh, um, what's it called? A uh, quick fire round? Quick fire round, okay. All right, quick fire round of questions yeah. from uh, San Coben. Have the banners changed? Uh, some of the banners have changed. You may notice that uh, Maston has gone over to, uh, yeah, it no longer uses, I think it used the old, did it use the old Lambda? symbol i think it used to i think mastodons have changed some of them have not egypt's for example are the same as they um they used to be some of the banner the greek cities you can see is the same as it used to be some have changed some haven't uh let's see um have you played the alexander campaign that's from click i have not played it in the new version the only campaign i've played that's not the base game it is uh, barbarian invasion i think barbarian invasion is the superior campaign to alexander and always was uh, so, but that's just, mate, that's just my take on the world. Yay, we get out, we get Apollonia nice and fast. Uh, the Bruti were too slow to take it, so screw those dicks. I get that before they get in. And it's only a single militia hoplites versus Peltas, so we should be able to sort that out pretty easily. This guy can. Yes, we've got night battles, though I probably won't do that for the most part. Because night battles, like, some of, it can be really dark. Actually, I'll do it once, because this is going to be a short fight. But if you're very unlucky, it can be really dark. And then probably YouTube processing hates it. It's great. All right, do the city walls upgrade uh, with city level or are they separate like in the original from Sir Roderick? Just like the original, they are separate, but they've probably been the single most redesigned asset because some of the, the high level walls did look a bit dumb. Um, so they've been uh, they've been kind of uh, changed uh, a little bit. So they look a bit more badass at the higher level in particular, uh, which I think is is for the best. All right, um, mm, 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 let's see. So, bear with me, folks. There are a number of questions. I will get to them. Uh, let's see. Brian wants to know if there's a number, uh, if there's a limited number of building slots in cities. No, just as it ever was, there is just, um, you can build everything if you want to. There's nothing to stop you if you've got enough money from building literally everything. Are there plans to add co-op campaigns? That's from Yasha or Lasha, I'm not sure. That I do not know. Uh, that's not something I am privy to one way or the other, so I'm not sure. Um, mm -mm -mm. Retin wants to know uh, your opinion on the Alexander expansion, uh, seeing as you haven't played it yet. Uh, I haven't played it in this, but I played it um, in the original. Yeah, I think that's I, what he means. Sorry. I was never a fan, to be honest. I feel like it's the weakest part of the. Uh, I feel like it's the weakest part of the uh, the original uh, Rome in some ways, which is oh okay. Okay, Th this is why we don't use the largest unit scale. By the way, the the the, the um in city streets, they gen the AI generally gets confused and it doesn't know how to navigate anymore. So that they're, they're desperately trying to they're trying to work around. They're trying to get to here, but the only way they know how to do it is is to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna okay. Let's just fall back and let the um the skirmishers come to us, and we'll see if my cavalry can navigate the city streets. <laughs> oh no. This is going to be... Oh, there's one, there's, one, there's one brave horse who's going ahead. God bless you, you magnificent bastard. Well done. Well flipping done. He's, he, he's trying. He's trying, damn it. He's doing his best. There's just one light lance who's like, you know what? I'm going to be over here. It's going to be great. Oh, no. This is, this is going to be interesting right here. How are we going to do this when there's... No, guys, what are you doing? Okay, the horse managed to find his way out. Well done, that horse. Everything's under control. Everything is under control. We're going to surround them. Then I'm going to hit them from every single angle simultaneously. 
guys, this is... Yes, they did warn us, pathfinding is kind of broken on the extreme unit scale. Because the, the AI just doesn't know how to, like, navigate, especially through tight areas. So it, it's 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 good stuff. It's, 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 oh dear, oh dear lord. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Let's see where we're at with those questions, uh, of which there are many. Ooh, um, pretty flames. Yeah, you need to let me do a quick fire round of more than two questions at a time, by the way. Okay, do a quick fire round, go on. Uh, have things like the Siege Tower Bumblebug been solved? Yes, that has been fixed as far as, well, if it, if it had still happens, I haven't seen it yet. The Siege Towers appear to work a lot more smoothly, they connect to the walls a lot more better, they path a lot more, uh, effectively, they don't bumble, and no one falls out of the Siege Tower to their death, which is great. Are there recruitment slots as in Medieval 2? No, exactly the same as in 1, it's train 1 unit per turn per settlement. Uh, uh, is the economy still broken? That's maybe a yes, it is big question for. Okay, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it um, is. It's, it's still it's still heavily trade fa It's still heavily trade favored. Uh, if anything, it's gone more tradey because the new merchant unit just generates new trade units and like new trade routes that shouldn't otherwise be in the game. It's great. Let's see if I can just kind of get these guys to bumble forwards a little bit, and then we'll just send in you guys up the side here, um, and then you guys up the side here. Let's see if anyone can successfully navigate the, the paths of the town. I'm just going to send it to everybody. It's going to be great. So, yeah, from uh, from Brian, uh, did they turn down how much money you make off trade? It sounds no. like no. Nope. No, okay. Um, mm, mm, let's see. Uh, not a question. Freestyle Worm says, your pretty eye campaign was my introduction to the channel. So cool to be joining the live stream. It feels very full circle. Excellent. That's lovely. And Myra says, uh, news, I got vaccinated today. I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Good for you. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, T Killer would like to know, Claire, has anyone told you today you are very nice? Oh. No. Though, to be fair, Tabby purred at me a lot today in a fashion that suggested I was very nice. So that's good. Right, let's just slap these guys in the rear, and then as soon as they turn around, I'm just gonna hit. As soon as they try and You're turn just around, ignoring that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now they're gonna yeah. try and turn around, so I'm just gonna slap them in the rear again, and then then we're just gonna have them surround. I'm just sending it all my cavalry. So I don't know where you're going. I don't know where these guys are going. And then we're just gonna hit these guys in. I don't know which way we're hitting these guys. I'm just gonna. Oh, screw it. We're just gonna charge at them anyway. Yeah, screw you. And they're, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're shaken. They're fine. If we can, like, maybe at some point, like, not charge into them, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's just, there's too many horses that don't fit. They don't fit in the territory. Can we, get, can, can we break these guys at some point? If we could, they're wavering. Come on, 14, 13, 10. If they could just break at some point, I'd really appreciate it. There we go, they're broken. Good, so we got that. The units don't fit in the towns. This is why we don't use extreme unit scale for the most part. They literally don't fit. The enemy general's dead. I don't, I don't know. Everyone just, you just, just, everyone just focus on like killing whoever these guys are. It's great. Everyone just, 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 just find a way to just, just kill some, kill some peasants. Just, just give them a stab. There wasn't anyone there, but it's fine. Yay! There you go, Macedonian cavalry. Just lost so many troops here. Right. Still, the mostly the loss was out of the general. He'll he'll be he'll regrow them. Claire. Uh, yes. Let's do a couple actual super chats. Yes. Things, uh, now because I've just seen a few coming in that are really really big. So thank Ooh. you very much. There's extremely generous people today. Shout out to Department of Redundancy Department who gave us 48 Swiss francs and says I offer this super chat in honor of those of us who can't praise Juliana Oh, that's very kind of you under the slightly mysterious circumstances we don't understand. Thank you so much. Amanda gave us $100. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Uh, Amanda says, you guys are back. We miss you guys. Today is my anniversary at work. Seven years. And oh, I wow. have a migraine. We love you oh, guys. Oh, no. We love you guys and my girls, Carmelita and Caitlin, loved your Roller Coaster Tycoon video. That was fun. That was a fun yes. thing. And yeah, it goes night. It's night. If you if you do a night battle, it's night on the battle map afterwards, which is really cute. I like it. Super uh, cute. Shout out to Ethan, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very uh, much, Ethan. And says, ad block tax, thanks for all the entertainment. Throughout my university studies and this pandemic, you have gotten me through many a biophysics piece set. And Latin translation. Uh, I love all of the classic fact and excitement on this channel. I love the I love the random excitement too. Random excitement is excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, another fifty dollars from Nick. Thank you so so much. Thank you very very much indeed. 
Uh, and Nick says, I've been watching since 2014 and you've always been something to look forward to on a bad day and help me laugh. Good luck with Moving House. Thank you, John Claire and Tabby. Love you guys. Keep up the great work and give Tabby some scriptures for me. We'll give her the scriptures. Yes. It's always sad when Sparta builds walls on turn one. If the army happens to move over here and they don't build walls on turn one, you can just take Sparta. <laughs> And, okay, admittedly, they're my allies, so I definitely shouldn't do that. But, you know, it's it's an option. It's nice that it's an option. Always good to have that as an option. Always welcome. And, yeah, uh, it's, it's just, uh, the, economy, the economy makes a lot more sense now, which is now the amount of money you're making is the actual amount of money that like, you're, like, you know, making. And, like, the amount of the troops are taken out of it. You can change that. If you don't like it, put it back to how it was, where, like, giant cities, the game's like, this settlement's losing money. It's not. It's just it's over-assigned troops to it, and it happens to be a city that's, like, inland, and thus doesn't have a port, which kind of screws over. Ooh, that's nice. The Colossus of Rhodes is being lit up from below. Okay, I want you to know this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very important This to me. was one of the many questions several people asked about this. Please go ahead. Yeah. I, I have raised with the dev team several times... That the Colossus of Rhodes is not in the right place. And he's just standing there in the middle of the countryside on a hill, nowhere near the port, looking sad. And he was always in the wrong place. And could they please move him, at the bare minimum, down towards the port? And they've said they tried, they tried putting him on the beach and he looked wrong. He looked wrong on the beach. He looked like it was a glitch. And I've said, can he at least just go next to the port? I know he can't really go, like, on the port, you know, so the chips kind of go between his legs. And they go, oh, they did bother putting the balls in. Uh, but, like, you know, they, they probably can't do that. But, like, could they at least put him next to the port? And I've asked them to do this twice. I've asked them twice. And they've said they will look into it. But the problem is, like, it would kind of be this side of the island might be a bit too crowded. But I have... I have asked... Damn it. I've asked them, can they please, after 17 years, can the Colossus of Rhodes get justice? I begged them. And they said they're looking into it. Another option is, yes, they could move the port. They could move the port. That's probably a better option. I, I should probably tell that. I probably say, can we just move this port? It's down over here. And that if this port's just here, like, if this port was here, that would actually be pretty good. So I'm, I'm just going to... It's going to be great. So I'm hopefully going to take Athens. Pretty soon, this guy will then get a bunch of uh, lovely, lovely bonus uh, stuff. Uh, and we may or may not beat Thrace to Byzantium. We'll have to see. And even if I do, I don't think four militia hoplites is going to be enough. We might have to staff them out over there. So we'll have to see. And yeah, I'm just kind of... I'm working on... I love Mastodon. Mastodon have one of my favourite religions that you didn't get in the original game. Uh, actually, you could get this... You could get an equivalent religion in school. But they got the uh, bonus to missile weapon religion, which was so good. Such a good religion. Because uh, it means you can turn... Like, you can just, like, give Crete and just, like, plus three to attack and they're already dumb. So it's just... It's great. It's the best thing. Which reminds me, actually, aren't there Cretan archers in this part of the world? Or do they not show up yet? No, they haven't shown up yet. I think you can get Cretans in this part of the world later. But, like, um, the game does, like, stagger mercenaries. Not every mercenary is available from turn one. This was true in the original, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, so not every mercenary is available straight away. But we do want to go down to Cadonia to get the Cretan archers. Obviously, we're not, not getting the Cretan archers tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you flip and worry about that. So... Oh, dear. I'm, I'm going to have more words with them about the Colossus. Okay, the Colossus needs to move. I'm going to try and make it happen. I'm trying to get the Colossus moved. Damn it. No new assets as well. There are new assets for um, lots of the uh, things. They look a lot nicer than they used to, which is cool. I think Halicarnassus might be running the same asset. Uh, but the Colossus and the Statue of Zeus Olympia, um, I think, are all using their own uh, their own different unique, uh, their own different new assets, which is really cool. Uh, right, may as well move you over in this direction and see what we can find. Oh, everything's lovely. <laughs> Claire. Uh, yes, just a minute. I'm uh, recovering all of the <clears throat> super chats from uh, from YouTube backend, so we can make sure that I've got everything. Well, of course, of course. Oh dear. Um. Great. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, class, class, Sorry, class it's dollar. behaving funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I don't have enough tr I don't have money for that. I could send this cavalry over in this direction. Send you over to here. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, a little bit more. Oh, cavalry's not going to help that much. Okay, might up a little bit. Might up a little bit. Well, I'll, we'll have to we'll have to flip and see. That's all I can do this turn, to be honest. And next turn will be back today. But the rest of the um the rest of the turn just sort of happens at night as well, which is really nice. Cool. Um. 
Yes. Let's see. Shout out to John who gave us ten dollars and says starting my first Rome Total War campaign right at this moment. I'm familiar with the genre but never got to play this classic until now. Yay! Uh, and King Lord also go- gave us ten dollars and says Julianus Vitinius shall rise again, Roma in Victor. Uh huh. He, he, he hopefully will. Maybe we'll see him in this game. We'll see. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Oh, uh, this is lovely. Uh, shout out to Alona who gave us twenty five dollars and says uh, I'd love a GPS narrated by John. <laughs> You just miss your turn, but that's fine. Everything's fine. And when you make a wrong turn, we've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. (laughs) Also, I love you guys, and your videos always make me happy. Okay. There you go. It looks like Thrace. That's very cute. Yes. Oh my god. What? Uh, Shout out to Myra who gave us two hundred euros. What? Thank you, Myra. Myra. That's ridiculous. Myra, you're already working for us. Yes. You're already a volunteer. You don't need to, you know. Yes. Uh, Myra says I wanted to up my Patreon to be 20 euros a month and it won't let me. So I'm sending extra here. Take my money. Well, that's weird. Is that problem? Is that problem with Patreon? We could, I don't we know. Should... I'll have to have a look at it tomorrow during the work. We should day, report. Yeah. yeah, we should report that to them if there's a problem with that for some reason. That's weird. And, uh, and Myra also gave us uh, five euros earlier and said boop. So boop. I can confirm that was an actual boop. I've been booped and I've been booped in the cheek. Yes, there you that go. was a successful, correct booping. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, you're gonna like this one. Forever oh an Arsenal oh no. fan gave us two pounds and says, "Hey John, how would you rate the Time Splitters game?" Uh, as in, uh, which ones? Which ones are my favourite? Uh, I guess. As in, so, how, yeah. would I, how would I rate the franchise? Yeah. I two is my favourite. I think two is excellent. Two's, I think I think it's the level design that carries it. I personally prefer it to Future Perfect. Future Perfect, I think it sometimes get overcomplicates itself a little bit, but I think it's the second best. The original Time Splitters is kind of something you should just pretend didn't happen because honestly, it wasn't even that good at the time, and it's not aged well. Time Splitters Two is is the uh, the sweet spot. That's where the nostalgia joy comes from. I'm hoping Thrace will just fail to take Byzantium and they'll just like batter each other a bit and then I can just walk in and then this unit will be able to win. Uh, Thrace, I think, I like very often does fail to take Byzantium on its first attempt. So I'm kind of hoping that's what we're going to get. We should be able to just move into Athens at this point. I think I built, what was it, three ladders or something? Uh, four ladders. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so Athens is, uh, yeah, three Militia Hot Blights and some Peltas. I think we could pretty handily take that. And I can do it, uh, if I do it kind of just the carefully sneaky way. I have, okay. Or well, another thing I'm speaking to them about is, um, like, there, there have been some AI improvements. Uh, a cut that the AI still does share some of the old blind spots it used to. Uh, and I've been speaking to the dev team about this, and we're hoping to, we can, like, do something about some of them. Like, uh, like the, the AI is sometimes not very good at defending cities, and there are a couple of blind spots it has. So, I'm, I've spoken to the dev team about that. We'll see if maybe we can uh, fix that up a little bit as time goes by. Which city is this? This is level 3, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the, like, you see, the walls have been redesigned. I think they do look a lot nicer than they used to, especially if the, uh, the more advanced walls are really cool. Uh, I can approach from this angle. This angle is a pretty good angle. I'm going go for this angle over here. This is absolutely fine. Uh, but yes, the same thing. What's the right approach? Actually, there's... There's not a spectacular approach. Actually, you know what? This this, is this a do. This would do. But then this is... That would actually be guarded. Uh, sometimes you get a little bit of a better option. Ah, that's good. You know what? I'll, I'll split my attention between these two. And then I'll just go in with whichever one is most likely guarded. The AI generally can't deal with the fact it might have to try and guard, you know, two things at once. Two things at once is confusing. Uh, so it generally doesn't uh, do very well in that regard. Then we'll just put the rest of you over to here and we'll see which gate you've decided to guard today. And the answer is, looks like it's this one. Uh, and have you therefore... No, therefore you've not bothered guarding this one. If you just kind of basically try and approach two locations at once, it's going to be like, what? Two locations? Well, <laughs> good day to you, sir. Uh, so yes, the AI does. The AI struggles uh, with that. So the idea of, you know, the fact it needs to defend the walls as well as just the gate, and the fact it managed to defend more than one gate at the same time is something the AI struggles with a little bit. Poor lamb. It, it does its best. But that's not, the, you know, that's not always good stuff. Actually, you know what? With this slope, I might just be able, at this angle, 
to get a shot in on the Peltas from down here. I'm just going to send in my archers, see if I can actually get a hit in. Because if I'm, like, here, I should be able to sneak in within the effective range of the towers. And, like, shoot the Peltasts without actually being hit myself. I'm just going to move forward a little bit. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. I can actually hit the Peltas from this angle. Uh, which is pretty good, so I can just start, uh, hitting these guys. They're not gonna take a huge amount of damage, because they're being defended by, you know, they've got the height advantage, they've got the, um, the crenellations, uh, defending them. Might do at least a little bit of damage, uh, to them. And they've got, they've got little shields. Their defense isn't terrible as Peltas, but they should do something. I'll put them into flaming, uh, arrow mode, which I think is... I think it does more damage and also more morale damage but something 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 i've never been 100 percent sure I'm sure it's fine i don't want to approach this angle because they will toss um they will toss javelins at me but now i can just go up here and let myself in the gate it's gonna be fine clap uh yes indeed shout out to joe who gave us five dollars uh and says i powered through my workout to get on early and catch the stream please make rad free nuka in yolo i keep forgetting to do that i really should uh, be very useful and are you ever planning to finish Red Dead 2? No. Uh, like, it's one of those games where sometimes I play a game and think, yeah, that's all right. And I find myself thinking about it a lot afterwards. And sometimes I play a game and think, you know what, that's actually pretty solid. But then I never think about it again. Uh, and the more I thought about Red Dead, the more it just kind of annoyed me. Because <laughs> I didn't like how heavily over tutorial it was. Like, I was 10 hours in and it was just every mission was hand-holding tutorials. So I looked ahead and, like, looked up, like, other people's footage. Like, oh, shit, it's going to be 20 more hours and every mission is going to be like this. It's just going to be hand-holding tutorials. It's like, no, I can't deal with this. I, j I just can't. So it's like, no. I mean, you liked the first one, but you already thought that was I th too no, much of a... No, the first one was not over tutorialized. The first one just basically, like, after it introduced the basic mechanics, said, okay, now go have some fun. Um, yeah, no, I'm not saying it was over tutorialized. You didn't hear what I meant because you cut me off. Oh uh, yeah, it sounds uh, like a thing I do. Yeah, I would be wrong because yeah. you're terrible. Yeah. Um, the first one you didn't like that it signposted too clearly how it wanted you to solve any issue, right? Like it, it wanted you extent, to break yes. into into like a fort, and it said specifically, go to this point, climb this wall, do this, and yes. you didn't like that. That was annoying. That was annoying when it happened. It happens way more in the seconds. Yeah. Uh, am I going to bother moving against these guys? To be honest, no, I'm just going to see if I can bait them to come and meet uh, me. I'm just going to move these guys a little bit around here. Once I get close enough to them, they'll come to me, and then I don't need to worry about them, like, tossing um, their missiles over here. And as soon as they start moving, at that point, I might start sending in the ladders to provide a bit of backup. So, are they going to start moving soon? They're not responding. So, in which case, I may as well just kind of walk in the gate and just go go to the plaza. And use my archers to pull the phalanxes off the uh, the plaza. And then we should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, there's... Aha! There's a little, uh, there's a little uh, militia hoplite right over here. But now I've taken the gates. They're going to do their old traditional business of shooting down. It's just, yes, the AI. The AI these days is also, it's much better at spotting, like, the danger of towers outside the city. It's still not very good at identifying that once you've taken the towers inside its own city, that's a problem it ought to, like, you know, stay away from. Uh, which I, again, I've, I've, I've spoke to them about. Like, the problem is when you're dealing with Rome, Rome had a lot of legacy AI issues. They've tried to fix some of them, but you can't fix all of them. Because if you're trying to fix AI, generally you introduce more bugs than you just, uh, solved. So, uh, I, I appreciate that that's a tricky, uh, tricky old thing to do. So you guys just start moving in this direction. We've already taken that tower, so we can start moving over to here. That should be fine. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, uh, shout out to, uh... Shout out to Jesus Christ! It's a thing that I didn't think I would say. <laughs> Who gave that's us That's the first for Claire pounds? right there. Hmm? So she, that's the first for you there. That, that's yeah. the first time in your life you've said that. There you go. Um, gave us £15 pounds, uh, and wants to know, will there be a full 57 video series on this, like from the original game? No. Please it, say yes, make 2021 a great year. No, I've got too many games I need to cover this year. But there will, however, be, uh, there will be, like, little, uh, there will be, like, little, it'll, it'll be a short, it'll be a short challenge run that has kind of, like, you know, a very specific objective in mind, I think, is, is what I'm kind of going for here. Do I actually have oh, any pikemen? Oh uh, I've got no pikemen. Okay, I've just got I've just got the basic phalanxes. Yeah, and shout out to Keevan who uh, gave us a fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you very very much indeed. Uh, and says first time I'm able to tune in. Thanks for the many years of great content you two 
in regards to AI improvements, please tell me they fix AI on city streets. Uh, that's that's the one that's still a work in progress, because that's the that's the trickiest one. Because then you're dealing with the AI having to figure out how to navigate a maze, where some of it is covered by its own friends, and some of it and some of its friendly towers might have been taken over by the enemy. So the AI 100% still gets confused. If you take over towers and like it can absolutely still have problems with that. That is still a, that is still an issue. And I've discussed it with them and like, you know, there are limits to what you're gonna be able to do sometimes with Rome. You're not gonna have perfection and quite frankly I'm amazed that worked. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna set up a defensive barrier right over here, and then we can use my archers to pull my own friends into that. These guys are still not responding. I'm just going to send my own hoplites around over here and I'm going to back them up with this. Okay, so now you guys are moving and now they're being fired upon by towers and also... Oh, they did decide to change target. I think they're better at that than they used to be. Because, um, like, look at that. Even though they're under attack melee, they changed their target onto the guys who were down on the ground, which was the better target because they do bonus damage that way. I think the AI is better at target prioritization than it used to be. In fact, I, I'm pretty confident that's true. Um, though I've not seen specific patch notes saying that, but it, it feels like that's to me. So, yes, that's uh, that feels like a thing. Uh, by the way, let's get some cavalry over to here, this way, and then we'll get some archers over to here-ish. Uh, if they can fit in the streets, which they may or may not have... <laughs> Ruin, you ruined my phalanx, you stupid cavalry. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cavalry. The cavalry, the cavalry does not fit in the street. It's not fit in the cocking street. It's doing its best, damn it. It's doing its best. It's trying. It's trying. De Time and ages seem to change during fights as well. By the way, the shadows actually change like how uh, their length and whatever during the fights, which is kind of cool. I like that. That's really nice. Uh, but getting these guys to actually. Getting these guys to to do oh no just just just, just, just no 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 not not like that no not not like this that, that's pretty good that's not bad now the hell are you guys with the, oh no it's archers oh no the archers just <laughs> just different no guys stop it guys stop just 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 be be here just this is this this, this that's fine that that's that's fine that'll do well done. Well done, everybody. Good, good attempt. Bloody hell. Well, welcome to Extreme Unit Scale, where nothing fits in the cocking streets. Oh, no. They're doing their best, damn it. They're, they're, they're doing what they can. I'm just going to put you over to... No. 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 Seriously, just, just fit. Fit. Fit about. That's all you're going to do, isn't it? That's, that's the best we can hope for. That's it. That's that's that that's what we're hoping for right now. So you guys now just stay right here and uh oh that's okay. That's slightly drawn their attention. Okay, begin opening fire. Uh, so that's that's you're you're, you're now over there. My arch is now going to fire on these guys. Unfortunately, the mission hoplites have detected my cat. No! What are you guys do? Why would you do though? No! No! Get get back over! You okay? Get over here instead. Get over here instead. Flee! Flee in this. What are you do? No! Stop it! Stop! Don't just run in random directions! This is why they put a big exclamation mark saying do not turn this on next to extreme unit scale. The AI is just like, what? Where am I supposed to be standing? I can't fit here! No, don't run back in that direction that's full of where the spears are! Oh no! They're all dead, Claire! Well, well, they're gone. <laughs> the second unit of the, the second unit will go fine. The, the, the other unit will go fine. Now we're gonna try and bring these guys into into my into my phalanx. That's already that's already kind of broken. It's gonna be great. Uh this is this is okay. Just draw yourselves over here. This is oh good. You've you've recovered, have you? Well done. How about you just go over there because you're completely wrong and not in the right place right now. You guys get over here. Start going over there. Start running. And now one phalanx is going to run straight to another. This is why I wanted these horses over here. Because then they could have charged into the back of these guys. But I'm kind of hoping generally the prepared phalanx does well against the phalanx that's moving in. So we got, we got 196 versus 150. So that's pretty good. And I can also use my own archers to just do little pop shots over the top. 
So we're going to just try and do pot shots over the top. And now we're just going to try and see what we can do. So we're just going to do some uh, some poking and some stabbing. Good old, here we go. Hot phalanx on phalanx action right here. Except I'm also tossing like flames over the top. So that, that's going to be great. Claire, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. I, I've I've managed to, to make sure that I had every super chat that came in from before uh, YouTube had a brain fart, so that's yeah, fine. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and shout out to Sir Roderick Quincy Font, Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hacking of Australia, who gave us 50 Australian dollars. Uh, and says, it's been a while since my last super chat, and with my birthday the other day, I thought it'd be nice to donate for all the fun and joy that the channel has brought. Thank you, John, Claire, and Tabby. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Happy birthday, and get round the wrist if we can thank break you, these Sir guys. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can just break their integrity and thus get them to break. This is why I wanted the cavalry around the back of them. Because these guys might be about to break now. Because they're wavering their integrity. Yeah, the integrity of the unit's been broken. Just like cav can absolutely destroy phalanxes. Assuming you can just get into a good position. You're about to run onto the plaza again, aren't you? Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, well, the pl you, you can draw these guys over. It's going to be great. Everything's, everything's going to be everything's going to be great right now. Get... Get over here. There's like, there's 14 of them. Just, you guys just put yourself back. You, you've broken again. Well done. Now we just, okay. You guys can probably turn your attention over there. I like the new flames, by the way. The flames are really nice. The flames are really nice. They're just going to, little drop shots. They're very good at doing drop shots. Don't, 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 don't pursue them. What are you supposed to be doing? You're not supposed to be pursuing. Oh, you, how did you break? How on earth did you break? Where's the backup phalanx? I don't know where the back... I left the backup phalanx outside. Okay, send in the mercenary hoplites because they're actually good at their job. Unlike my phalanxes, which are... I, I, should, I, didn't, I don't have a single pikeman. Uh, this is this is fine. Wow. Yes. Amanda says the cavalry is acting like John's brain cells. Pff, wow, harsh. Uh, Sci-Fi Assume would like to know what the difference is between militia hoplites and levy pikemen. Uh, they're very similar, except levy pikemen have longer pikes. So as a result of that, they have the advantage... No, they have the advantage when taking on uh, hoplites, because they simply have longer range. They can start murdering before the other guys can start murdering, uh, which is very convenient. Uh, you guys, guys, I just said stop. I just said stop. Okay, now you're trying to... Now you're trying to get into the... Okay, maybe send the light... Do we want to send the light lancers in? Okay, you guys, you guys have got that. Oh, you don't even have your, your spears down right now. Okay, you guys get over here. You guys get over here. Everyone getting over in this direction. You guys start falling back. Nothing fits on these. Look at, look at this, look at this unit that's filling the entire streets. It can't fit anywhere else. Get the archers on the move. And that unit's really struggled to, to retreat as well. Um, I kind of want to deploy the light lance. Okay, now they're turning around. Now we hit them in the back with the light lancers. Who are supposed to be fast and agile, etc. But they're kind of not because of problems. And now, okay, who's... It's, has, anyone, has anyone got their spears up right now? No one's got their spears up. But you're broken. Okay, we basically... We, what the flip? What was that? Everyone saw that, right? This, I think the, the game said, Oh yeah, these horses are charging. Charge! And everyone, everyone was hit by the charge simultaneously. Which is good. It's precisely how... That, that's, that's how I planned it. I planned for a simultaneous mega charge. That was going to kill everyone at the same time. That's entirely what I intended... To, to, to happen. This is completely what I meant to happen right here. And now you guys can probably just go... The, ye the yellow path really exposes just how much the pathfinding has no idea what the hell it's doing. <laughs> right, stabby, stab, 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 stab. Stabby, stab, 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 stab. Just get around them and break them. There we go. I think, I think, I think we got them. That should be the last one, right? You want to stab? Guys, there's... Guys, there's still one there. There we go. We got them. <laughs> 10 out of 10, textbook. That's precise how it's supposed to go. This is why in the actual series, I stick to the huge unit scale, not the extreme. Because the extreme is just... It's its mad. Um, it, it, it's... Uh, especially in cities, it does not work. Still, we got Athens, uh, which is great. We're just going to occupy that. And that gets me the first ever academy in the world. Which means I think next turn, this guy, if it still works as it used to, I haven't been able to test this yet. He should immediately just pick up a bunch of celebrity followers, which is very exciting. And by the way, uh, what's actually in this city, by the way? There's not 
much, to be honest. I can retrain my militia hoplites, which I will do. And just look, look at that, by the way. Just look at, look at the population being drained. Look at the population draining away in the face of retraining and all normal training, etc. It's great. Um, we'll send these guys over to Cadonia. We'll get, we'll pick up the Cretan archers, damn it. Because why not? Why shouldn't we? And I've had some Cretan archers, damn it. It's going to be great. Uh, can I send some more cav, by the way? Uh, maybe not immediately. Salona's over there. The brute judges haven't really shown up. You guys could do with just getting out there and staying back towards uh, the center. This city's nothing, so even with a normal tax rate, you're fine with just a really basic thingy McJibble. Uh, I really need to get... Yeah, what I need to get is someone needs to start being able to produce uh, range units. You get range units into production over here. Now you've got a port. Because I'm building the Artemis temples. And I kind of want to have like... I want to have upgraded Cretans. I want to have Cretans with gold weapons by the end of this. And it's really easy to do with the Temple of Art. I love the Temple of Artemis so much. It's like my favourite. I'm so glad we've now got mass dogs. We can actually have this. It's great. Uh, so yeah, we're going to sell that over to there. We're going to keep a really close eye on these guys. I'm hoping these guys fail. We've already got Apollonia. We've got Athens. This guy might be about to pick up a bunch of useful uh, thingy McJibbles. Then we just sail over here and we take that. The downside is we can't go and take the Colossus of Rhodes, even though it's really badly guarded, just because uh, we're friends with Greece and we want to stay friends with Greece because the Romans are probably coming sooner or later. Kla! Uh Yeah, absolutely. We've got quite a few, uh, quite a few messages now. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Danny who gave us ten dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire, I just wanted to say thank you for all the great content." I've been binging the KOTOR playthrough whilst recovering from bottom surgery. Sorry I can't give more. Yankee healthcare is expensive AF. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, please make sure to take care of yourself. And, Absolutely, yes. Uh, Always the everything. priority. And, Always that um, should be the first thing. Uh, so happy that you could uh, access the surgery that you needed. Damn straight. Uh, the next one, I'm not sure if it's like a reference to something <laughs> weird in first row. Excellent, uh, excellent. This. Do you know what that is? Oh, his arse is back, yeah. I haven't checked arse. Yes, so the question that John didn't yeah. read uh, is from Sur Suborbital Process, who yeah. uh, gave us 10 Canadian dollars, yeah. and wants to know if arses of Parthenon has returned. This is uh, vital information. Um, if you're I gonna th ask me something, if you're gonna super chat something that could possibly in any way be taken as like super weird or, you know, like just quoting something to do with asses or whatever, just please over explain rather than under explain because then, I, you know, I just Lol. have to check that it's not like something really weird and, and inappropriate. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, I've no reason to, uh, most of the, all the starting generals have the same name, so I would assume Arsas is still there, yes. I have no reason to believe Arsas is not there, as everyone else has the same first name. Uh, so I believe that uh, that should be the case. And by the way, have you picked up... Wait, is that already past your... Oh, maybe that's changed a bit. Okay, I'll need to ask them about that, because generally I would have expected someone who stayed a day in a territory where there was a, an academy for the first time, uh, they would have immediately picked up, um, they would immediately have picked up, uh, some important celebrity people. Maybe not. Uh, but he has picked up, I think, I don't know if he was already a bureaucrat, I actually can't remember. Uh, but yeah, I think we should send you straight over to sort all of this out. You've got plenty of, if you've got cavalry, and you've got a general, and you've got some basic archers, I feel like that should be... Enough. I'm going to leave uh, Athens with not much here. We're going. We're going. We're going straight down over here. I'm going to spend all of our money. Would you believe we're going to spend all of our <laughs> money on Cretan archers and Rhodian slingers and yet more uh, mercenary mm -hmm. helpers. That's kind of unnecessary. To be honest, are you Lyrians? No, you're mercenary peltas. So we'll leave you. So we're going for Cadonia. Obviously, Cadonia is hugely important. We're going to go for. Uh, Cadonia, and I believe, yeah, there it is. There's the hidden, there's the hidden army that's going to try and ambush you the moment you try and attack this place. Uh, but I'll try and like get into a position like down at the bottom where I can like hit these guys. They come onto the field with my cavalry, and then I might be able to just shatter the uh, the Cretan archers nice and early. And then I have got, I've got the, uh, I've got the, yeah, I've got up to level two uh, Artemis here. Maybe I should have built that here. Uh, then again, if I get a trader and a market down, I can start working towards it. I can get them to silver, uh, the bare minimum, which is a good starting point, which I'm very happy about. 
And then you have got that. And then we can get uh, archery range and production over there. My Greek friend should be absolutely fine. I don't like how many Romans just standing here. Don't appreciate that. Don't appreciate that at all. I feel like they're about to betray me. I want to say betray, it's like they're just going to attack me because they feel like it. If they do, we're ready for them because that's a very small force. Though I should probably... I can't bring this fleet. Okay, I'll bring that fleet round in a second. Then again, they've got a bigger fleet, so maybe don't bother. Uh, but uh, as soon as we've taken Cadonia, I'll start bringing the troops together ready to take out Rome. We may be able to just kill the Brutii tonight. It's be great fun. Everything's under control. It's great. Daisy seems to be chill. I'm a little bit concerned by Thrace. Little bit concerned... By what Thrace is thinking right now. Thrace appears to be having dumb thoughts about how I ought to, uh, like, you know, be dead or something. So we're just gonna very quickly have ourselves another unit over there. Can I shuffle up anything from here, by the way? No, you guys only just got here. I'll send you some actual hoplites. You can have some actual hoplites to reinforce. You can have, uh, that's a damaged cavalry unit. Why are you here? Light Lancers should go here for retraining, because there's this is where the stables is, I believe. Yeah, I've got some stables here. I uh, don't have stables anywhere else, that's all fine. Uh, I can probably retrain another unit of cav. Yeah, I can just about afford another unit of cav. Uh, pretty easily, actually. Uh, can I afford another... I'll plan. John, there were also stables right... There were stables right there. There were stables, there were stables right there. You did not need to just do any of that, but whatever. Uh, so that's all going to be A-OK. -okay. That's going to be A-OK -okay as well. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Let's just train more basic, um, uh, more basic Levy Pikemen. Levy Pikemen are really solid. Uh, especially, they also get 300 men per unit. It's supposed to be like 300 men versus 200. That makes a difference. That makes a huge difference. Uh, you got the info card here. The info card's way more, um, informative than it used to be. Like, morale used to be an invisible stat. Now you can actually see it. Like, you always oh. used, you, you always just used to know that, like, Levy Pikemen have poor morale. Um, and, like, you know, militia uh, hoplites have poor morale. You didn't know what that actually meant. Now you actually see it. It's like, oh. morale is two for this guy versus, uh, two for this guy. So, you know, actually they're the same. Um, and now you get, you get a lot more information, uh, than you used to in general. You used to always be able to see, like, defense, for example, a melee attack. Uh, I think you always saw charge. I'm not sure you ever saw missile range. I think missile range was never stated. Ammo was never stated. Morale was never stated. I think they, was, they used to be invisible stats. So you get a bit more information than you used to, which is kind of useful. Uh, well, okay, we've got uh, some really big donations coming in. Okay. Uh, shout out to uh, Patrick, who gave us uh, 100 Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, missed you folks and playing my favorite games. Uh, I agree that Bill Britt... Mm, sorry, I agree that Barbarian is the best of the trio. It is, damn it. Oh, now the Scipio are here. Bloody hell. Yeah, and uh, from Kieran, 200 pounds. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you, you, Kieran. Thank you so much. Uh, Kieran says, hey, John and Claire. I've been a big fan, but mostly quiet. Uh, I've been around since 2013. The New Vegas Kill Everything run. You helped me in some of my darkest times. So now I am giving back for all the hours of fun. Uh, that you've given me over the years. Thank you both, and keep being the best. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Yes, it's always glad that uh, we can help in, in whatever way. In whatever you know? little dumb way we can. And yes. weirdly, Rebels have come to attack me, which is strange, because I've got the advantage. Rebels normally only attack you if they've got overwhelming advantage, but you know what? They've got two Crete and Archers, so I can see that, you know what, we're going to win. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they've got. I've got Crete and Archers, so obviously we're winning. Um, yeah, with the advantage of... Uh, uh, cavalry, we should be able to handle this, but seriously, Cretans do not mess around. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Cretans ain't kidding. Cretans aren't playing. Cretans, uh, they're dumb. Uh, but if we can just get the, it's, it's so sad. It's so sad to fight Cretans. You think, no, come and work for me. I will pay you so much to just come and work for me instead. Oh, we got the high ground. Oh, oh, you stupid bastards. Oh, 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 oh now you're in trouble. Oh, now you're in trouble. Oh, who's the hill daddy now? I am the hill daddy of Mountain Peak. Wow. Yeah. Makes so smooth. Yeah, that's that's what's going on here. Oh, they're they're they're, they're mega boned at this point. They're not they're not gonna have a good time. Also, you can just rearrange unit cards. It's so nice. And just go. You know what? All of my infantry are going to go over here next to each other. Look at that. Yeah, it's so nice. So so nice. I'm so, so glad that's a thing now. It's great. And my cavalry can just go at the back, and all of you can just go over here. And we have got a lot of range, and all of you can just go together, and you can 
You guys can probably just go like this. You you guys could be uh, right at the front. Everyone else can just be a bit more uh, a bit more stretched out because you you can. Be. Oh, this is this is going to be an absolute flipping slaughter. Where are the the Cretans? The Cretans are right there. This is. Because yes, okay, this is the downside. Now we've got visible uh, cones. The cones are the cones lie because in Rome, um, yeah, uh, altitude gave you a huge range advantage. So you're gonna see they're gonna like they're gonna shoot way further than what we're actually seeing here. And by the way, uh, don't skirmish. And anyone that can uh, do flaming ammunition should do flaming ammunition. Sadly, you can't toss flaming rocks, which is a bit of a shame. And then we'll get my cavalry all together over here and then we'll just basically we'll find a way to just charge on to the uh the cretans whenever they show up this is going to be this is going to be great uh just put you into group one group you if you'd be so and group you there you go put you into put you into that and then why are you not willing to there you go now you're willing to do that for some reason i don't know why that was uh right turn them around turn them around turn them around watch the best that's still pretty good high ground pretty happy with that and now I just basically go looking for some uh, some stuff. There's some new assets, by the way. There's still just like stuff in the middle of the battlefield, which is really cool. And also it's supposed to like represent what's supposed to be there. Uh, but there's some new assets showing up that didn't used to be in there. There's a bit more variety on the battlefield, which is really cool. Um, so, okay. All we need to do is just wait for these guys to come over. Are they moving towards... They're moving towards my cav. So, I'm going to move my cav around the, uh, around the outside over to here. So, I'm just going to move you guys over in this direction. They're going to struggle with range. I'm just going to lead them over here. It's all going to be, it's all going to be absolutely lovely and fine. That's all, this is, it's a bit of a funny road. We're just kind of sticking slightly out into sea. So dynamic battle maps, give us dynamic battle maps back. Damn it, creative assembly. It was so much better. So much better than it used to be. Gosh darn it. Clap. Uh, yeah, just give me a second. I'm just gathering super chats. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Tommy gave us five pounds and wanted to know if uh, barbarian factions to get access to walls now. I believe they didn't in the original. No, but as they did in Barbarian Invasion, I have asked and said they should because the assets are already there in Barbarian Invasion. So why can't they just have them? And they've said they will consider it. Uh, they're looking into it now. And in comes the downhill mega charge. Steady. Yeah, bloody hell. Uh, they've said they'll consider it. Uh, so we don't have a definite answer. But I, I'm kind of hoping that they will. I, I, I agree. I think they should. I do think they should. Um, so we're just having... Uh, I've had a discussion with them about that. Uh, but the tavern building now provides plus health. So the fact they don't get sewers or aqueducts is kind of offset by the fact that they do get some uh, other tools they didn't use to get. And also, are you, are you fleeing? Are they fleeing? I don't know if they're fleeing. I'm just going to move forward just in case they are. I'm just going to move, move move a little bit forward just to try and catch them just in case. But I think we've 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 got the Cretans, which is the single most important thing. So just get down over here and just see if you can figure them out. My my light lance are taking a knacker in too because Cretans are not messing. Uh, they don't play. They don't play around. But I think we we should be all a okay. Yeah, uh, momentarily you're going to be in a lot of trouble, mate, because Phalanx is a uh, slow. Very, oh, that's Silesian pirates, though. Okay, well, we can see them off. And... Okay, I've just killed the general. That's fine. He wasn't very good. Um, That was his punishment. That was his punishment right there. Right, all units, open fire on these Silesian pirates. That's kind of unfortunate. He was still, he was like one of the first to die. Sometimes that happens. All right, I'm being a bit, ca I'm being a bit careless. I'm being a bit careless here. Uh, right, let's just need to just get rid of this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to do that. Okay, well, that general's dead. Uh, so that's, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. And now everybody, everybody, turn fire onto Militia Hot Flights. Poor, poor, poor lad. He, he did his best. It's fine. In Rome, like, generals, if they died, like, the game generally just, like, gave you new generals. But like, you know what? They've got less generals than they should have. So, uh, all the uphill firepower... The uphill firepower. The massive uphill ridiculous fire. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Did you see that? Like 50 of them are dead. Oh, I never figured out the calculation for this. But the um, the amount of bonus firepower you got from being at the top of a hill was slightly dumb. And I love it. By the way, you guys can just go. You guys can naff off. Okay, seriously, just just go. You could have worked for me. G this, this, this guy over here. This guy. This is Julianus Vitinius. And he's dead. Uh, so that's the, the terrible nightmarish future that we've accidentally stumbled upon here. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> Claire. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Game Deprived Dad, who just gave us a hundred pounds. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and Game Deprived... Game Deprived Dad, sorry, uh, says, Good evening, John, Claire, and Tabby. First, congrats on the new digs. Here's a housewarming present. We don't even know if it's happening yet. Literally, like, we've been told on Friday. We'll find out whether the process that has to happen on Friday can happen or not. It's going to be great. Really, really excited for that. I mean, basically, it's looking like either it's happening in a week or it's not happening at all. Yeah, exactly. But, like... <laughs> All of, like yeah yeah either we're moving next Friday or we have to find a new place kind of thing yeah exactly so, that's that's, that's it. fun yeah exactly yeah. well we killed anyway, Julianus Vatinius uh game deprived dad also said uh also says second I cannot believe I was so late to the stream I've been looking forward to this for so long uh third yet another enormous thank you for bringing me smiles in the dark times oh thank you so so much indeed it's always it, it, I mean, it's wonderful to hear this, but it's always terrifying how many times we hear this. Yeah, like, the like, number of people out there who have, who have struggled. You and I know kind of how it feels to, you know, have those kind of dark times. And hmm. both of us do also watch, you know, other, like, content creators and feel that way about them. So, like, it is something that we can very much understand. It's yes. just weird to think that we play that role for other people. Yes. Right, yeah. Oh, the, they've actually they've kind of... They're blocking off my bloody... I'm just trying to get, get out of my town. This is my town. I'm allowed to live here. Why are you guys both here? Okay, so the Thracians, as I was hoping for, failed to take Byzantium. But in doing so, they've almost certainly damaged Byzantium. So that should mean I can just basically walk in uh, and take it. I don't know what's actually here. Yeah, they've, like 100 peasants are dead. Right there. I'm hoping the hoplites might be badly damaged too. Um, there might be already be a hole in the walls, don't know. Uh, and then we. Oh we've... my god. Yes. Um, Game deprived dad gave us another hundred dollars. Oh, I mean, thank you very very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, the last seven years, my significant other has been in need of uh, an operation. It's made her so depressed. She finally uh, got her treatment. And my house is full of laughter again. Mental illness sucks and is so rubbish. Have some happiness now. We are happy again. Oh, oh that's very sweet. Oh, I will tell you. I started, um, I started taking antidepressants in 2020. Because, you know, 2020. I thought you were about to say because, you know, I live with John. So, you know. No, no, no. I'm trying to talk about something serious here and you will not like trick me into saying <laughs> not nice things about you as a wonderful person who I am like very happy to live with. I'm going to be honest, like, you, you spent, if anyone moves in with me three weeks later, antidepressants, reliable as oh, anything. Oh, you. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Continue. Sorry. Continue the whole. John doesn't want you to know that he's actually like really sweet and thoughtful and supportive. Lies. Continue the wholesome content. Anyway, it is really nice to feel better and less depressed, and I think you enjoy it too that I feel better and less depressed. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. That's that, that's fair. <laughs> Okay, I think yeah, I think we could just handle this. We can just kick the Thracians out of this. Dickhead. Bloody Thracians! What was that? I said dickhead. Wow, bit harsh. Go go from zero to eleven right there. Why you were being horrible? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, mountainous area. Love it. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, there's some good rocks we can use over here. Uh, wait, which direction were the? They were coming from the north, weren't they? Yeah, my reinforcements are coming from the north, so we'll put uh, my troops over here. And then we'll be... No, they were coming from the uh, the north over here, so I think we're fine. They've got a lot John, of... John, you should know when to stop. Bless John, this daft git. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, everybody out of phalanx mode. I need you guys to be running because they've got a lot of uh, range stuff going on. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good little kill zone down over there. I've got no archers, but I do have some... I've got plenty of heavy cap, which is going to struggle to catch militia hot blights. But, like, <laughs> could do an okay job, potentially, I'll have to say. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, oh dear. Somebody in chat is saying John going to uh, dickhead is going to eleven for you. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh dear. Um... Yes. I think it's quite. I think Dickhead's quite strong. I think that's actually, a, even though it's not, even though it's not the strongest word, I think the implicate the intonation word is actually quite severe. 
I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I... The thing is, the thing I'd is... I'd call Matt a twat all the time, but I wouldn't call him a dickhead. I think that I think that yeah. would be a bit mean. Mm, I wonder if... Mm, interesting. Mm. Yeah. Guys, out of your phalanxes, start running. Come on, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Let, let's get into formation, please. This is, by the way, the... Uh, what the uh, for those who've ever wondered about if you just not play this game much, like, and the reason for, uh, yeah, why you care, like, what this is why if they go to war, like, if a phalanx of pikemen goes to war against militia hoplites, this is why these guys win, because you, you don't know, that they're starting to stab their enemy before their enemy starts stabbing them, which is highly effective at winning fights if you're the one who's doing the, the addition, you know, the first set of stabbing, highly efficient if that's uh, that's what's going on. Now I do see we've got. We've got the massive uh, phalanx advantage, but they've got the uphill, which is tricky. So just put them mm. down over there. I can easily take out their uh, militia lights because my levy pikemen can do that. I just need to find a way to deal with that. Claire's just caressing me right now. It's very, okay. it's very unusual. Well, I was. Okay, that's not the word I would have used. I was just like needing your shoulder a little. Bit. I know I didn't say stop. I was enjoying it. I, just, I didn't normally you seem to be busy. I, I'll, I'll take shoulder massage during streams. That's great. Right. Well, now you've made it weird. Uh huh. So, also, I was gonna tell you. I'm sorry if like the wording that I used was like felt stronger to you than I you know, meant it to be, but you were being mean to my lovely boyfriend, so, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, and shout out also to uh, Kevin uh, again, who gave us uh, another $50. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and since I've been on antidepressants since 2013, so the only logical step up for 2020 was to get a dog. Oh, good call, good yes. call. Uh, that has helped so much. Also, John, let Claire have her wholesome moment. Oh, here we go, here we um, go. I was hoping this might happen. I think I can use the no, rocks to trap them. No, it's not going to happen. Yes! The rocks trap them, and now my heavy cavalry. Hey, remember when we could put units into loose formation to make them, like, a bit more resistant to, like, uh, uh, being hit by missiles? Without just having an ability that you turn on and it pushes a button, you just have magical 50% missile resist, like in Three Kingdoms. Yeah, that's what gets me. Some of the Three Kingdoms abilities are really artificial. It's just like, hey, you push this button and now you're resistant to missiles. Why? You just are, because your general can do that. And it's like, I much prefer the system in Rome where like, okay, there's no magical missile resist button, but if you just spread yourselves out, well, you're going to take, you know, you're just going to be a bit more resistant to missiles. It's great. Uh, now, tracking down this guy is going to be a bit more tricky. I'm going to be honest, but if we're lucky, we might be able to. Ah, oh, you think he just got away from me there. Grass is kind of uh, a bit improved, by the way. The grass is nice. Oh, they've gone straight into me. Boom! Heavy cavalry for the win! And if we're lucky, they'll turn around to engage with us soon. No, they didn't on this occasion. Bit of a shame. Everything else is broken. Everything else is just broken at this point. So, um, you guys just chase down these guys. You guys just take out these guys. Now... This phalanx is just like, I'm trying to help, but I can't. Uh, okay, so the Macedonian cavalry is going to take a hell of a battery. Oh, no, I'm sending the general. Okay, the general, well, they'll run out of ammo. I might be about to lose another general. Yeah, this general was just generated after nothing, so it's fine. Uh, maybe bring the phalanxes up, by the way. I feel like the phalanxes could just start moving up at some point. Anytime they're ready, anytime they're... What are you guys doing, by the way? Come on. Come on, you guys. Let's, let's get out. I think they might... Oh, they're retreating. Oh, no, they're retreating. Sorry, I didn't realise this. They're actually... They've realised they've lost. So they're actually trying... They're trying to pull out uh, at this point, which is uh, fine. So we need to break these militia hoplites. Uh, yes, literally... Oh, they've got a withdrawing... They didn't used to have that, did they? Oh, you can you check that now? Because you just have to sort of figure out when the AI was uh, withdrawing around. It's like... You just sort of figured it out, like, intuitively. There's nothing... Like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but what was the last Total War game where the enemy, after it engages, can choose to withdraw and just declare, you know what, this isn't going as well as I thought it was. This is this is turning against me and I thought I had a chance. I am now just going to pull my troops out. Because I swear, this this has not been a thing in Total War for so many years. And it was a thing in Rome and it was amazing. It's just like, you know, it makes perfect sense that the AI just says, you know what, I thought we were doing well. Turns out we're not. Let's actually back out. Because at this point, I can save my best units. And it was a thing in Rome. And I like it almost never shows up in the late game. And I think that's such a shame. And it's a, such a shame because it's, it's such a good system. Like, what was the last Total War game that happened in? 
So that was, I, it, it was I, I think it was a great system, brilliant little system. And just, ah, oh, the writing down, the writing down and the stabbing and the, how effective it is. How effectively you can just el delete units by breaking them and then writing them down. Oh, oh, happy days are here once again. Clap. Yes. Uh, okay. Sorry, I have to scroll back up uh, 11 pages to the newer comment. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got a hard limit how much we can do, because I can't I can't stream more than 15 hours of this game. So the stream has to stop before we hit 15 hours, because that's the um, that's the rule. I can't, uh, sure. under the embargo I'm on, I can't uh, do 15 sure. hours. Yes? No. <laughs> You're gonna get. She's gonna get the newspaper and the spray bottle. Well, number one, we're both gonna get hungry. That's true. As is Tabby. Num yeah, most importantly, tabby. as is Tabby. N number two, we need to go to bed not too late because I've been doing better at getting up on a yeah. right schedule, and it really helps helps my ADHD. And we might have a real stressful day tomorrow with uh, yeah, MATN related stuff. And potentially. you know, if we need to go. If we need to go to bed early, yeah, and we need to eat dinner, yeah, we can't be streaming too late because then my window to play Dorf Romantic is way too short. That's true. That's yeah. clearly the most important thing. Yes, I say. Obvi. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, we do we do have yeah. a bunch of uh, things to catch up on. Agree. Okay. Uh, Anna gave us five dollars and says it took longer than a year and more than a thousand attempts, but I finally managed to start Pokemon off Alpha Sapphire. With a beautiful pink shiny mudkip. Oh, wow. Okay. Going for a shiny starter. Maybe there's ways to do that that are easier than it used to be. Back in the days when I used to be big into Pokemon, that was, um... There was no way to game shinies. It was just a ludicrously low chance. I understand these days, like, there's ways you can use mechanics to, like, make it way more likely to happen. Back in my day, they were just... They were just super rare. They were just dumb rare. Um... So that was... That was just a thing as was a thing. Uh, yeah, and the Heartliest gave us $15 and says, I've been re-watching Rome and Medieval. Can't wait to see the challenge run and still fingers crossed for Shogun 2 to make it onto the channel. Love you guys. Uh, Shogun 2 will not be anytime soon because there's Rome Remastered. Warhammer 3 is coming at some point, uh, whatever that is. Uh, I don't, I don't have any information about that. Though, of course, if I did, I'd say I didn't have any information. But I actually don't. But that's what I'd say if I did again. So do I know? Ooh. Um. May the 7th. That's a date I just made up. It has nothing to do with Warhammer 3. <laughs> that's okay. going to be the top post of our Total War in the next hour. Okay. <laughs> ah, happy days. Speaking of... Josh is going to yell at me again. Speaking of, shout out to Christophe, who gave us 10 euros. Uh, and says, hey, John, Claire, and Tabby, glad you're live streaming again. Now let's talk about a tweet on the 29th of March, <laughs> 2021, at uh, 7.38 UK time, uh, about Fallout New Orleans' dramatic pose. Seriously, why did you delete the joke? Because it's funnier if it looks like I accidentally leaked something it's and then deleted it, and then delete deleted it. it 45 seconds later. I, 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 sorry, this, this was a tweet where I just tweeted, one of the hardest things about being a YouTuber is uh, not being able to talk about things uh, until you reach their embargo. It was weeks that I couldn't talk about Rome Remastered, uh, Murder on Eridanos, and Fallout New Orleans. And just, then I deleted it 45 seconds later. It's great fun. Um, I, 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 I just enjoy messing with people. Yeah, and uh, Anna... Um... Anna got back to you. Uh, Anna got back to you saying, I simply restarted the game and chose multiple mudkips until it came out shiny, but they did double the chances of shinies around the time that John stopped playing. Uh, yeah, back in my day, shinies were so rare. You like, you sh like the odd shiny was just like, and I think I kind of preferred shinies being like rarer than they seem to be today. Now shinies seem to be way more common, but I'm kind of sad about that. I kind of, I, I think I kind of prefer a world where shiny is just like the rarest, dumbest things in the world. And like, if you just, the, like, if you see a shiny in an entire playthrough, that's remarkable. And like, that's, that's great. So I, I, I think that's, uh, that's one of those things. Oh dear. I, I think I prefer that back in those days. I need to, yeah. Now I've got these mercenaries. I'm going to bring these. I'm going to hook everything up back together. If Rome attacks me, we're going to kick Rome's ass with um, the mercenaries and the, what, the the stuff we're training over here. I've already got more horses <laughs> being trained here. I don't want more horses, though. I want more levy pikemen. Uh, shout out to me who says, uh, imagine if CA actually released Warhammer 2 
uh, three on May the seventh, just to mess with John. <laughs> I don't think they care. I don't think they care about messing with me that much. It would be Beautiful. great, but I doubt they do. Uh, but yes, John is such a troll, so you're one of those people. Should have taken a screenshot, etc., etc. I think some people did. Some people did take screenshots. Yes. Like uh, you can, you can, you can rely. Like this is the thing. The the reason I know the jokes gonna work is I can reliably say if I tweet something and then delete it about six seconds later, somebody will comment on it and like have a screenshot and come up with it later. Absolutely. So I I, I can be very confident I could comically leak things if that's what I want to do. Very comfortable. That's the thing I can do. Uh, yeah, and shout out to Wedge who gave us 50 Danish krona and said that if the stream was only two hours, Claire would manage to shout out about half a donation. No. That's that's only partially true. It's only a bit true. Uh, dear, oh dear. Okay. Um, let's see. Urban Cohort gave us $6.66 uh, and wants to know what is the best unit in the game and why is it me? I, I, you know what? Urban Cohorts, I think, are unnecessary because... Ooh. I No, I think they are. I genuinely think Urban Cohorts are unnecessary because, uh, yes, they are better than Praetorian Cohorts, but Praetorian Cohorts are already everything you could ever possibly need. And to be honest, if you're using your support units well... I don't think there's any compelling reason to go beyond legionary cohorts. Early legionary will do the job. Legionary are a good step up. Once you've got legionary cohorts and you've got good supporting units around them, and you've got maybe a first legionary cohort, I do not believe you need Praetorians or urban cohorts. I think, honestly, they're overkill. Like, okay, maybe if you're going into a Roman civil war where your opponents are fielding Praetorians and urban cohorts, yeah, field your own. I think Praetorians and urban cohorts are simply overkill. Um, for the vast majority. And I, I do not see a scenario, aside from you've been drawn into a ridiculous Roman Civil War, where you'd ever need them. Uh, my best unit in the game is the Crete Archer, obviously. Uh, they're amazing. Uh, though I have a great fondness for things like Falksman um, and, you know, excuse me, and, you know, uh, Thracian Mercenaries and Bastani uh, are really, really fun. Though they, they melt. But they're so fun while they're not melting, which is great. Uh, and, of course, any form of artillery. And, and, and all elephants. All elephants are great. Ah, lovely. Dear oh flippin' dear. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to Arthur E. King, who uh, gave us five Canadian dollars and wants to know about the pre-battle speeches. Do they exist or not? Uh, and are they a setting if they exist? They exist in full. I've not seen any setting for them, but on top of that um the audio has been slightly remastered which is the music in particular is a slightly high quality the compression is uh, there was a bit of compression apparently on the original so the music's slightly um high quality uh, in particular i think uh, what i heard was um at one point i think for an anniversary edition they re-recorded the original music but like you know at a high quality with like an orchestra and they released it on like vinyl or something, <laughs> and this music in the game is that version of it. So it's all the original soundtrack, um, but it's like the highest quality version of it that exists. Nice. Um, so it's pretty much the same as it was, but like I think it's like it's a higher quality version that was made for like an anniversary edition and was released on the vinyl version. So uh, I think it's, it's also less compressed than the original. So I think it's um, the music is the same, but slightly higher quality. All the original pre-battle speeches, everything have been maintained uh, in full. Uh, and all the cheats still work. Just FYI, uh, Rome Shell is still there, uh, and all the original cheats do work. Uh, they're all there, so you can cheat if you want to. All, this, all the original cheats still work. Um, so that's always fun. In fact, hang on, Claire, um, can you double check for me? Um, okay. Rome Shell Oli, uh, Oli font. Like the, like the, the... Yeah. I think it's, I think it's, that, that was the, I think it was... Uh, was it? I, I'm trying to remember how to spawn the ridiculous mega elephants. Why would you ask me to Google it when you can just ask the chat to tell? Okay, you I'll just ask the chat. Is. Just tell, we'll have some ludicrous mega elephants later. Tell me what. Remind me what the um the cheat was for ludicrous mega elephants, and we'll have some ludicrous mega elephants. Uh, but I can't remember what the exact uh uh yeah all the old ad money was old ad money etc. But uh you know that's not fun. We'll have some elephants if you remind me uh if you remind me what the um the exact code for spawn the elephants is. Was it just was it literally just um olive olifant? I can't remember. Uh, Apparently, so, yes. A lot of people are just saying Oliphant. I thought it was, but I, I couldn't remember. Uh, so where do we want to... Where do we want to have... Uh, where do we want to have you? And can I do it while I've just got... You know, if I just... I think you've got to... 
if you just start to have it in there. There we go, he's there. There's our lad. So that now we've got now we've got um ludicrous mega elephants. They're just sort of around. So we can just, we can just have mega elephants if we want. So they're just, they're just, they're just there. We'll have them, we'll, we'll try and find out. Uh, we'll try and get them into battle with the Romans. Why don't we? So I'm just cheating at this point, by the way. I just can't remember all the codes off the top of my head. We're gonna we're gonna get them down into uh, down into battle sooner rather than later. <laughs> Yay, elephants! Uh, this, this, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be, this is, this is the good stuff right here. Let's get the, we're gonna get the elephants into play. We're gonna bring everything together. We're gonna get Crete Narches and Mega Elephants! <laughs> all the original cheats work. Like, all the original stuff that you remember works. I think that, you know, the one thing they're really working on is they're trying to improve the AI. But, like, AI is the hardest thing in the world. Like, you know, they, they, they've made improvements, but it's not always gonna be the best. So... It's going to be good. So we've just got the Mega Elephants out. It's going to be great. Now, is Rome about to attack? Oh, the Brutii coming at me. The Brutii coming this way. They haven't attacked me yet. The Scipio... Have we already passed the Scipio turn? I think we passed the Scipio turn. Oh! The Thracians are attacking me mid... Oh, they've got... This is interesting. They've sent their faction leader. But they've got a giant pile of Peltas, which is kind of actually a bit tricky... For my... Oh, this is actually going to be really difficult. Um... I managed to back off. Because Peltas kind of... Not, they're not really hard to counter uh, Phalanxes. But Phalanxes are slow and very good at dealing with infantry. This is going to be tricky. I mean, then again, I've got... To, I'll give it a go. Because it'll just follow me otherwise. Uh, I'm just going to basically... I'm going to box up. I'm going to activate the Coward Box. We're going we're gonna, to we're activate a uh, Coward Box. Um, and then we're just going to see what happens next. It's going to be great. Uh, we're going to lose. Uh, any chance I can have some high ground? There is a, a sort of high ground. I'm just going to create a nice little coward box. A really dense coward box right here. And everything is going to be fine. No one's getting through my coward box. <laughs> Yay. Coward box. There we go. That's a nice coward box. Um, so nothing gets through that. No, no, nothing gets through that. This is just this is just a, a beautiful coward box that uh, no infantry could possibly penetrate. Uh, and then I'll just use my. I'm gonna try and use this this guy to try and see if I can just take out a giant pile of skirmishers because there's gonna be so many skirmishers they can't really they can't defend them. That's the problem. They've got so many skirmishers but they can't do a thing to defend them all. So we're just gonna try and uh, hit them as best we can. Stay away from the militia cavalry. This we got a good charge right over here because these guys are coming in this direction. So just basically hit these guys directly. Then stay away from the Falks. And you're trying to move away from there. And the Falksmen are. The Falksmen looks like they're going straight for this. The problem is if they just start picking me apart from all the different angles, that's going to be a problem. It really depends on how much morale this guy's passing on. If this guy's passing on good morale, we could be in trouble. But while I'm mixed up with these guys, they're going to kind of struggle to toss missiles at me. So you're up to shaken, which is okay. Yeah, the Falks, Falksmen will just charge. Because, you know, impetuousness is literally one of the character traits. So they'll just do that. You're trying to get in over here. That's Missile Cavalry, though. I mean, I feel like I could probably take Missile Cavalry. Then again, I'm kind of... Now I'm a bit... Now there's two of them. This is... Uh, I mean, I, I should win this fight. But, like, because I've got Heavy Cavalry. But it's Heavy Greek Cavalry, which is the worst kind. I need these guys to... I need these guys to break. They're only shaken right now. I need to pull out. And... No, we've lost another gen. <laughs> Yay! Well done! That's another general who died relatively early on. Okay, so now they're just going to pelt my coward box and I'm going to die. Um, so that's good. But on the plus, they haven't really pursued with the, um, the militia cav. So if we're lucky, this guy will recover and we can use the remnants of his cavalry to, uh, at least, like, slam into some of the peltas. But they're just going to pelt my coward box and that's going to be a problem because... The Falksmen are refusing to go in. What a bunch of dicks. Okay, this is this is why this was a, a largely unwinnable battle. Because at this point, they're just going to... They can just pelt my coward box, and there's not much I can really do about it. Um, so unless they run out of ammo, eventually they'll run out of ammo to murder me with. That's that's kind of my plan at this point. And I'd like you to recover, please. Why are you not recovering? There you go, you're recovering. Hit these guys, good. Good, good, good. Um, actually, there's... There's three Peltas here. If I can get them to break, that might cause a big morale debuff up. Okay, the entire coward box broke. Uh <laughs> I have been clearly defeated. You're not wrong. That's that's fair. That's that's legit. I have, you know. Yeah, this is the no general challenge run. That's what we're doing here. Welcome, welcome, to, the no welcome to the everybody's dead challenge run. Get all your generals killed. Yay. 
I don't like generals. Generals are boring. Generals are for losers. I don't need generals. You don't need elephants! We're going to have elephants instead of generals. It's going to be great. I should have just created more elephants. <laughs> oh, dear. Can the elephants be promoted to general? It, it, theoretically, they can be dynamically promoted to general. That is not impossible, yes. Um... Speaking of which, I think we should. I think we should. Uh, Clay, I think we should see some elephants in action. Yes. I think we should. I think we should see some. Uh, elephants. I think we should see some elephants. In I think we should see more than one. I think we should. I think we should see double elephants in action. Obviously. There we go. Let's let's have some. I just can't remember how much these guys cost. By the way, they cost um. How much? How much is the main? Oh, they cost a lot. Oh, it's Claire, I've ruined the economy because I've got too many elephants. Attack the brute! I more money. Huh? Can't you cheat yourself more money? In theory, I can, yes. Yay, 15 hit points. I forgot they had 15 hit points. Yay. Um, yeah, so they... they, they just put in mother load. That's true. We could, this is this is great. We're just... This is the welcome, welcome to cheating. Now I'm just going to send in the elephants. These, these are the special magic elephants. Elephants are good in general, but these, these elephants in particular are very fun elephants. They're a bit expensive. They're a bit on the um. They're a bit. They're a bit on the expensive side. Uh, I think my econo I think my entire economy exists just to try and because uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of the um mm -hmm. the elephants we were hiring. But if you consider the size of the elephant, nice versus the and the fact they've got Cretan archers on top of the elephant, nice. Says they have they have done work. So it, it is the new elephant model. So it's it's a very nice looking elephant, I'd say. So we just said, okay, we could just basically send in the, uh, if you've never seen these before, never seen these elephants, there are... Well, the... I mean, I have, because I've watched Return of the King, but, yeah. you know. But, I mean, in Rome, they're very fun. Yeah, that, that, I mean, yeah, that was a joke. Send um... in the elephants! And don't bother sending in anything else, to be honest. Ah, screw it, send the other things, anyway. They're very fast, they're very fast, they've got, they, you know, they can fire at will, they've just got Crete archers on top, and then they just kind of go in and, whee! You're dead now. That's that's uh, they're they're all they're all on the dead sides. So that's they they're just so there's that there's that. <laughs> Wee! So long, you stupid losers. No, now we just didn't. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna look up in the sky. I'm not gonna look at the elephants. We're just gonna look at Claire. Enjoy, we're just gonna enjoy this. We're just gonna look up in the sky. This. <laughs> we're just gonna follow this oh, guy. Those, oh, oh, those are people. Those are people. Okay, I was gonna say like all those bits of their, you know. It's flat. Okay. There we go. So that that guy went on an adventure. That guy went on an adventure right there. He I went can on a. See that. He went on a very fun adventure. This is everything's under control. Everything's under control. Yeah, they just kind of they just they just they just elephant people into space. It's just. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Welcome to Brutii. Welcome to the uh, Brutii Space Program. Uh, we're, we're, we're helping by just by blasting people. Oh, look, I won. <laughs> ah, life is good. Yeah, it is raining, man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. I'm not sure these guys, I don't know if these guys can actually knock down, um, whether they're allowed to knock down gates or not. I don't know if that's actually allowed. Uh, so that's fun. And now we can also take on the Skippy Eye because that will declare war on me next turn. So basically, screw them. Yeah, I, th I think we've I think we've got their number. But I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, we've got a, quite a few comments about the remaster specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, so shout out to Brian who gave us five euros uh, and wants to know have they made the mods that, uh, have they made that mod that you mentioned a while ago where you could pick and choose what to turn on part of the main game. Uh, yes, it's now part of the main game. Not for everything, but for the thing I wanted it is. So that's kind of all I really need to know. And oh, that's a fun battle Perfect. map. Look at that battle map. Oh, oh, that's that is, fun. That is wow. That's a beautiful. Oh, they, you get to ram your enemies, and then once you've like killed a bunch of people, you get to have a, a little swim in the sea. Yeah. The elephants can like run down, crush people, and then clean the blood of their paws in the sea. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yes, indeed. Tam Tom gave us five dollars uh, and says, "I can't wait for this game to come out." Now, uh, John gave us twenty dollars. <laughs> One of them just went into space! John gave us $20 and says, Can't wait to play this game. Room 1 is easily my favourite Total War. 
it's it's I love it. It's just so much <laughs> fun, and I, we're just we're just having we're just having good elephant fun times tonight. Uh, yeah, and Wedge, uh, Wedge and Tully's send us a hundred uh, Danish krona and says he will bring them death, and they will love him for it. The cheers of the crowd and the mob. It's not the marble of the Senate. It is the sand of the Colosseum. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I thought it was appropriate to read out during the elephants. You know, just. Ramic, <laughs> I just uh, you can't really you can't really like take anything seriously when they're doing that. Is this oh, oh is this guy going into the sea? Is this guy going into the sea? Is he gonna make it into the sea? Get is he going in to get the sea! Oh no, he bounced in. He's in. Look, he's in the water. There he goes. Hello. He made it in. There we go. We we officially got one person. One person was uh, the weirdest firework display. Wow. Yeah. One luckily one was actually sent far enough that it went into the uh, went into the sea. Uh, so we, we have confirmation one person ended up in the sea, which is uh, which is great. That's just great. Apparently I've got reinforcements somewhere, uh, but I... the chat would like you to uh, tell the people whose day it is. Hmm. Oh, they want it. The day is ours! There you go. There we go. I'm a You guys haven't broken yet. What f What the flip is happening here? Every get hit these guys. You're being attacked by giant elephants. I want to take. I mean, I do credit these guys. These guys are shaken. All right, they're not wavering. They're thinking. You know what? We should keep fighting this fight. We can take. We can do that. I mean, can we you, got this. Look, not to bring down the tone of this magnificent battle, but can you imagine if one of those elephants like took a shit in the middle of the battle? <laughs> Claire, what? Lowering the tone of this entirely, you know, historically accurate game. Yes, indeed. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, yes, and you, uh, gave us two dollars and wants to know if they altered the bridge battles. You guys are great. Uh, yes, the bridge battles, I think, like, I think it's specifically the mass of units has been, certain units has been increased. So, like, it's easier for units to push through phalanxes. So, phalanxes aren't quite such an instant bridge victory tool. They kind of, they can be interrupted a bit more easily. And I've had discussions with the devs about whether the mechanic in um, Barbarian Invasion, where some units can swim, ought to be retroactively added into Rome. They said they were looking into it, but it was not, like, it was not certain. Um, so it was something that was kind of like as a, as a possibility. But I, I, I suggested it to them. I said that sounded like a good idea to me. Um, so we shall, uh, we'll actually have to see if that actually happens. At any point. Um, by the way, cavalry, get in the city where you can get retrained. Thank uh, you. Lovely. I mean, Claire isn't wrong. Thank you, Claire. We were all thinking it. Claire is making it weird. <laughs> Damn it, Claire. Stop making <laughs> oh, it weird. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, shout out to Santa Claus, who gave us five pounds. Excellent name. And says, I'm a long-time fan of yours. You guys always giving these wonderful gifts. You remind me of me. <laughs> can we get a full campaign series of this? Yes, we can. Starting next Monday. It's a challenge Woo! run as well. It's going to be great. Uh, let's see. Alex gave us 20 Canadian dollars. Says, hello, John and Claire. Hooray. I was very happy about this coming out. Loved every Rome series. And I also enjoyed the Outer Worlds DLC playthrough. I am tempted to get it. I hope all is good and Tabby as well. It is a solid game. It's a really solid, interesting, well put together game. Mm. So that's that absolutely is a, as far as I'm concerned, a good idea. Right, I need to get my Cretans and my Archers in here for some upgrades from the Shrine, uh, the, sorry, the Temple of Artemis. And then we just need to get you in here just to, you know, excuse me, defend myself against Romans. So we've got still the original, uh, we've still got the original, uh, obviously, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely uh, description. For these guys so yes absolutely <laughs> ah good the god of shiny things that man does not need but desires anyway dark and foul uh dark and foul are the ceremonies that summon them <laughs> i.e cheating excellent everything is lovely that it's, it's it's good to it, yeah all the original cheats if you remember your original cheats all work just fine everything is spectacular okay so we got that that is yeah that's my ally i'm a little bit concerned rome might be about to backstab me I'm sensing a bit of backstabbing in the offing going on here. So we'll have to 
you know, keep a close eye on the uh, the Romans here, because I don't 100% trust what's uh, what's going on right now at all, actually. So we'll have to uh, have to see about that, Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Sorry, I kind of made it sound the intention I picked that made it sound like I was blaming Claire for the Romans' betrayal, me, which is probably unfair. It's probably not Claire's fault. Oh, no, I got what you meant. <laughs> uh, shout out to, uh, da, 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 sorry, shout out to, uh, Fled, who, uh, gave us two pounds and says to expand on the idea of having John as a GPS whenever it reroutes, it goes, I have a plan! <laughs> Oh, that sounds excellent. You see, immediately, the game just immediately just generated me a new general to replace the dead one. All right, I, I, you know, it doesn't matter if you kill some generals, because generally the game just gives you new ones. It's like, like it's, it actually can generally be a good strategy. Like, if you've got really bad generals, just get them killed, because there's a good chance, like, a new one will just be adopted out of nowhere, and it's fine. So, you know, I think, I think it's, uh, I think that's uh, a okay. That's uh, the most uh, reasonable, logical thing in the world to do. Also, I can't remember if this was always the thing, but now on the recruitment tab, like, if you've got something like an improvement in a city, like, say, um, you've got an armorer or a, or a religious building that gives bonus XP, it shows you exactly what the unit actually is. Like, it will come with a unit of experience on the unit card when you're training, which I think is really useful. And it's actually very useful indeed. Uh, you get in here, meanwhile... Uh, because, yes, I want to retrain all of my ranged units. Oh, that's going to be good. That's that's going to be uh, that's gonna be some sexy, sexy Cretan archers. Already missile attack. Like, the missile attack bar is already full at 12. <laughs> and it's about to get fuller. Uh, you, by the way, should just nip round over to here and just deal with the fleets as best you can. Cadonia already belongs to me. Don't need to worry about any of this over here. No real need to rush to Halicarnassus or... Uh, Attacking the Selecids, aside from the fact... I mean, the poor Selecids, I just feel bad enough for them already. Okay, they generally don't have a good time with this game. We don't need to rub it in. <laughs> Damn it, it's fine. But everyone's going to get some bonus XP. Everyone's going to retrain. Everyone's going to be good. And once we bring these two forces together, we'll be ready to kick the Romans' ass. Now, uh, okay, I'll admit. I feel a bit, I feel a bit bad about the, uh, about the units, uh, here. I'm going to get rid of two of my elephants. I'm going to, I'm going to keep one. I'm going to keep one. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of the other two. I feel a bit bad having three elephants. That's too many. One elephant is fine. I think one bonus elephant unit is more than enough. Okay, I think that's A-OK. -okay. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to many people who commented on uh, the super chats. Um, the super chats not working. And then when they started working again. To Are they working for everybody now, do we think? I think... Think so. I've not seen as many people in the chat saying it didn't work, and I, I do have several comments from people saying that they couldn't uh, super chat before, and now they could. Oh, so good. shout out to Sebastian who gave us fifty Swedish krona and says best krona has access to super chat now. Uh, Oman Gaming gave us five dollars and says testing. <laughs> Lisa gave us twenty Swedish krona and says testing, testing one two three. The book 778 gave us five pounds, says, Hey, John, Claire, and Tabby, looks like Super Chats are working for me now. Uh, I hope you are well, and the stresses of moving aren't getting to you. I'm going to be honest, they are. A I've little been, bit, yeah. I've been very stressed. Okay, three settlements all got betrayed simultaneously, and the Greeks have screwed us over. So, I think now it might be elephant time. I think now it might be very reasonable to say, Screw you, you absolute dicks. I, and there's also more Thracian attacks. Uh, but I feel like I can handle this. I feel like that's fine. We'll deal with that in a second. But now we've got this super mega awesome army. And this super upgrade. Oh, look at this. That's 14 missile attack on Cretans. Even basic archers with a bit of experience and plus two. Missile attack 10 on basic archers. Love the Temple of Artemis. Like, it's one of like, the very few temples I will never tear down. Like, in, if I'm playing the game normally and I, in, I invade Macedonia, I really, I really hope... That there's like a big temple of Artemis and I will never remove it. Because it's so... It's just such a good... It's such a good building to have. Full stop. So, okay. We're going to bring everything together. The nice thing is, of course, as a Greek faction, you can defend yourself pretty effectively. And... Are you invading with peasants? I, I, I appreciate you're invading with your faction leader. But you also seem to be invading with peasants. I feel like we can we can at least give these guys a bit of a poke. Uh, right here. So, let's just see what we got. Because Sally Battles are great. Um, yeah, if we can get into a good position, I suspect, because they've got literally no range whatsoever, 
Uh, we can do at least a little something to take out some of their, uh... If we prioritize firepower and their hot flights, I can do at least... I can, like, I can slow them down a bit. I can slow them down a bit, because now I'm under attack from every side. So, I'm just going to use a Sally battle just to kind of, uh, take these guys... Slow these guys down a bit. I love... Masters don't have the best religion. All right, they get they get Ares, they get plus experience, same as the Brutii Mars religion. They get Artemis, which is brilliant. I think they gain um, they also have a what is that? A plus growth one, I think. Uh, which is really cool. So yes, all we've got to do really now is get out and about and. Oh, I'd never noticed this. I must have known this in the back of my head. But Corinth technically breaks the rules, which is it's a level two settlement. That has stone walls at the beginning of the game. Just because, you know, historically and whatever. But like, um, yeah, I never noticed that. But actually, technically, Corinth does actually break the rules of the game. It has a stone wall earlier than you're allowed stone walls. I never really noticed that or thought about that before. But there you go. Fascinating. Right, it's going to take me a moment just to get my units out. Because I'm going to be honest. The AI for, hey, let's figure out how to get out of gates. Still not great. Still not spectacular. They still kind of get a bit stuck. They're not spectacular at, um... At that. Still a bit of a, a problem in many ways. Claire? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. We've got a few uh, a few comments. Uh, in general, uh, Zohibe uh, gave us $20. Uh, Jake gave us £10 and says, Tea and chocolate is such a good way to moderate the stream. I recommend this and share with all. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, Myra is a new channel member. Welcome, of course, Myra. Um, Kuzco gave us two euros and says, I've got nothing to say, so flimber dimble, that is all. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd say, so fair enough. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Leary gave us, uh, Leary gave us three Canadian dollars and says, Flaming pigs, question mark. Uh, they're in the game, yeah. Yeah. They are in the game. Uh, you know what? Maybe at the end of this, we'll do some custom battles with the yeah. dumb meme units. Uh, yeah, and uh, Connor uh, gave us five Canadian dollars and says Romanus owned Domus. Domus. Romans go home. Yes. No, I mean, I, I know where it's from. I just don't really know how to read it properly. Mm. <laughs> Let's just get some missiles on the back of the hoplites. Because your hoplites are really slow, which is what makes them so vulnerable to uh, range units like Peltas. Uh, because they can't really get away particularly fast. So we can just get some good hits on them. You're about to get some good hits. Just watch the cavalry. I think you're about to get some better... Yeah, you're about to get some better hits in over there. And then we've got a bit of a range advantage. So look at that. We've got a bit of high ground advantage. Um, you guys just come in. Guys, what are you doing? Come on, be careful. Everyone just, everyone just behave. And even though we're outside of range, just the, the added, um... The added range... Just look at this... This game has been... Okay, it's had some modest upgrades, but just look at that. Look at the background. It's so pretty. This game was always so pretty. And, of course, don't forget, think about Hoplites is, because they're packed so close together, it means there's a really good chance every javelin hits, which another thing was just... It was just an organic way the game balanced itself. The, like, you know, tightly packed phalanxes were so effective at blocking up, but it also made them super vulnerable to range, as well as being hit in the back. This game, everything made sense organically. There was no, like, magic ability to just say, yeah, turn this on and you get something, something resist. It was just like, no, it makes sense. It all works intuitively. The reason why raising armies works is because of the population system that's back in the game because I got it to be back in the game. Hooray. Uh, so, yeah, we should just be able to nail these guys and we'll probably, like, drain, like, I don't know, half of them or something and everything will be okay. <laughs> It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happening there. And as soon as they're all out, as long as these guys are out of missiles, we just retreat inside. And we just say, you know what? I feel, I feel like we've done our jobs here. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now, uh, you guys just uh, retreat inside and we'll get the phalanxes back inside uh, too. And then that's it. That's that's all we need. That's all we needed today. We're just going to retreat. We've knackered, like we've taken out like, I don't know, half or something, or maybe a little less than half. Like a third of the men of your strongest uh, hoplite unit. You've only got a handful of units here. I've got city streets and all sorts of other advantages. If you want to try and push forward into flipping towers, you're welcome to try, you stupid loser. But it's not going to work well for you. And then the second, yeah, that's it. We've just done a nice little successful Sally. Love the Sally battles. How long did they, they were such an important part of Rome. Which is great. That was such a big part of the game. I never really felt like they were again afterwards. Like Medieval 2 a little bit. But I just never felt like they were after this point. I always thought that was such a sad thing. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Alana who gave us five pounds, uh, and uh, and they say I got half. Uh, I got 
my first shot of the vaccine. Sweet. Sorry, John. I got the Oxford one. We all know how much you loved your time at Cambridge. <sighs> how are you both and how is Tabby? This is, this is not, not, not cool. Not cool, actually. Oh. I'm also just going to use my... We're all right. Uh, we're all right, Alana. As we said, it's just a little stressful right now. Yeah, uh, just Tabby a is fine because she doesn't know we're moving. Yeah, um, not yet. And she doesn't know that the new place, if we manage to actually get there, is much bigger and has more stairs. Uh, <laughs> That was the um. That was the faction. You can you can now um. Yeah, moving uh, the retinue around is now done way more effectively. Is that nothing but? Is that literally nothing but bloody? Hang on. Have you attacked me with nothing but cocking um skirmishers? Is that actually all you've brought? It's one Cretan archer, skirmishers, and one militia cavalry. I feel like this guy could do a lot of damage to you. Actually, <laughs> I'm going in. We're going in with literally. Okay, okay Claire. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility what, what's about to happen here is I might be actually um, about to lose another general. <laughs> but it's not going to happen because I'm really good at the game. Uh, but I'm about to... <laughs> there's, 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 there's a possibility I might be about to lose another general here. This is... Why is this a night battle? Uh, we're going to... We're just going to... We're just going to... Oh, why is it uphill? That's no good. Okay, we're going to have you over here. You can come over... You can come out over here. It's going to be fine. And have you over here. We're just going to come out and we're just going to slam into some of these guys and we're just going to see what happens. So you guys just get out outside over to here. And yeah, the leader is... It was Militia Cavalry, which is not that good. And guys, I feel like you should be able to do better than this when it comes to all of this nonsense. So get out over here. And now we just get over here. Now, where's actually, where's the Cretan? Where's the Cretan archer? Uh, Peltasts, 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 Peltasts. Is that the Cretans? Oh, flip, the Cretan archers are exposed. Okay, they're the other side. Um, okay, so I might just want to try and get on top of here. Now, uh, hopefully what's going to happen is you're not actually reloading just yet. Heavy cavalry are pretty slow. Uh, but I should be able to just hit these guys. And if I can just take out the Cretan archers, I've taken out the single most dangerous bit of the army. Which is pretty good. And then you guys are... You guys are kind of now stuck on the outskirts of the of the fight here. You guys are already wavering. Uh, shaken. But yeah, that's going to start going down real fast. Come on, come on, come on. Let's let's start making some progress here. I'm taking on two units at once, which is going to slow down the loss. But shaken, wavering. Come on, let's have a break. I just need one break. If I can get one break, I think I can just trigger a chain. I can just trigger... Yeah, there's the route. Next over here. Just go straight over here. That's a route. That's going to be... That's a route. Okay, we got a chain route. we got a chain route. That's going to be... The entire army's now just going to basically die. Um, which is pretty good. And I think you're going to break as soon as I touch you. Because there's everyone around you is also breaking. And then you're going to bring you straight into there. So down to that, that, that. Uh, shaken, wavering. But everyone around... Oh, look at that. Look at the numbers go down. Right, that's the general gone. The general's dead. And then that's going to be... Hopefully that was him and not me. That's the enemy general, right? Yeah, that was the enemy general. Okay, I th I, I'm pretty sure they're going to try and leave at this point because they're probably thinking at this point, okay, so we shouldn't have attacked Athens because our entire army can't take out just the general. So now we're just going to have uh, you broken. The downside is in a night battle, because of the way the um the banner sits up, it's kind of hard to tell the difference as to whether they're routing or not. So there is an argument for, say, turning on the, um, the unit status at that point. So then uh, every unit over here is breaking. You're straight to wavering. Your general's dead and also been chased off the field. Uh, wavering, broken. And then wavering, uh, shaken, shaken before I've even actually got over there. Head over to here, wavering and broken. This is just good experience. This is this is just free XP. So thank you, thank you for the free experience uh, for giving it to me. Um, okay, and then you're already shaken. You're 123 wavering, and then I just come over towards you, and now you're dead. And this, is... they're, they're, they're trying, they're trying, bless them. They're not, they're not actually running, which is which is surprising under the circumstances. Then I just mop you up. Okay. Now get the Cretans. I don't want the Cretans here. Go! And the Cretans have been broken. So sad. So sad to kill Cretans. The value, most valuable unit in the game. They did well, damn it. They tried. And then... Are you still... Okay, well, you, you, you tried. It, it, it was an attempt. Then get over back over to here. Take out this guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you know, I think I think we've we've won the, we've won the, 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 the glorious battle of Athens. And this guy's not dead. Instead, he's picked... He's gone from, I think, zero to three experience because he's just killed hundreds of cocky units. So how about we just say that's... Uh, I think that's good enough. Right over there. Finish off uh, all of you guys. 
right over there. Finish off you. You're not going to get this guy because he's gone over there for some I don't know why you're going over there. Also, I don't know why they're taking this out. You used to be able to double click left to move the camera. That's gone because the camera's been modernized. It's like in the same style as the modern uh, ca total cameras, which is fine. Generally, it's superior. But I miss being able to double click. That you can obviously you can still click on the map if you want to like go somewhere on the map. But you used to be able to just like double click, say here, and it would make the camera jump there. That's gone now, which is a bit of a shame. So I, I kind of feel like that's that's a bit of a sad admission. I don't really know. Well, I know where that's gone. It's because they've updated the camera to be in the same style as the modern style. So that's why that's gone. But I still I still kind of miss it because I always thought that was kind of useful. And oh, heroic victory! Does that mean I get one of the new little markers? The marks on the map are way more, uh, way more uh, jazzy now. When you get like a, um, a a great heroic victory, there's a really kind of really big jazzy thing on the map. I don't know whether we're actually going to get to see it on this occasion or whether that, that actually counts or not. No, it it was not good enough. Okay, so you've been slowed down, but I think at this point we need to get some revenge on Sparta for what they've just done to me. So uh, deploy all units. Uh, we're going to deploy the new lad. To help out with uh, all of this. Deploy all infantry in this direction and give him all the cavalry and all of the range. And that should be, yep, that's pretty much a, uh, a full stack army right there. Have we got any mercs? We got, oh, Thracian mercs. Spectacular. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to send these guys down south and they're just going to kick the ass of everybody. So, everything is lovely. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to... Where's the correct... Sorry, I was just getting the correct document. We've got a lot of lovely comments. The monkey with no soul gave us five uh, pounds. And says, I wanted to say thank you for introducing me to Total War five years ago last week with your videos sponsored by Leaks. Oh. I saw Wales and had to play 1,040 hours. Oh, wow. Over a thousand, sweet, love it. Wow, John Snow gave us twenty pounds and says, "Hey, John and Claire, first donation, but I've been a fan since New Vegas Kill Everything. Rome was my first game ever, and so I was delighted when you said it was one of your favorites. Love, love you it. both, and Tabby too, of course. It's 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 a one it's a wonderful time. It's just a good old time, damn it." Uh, yeah, Con Man uh, gave us uh, $10 and says, John, I'm literally re-watching your Brutti Eye playthrough for the third time. That playthrough convinced me to buy Rome Total War as my first game after I finished building my PC. Love you, man. Damn straight. It's, 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 such, it's such a classic. It's, it's, you could just put so many hours into this. I just love it. It's just a good time. Uh, yes, and Nightmare's Shadow gave us ten dollars, uh, and says I was watching your original Rome Total War series, then rewatching your Barbarian Invaders. In I love invasion. your series so much. Barbarian Invasion, I assume you mean. Well, yeah, but they wrote it wrong, so I read ah. it wrong. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I just I'm a little bit tired. Um, um, we've both had a bit of a stressful day. Yes. yes, we've had a bit of a stressful day, and we ended up having to do a lot of emergency admin for for the move um, mm -hmm. at about five six p.m. Yes, and that's when I'm supposed to take my top up evening medication that I take when we have streams, so that yeah. I can. She doesn't turn into a werewolf. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so you might wanna like go lock yourself in a room because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, by the time I realized that I should take my uh, top of evening medication because we're live streaming, it was 6.30 and I'm not allowed to take it after 6 because then I don't sleep very well. And so. she turns into a gremlin. Well, you know, more of a gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay, we got... That's the Peltas over there. There's about this... They've got one unit of... Oh, no, that's Falx. I was about to say, they got Peltas protecting Peltas. No, they do not. Uh Okay, if I wanted to send the cavalry forward, they're sort of pushing forward a little bit. All I'm really going to be able to do really here is, unless I can bait the Falksman, which is possible, I'm just going to try and hit the militia cavalry, and I'm just going to see what happens. Um, obviously, my cavalry is both heavy, which is a bit on the slow side. They are lovely. Look at that. Look at the Macedonian cavalry. They were already, already lovely, but now they've got like proper shiny, shiny armor and stuff, which is great. So I'm just going to see if I can maybe hit these guys. They're not... Pulling away right now. They're being a bit slow on the... And... Well, we've got a hit. Whether that's going to be enough to actually pull them into combat... Doesn't look like it. I'm going to deploy the um, the general over to here. Let's just sacrifice another general for no good reason. Uh, just hit these guys. And that's going to be uh, not the best charge bit will do. 
Uh, we're never going to hit those guys, so I'm just going to bring these guys over to here. Because then at least they're kind of close by to the... Oh, that's Falxers! Uh, get away from the Falxers! Okay, get you over to here if we can. And somehow we've managed to make good contact with the general. So I'm just going to... One, I'm going to hit you guys again. And then I'm going to pull you guys... That's the general, the militia cavalry. I'm just going to hit you guys. I'm going to pull you guys away from here. Then I'm going to pull you guys over to here. And we should be able... Kill the oh, Macedonians are taking so much damage. Oh, the very hard difficulty. Oh, that's just not cool. It's not cool. Hit them over there, wavering. Let's get them broken and broken. Okay, so we're going to kill the general. Uh, or the captain, I suppose. Uh, and I really hope that was him and not my general because uh, it would be sad if we killed another general. That These guys are just going to run away forever, aren't they? Yes, they are. What a bunch of cowards. Okay, well, ignore them. And now, okay, let's see if we can use the old trick where if you're not actually targeting them, they don't try and move away from you. No, I think that's, I think maybe that's been fixed. You used to be able to, if you weren't actually clicking on them, they didn't really acknowledge that you were getting close to them. So, I do not want to charge Falks, but I do not. That was a lot of dead Macedonians. Oh, dear. Uh, but yes, I love I love how they, they do actually behave, uh, you know, properly. Which is sometimes you just go, you know what, I'm just going to go where the hell I feel like and you can't stop me. Uh, right, it's just around the outside of them. Then we just hit the Peltasts and then we'll have done a good large amount of damage right there. So just hit you. And then they're already wavering and then we're going to be coming in with more. Right, so that's them melted. That's nice and easy. And then it's just a question of what's left. Uh, and what's left is there's another unit of Peltas over there. So I'm just going to bring you guys over here. And yeah, honestly if the um, the Falksman want to just kind of come in, then that's fine. You guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. So, yeah. We're just going to chase them off. There's going to be no one around to support. I could start moving forward at this point, but I feel like actually we're okay for the minute. Are they broken? Yeah, they're broken over there. I mean, to be honest, what have they got left? Screw it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start moving. I'm going to move in. I'm going to see if we can engage them properly. Uh, you guys are already in a lot of trouble, so we're absolutely fine. They probably might retreat. So they might withdraw at some point. We'll see. And get over here and then just start mopping up some people. Uh, yeah, if I can just get my my phalanxes in the right position. Specifically, pikemen taking on their units. That would be pretty good. So just get you guys over here. Now we're just sort of facing each other aggressively. And you are... They're pretty much dead. They're not coming back. May as well get you up the side at this point because they've not got much left. Right, now it's just a question of inching forwards. And then finally, just, yeah, when the moment comes, using my cavalry to close the door. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. On uh, other games that people want you to play, uh, McCreel gave us 200 Swedish krona and says, Have some of my tax return, you magnificent bastards. Also, the king of the Rad Roaches building uh, spawned <sighs> another named enemy in my Fallout 4 survival game, so maybe it's a fixed spawn. Ah, yeah, a lot of people said that was just it was just a thing as happens, and they'd seen that before. So apparently that's just a thing I just happened to have never seen. Probably I figured out because in my survival playthrough, after I got to level 35, I was using vertebrates for everything. But in YOLO, you can't really do that because vertebrates, there's too much chance they could come under fire. Uh, but in survival, where it, it, you know it wasn't under YOLO rules, you could just use them pretty, um, pretty happily. Because worst thing that happens is you just restart at your base if someone happens to blow up the vertebrate, so it's fine. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, Christopher also gave us five dollars and says, "Hey John, would you be interested in playing Total War Empire? It seems right up your alley. I've been following you since Fallout 3. Kill everything." I think Empire is a flawed gem, but I'm gonna wait for the actual remaster because it looks. If this goes well, I suspect they're gonna immediately start talking about, "Hey, what if we were to remaster, you know, flipping uh, Empire and Row uh, Medieval 2 and stuff?" Uh, and oh, come on, come on, Falksman. You know you want to. You know you want to go into the impenetrable wall of spikes, you stupid bastards. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to move this unit any minute. Any minute now. I'm going to move this unit a tiny bit forward. I'm just going to have these guys move a little, little, tiniest bit forward. And in just a sec. There we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Stop there. Okay. So that's... Now, now, we're, now, we're, just, now we're just going to poke them. Now we're just going to go poke, 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 poke. Pock, pock. Should have brought army, you stupid dicks. No one tries to get up the side of me. I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, they've already broken. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you poor bastards. No, they're already wavering. Hit them. Just hit them. Just hit them in the side. They'll break instantly. Instant break. Guaranteed. Yep, there it is. Dub. Job done. Finished. Now we just ride them down for free XP. Clap. I've not killed a general. My general's not dead. Yay. 
Well done, I suppose. Uh, shout out to Flair who gave us five pounds and says, I love you guys. Will you consider playing the roguelike Risk of Rain 2? Also, if this sends, uh, it means the super chats have been fixed. So, scratches to Tabby and loads of kudos to you too. As I understand it, Risk of Rain 2 is like, it, it's a bit better multiplayer. So, I was talking about doing it with Matt and Dan at some point. We never found a slot for it though. So, maybe at some point we'll get I'll get around to it with Dan and Matt. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've got uh, Steve, who gave us uh, 70 South African rands, and says, what I really want is for John to do a video similar to two good things and one bad thing in each Fallout game, but for Total War. Ooh, uh, interesting. Just also wanted to say thank you to the MATN team, as I have been watching for six years. Oh, well, thank you for being around for so long. Yeah, the problem we've got, though, is you need to come up with something good to say about Napoleon. Oh, sick burn against Napoleon! I hate Napoleon Total War. It's just Empire, but worse. Why does Napoleon exist? Fuck Napoleon. A question that Victor Hugo asked many times. Oh god, that was fucking highbrow humor. Fucking raising the tone after your elephant dump joke. It's a, it's a roller coaster. I mean, to be fair, that was just very friendly. It's a roller. It's a roller coaster with you. One moment, one moment, one moment. It's what if that elephant took a dump? Next minute, oh well, that's Victor Hugo once said. Ho he ho he ho. I shall stroke my tiny beard. I'm sorry. Are you or are you not the person who's like one minute? waxing lyrical about the tragedy of having lost Menander and then talking about how Aristophanes is beautiful because it shows us that poop was always funny and always will be but are hilarious they, throughout history. Well, yes, obviously. Like, the I'm sorry, but you and I on this point are extremely well matched. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but this thing you just pointed out it's a feature, not a bug. Oh, good lord. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> I hate you so much. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. The Romans are coming in, aren't they? I'm sending my elephant down to mess up the Greeks, because seriously, fuck the Greeks. What are you guys doing? How dare you? How very dare you? And it's, ooh. That, got, that joke was so French and very niche. I'm French and I understood that joke. Oh god. Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Napoleon. I just don't understand why Napoleon exists. It just strikes me as yeah, empire, but not as interesting or ambitious or good in general. Right. Step one. You're going to die right here. And uh, my fleet. I probably shouldn't have engaged with that actually, because I kind of I kind of need my fleet to carry my guys over to Italy at some point. Uh, but the Romans aren't attacking uh, this town. Uh, which is good, because yeah, I've got some levy pikemen, I've got some good cav there. The Gauls are about to take Salona, which I'll take as a win, because that means the Romans don't have it. Um, anything that stops the Roman expansion is a good thing. Uh, can I do any retraining here? Just a tiny, tiny amount. One more pikeman as well. My yeah, my economy's looking good. My economy's in good shape, uh, so I'm really not worried about uh, any of that. In which case, just get out more pikemen here as well and here honestly as i can't actually uh, i can't grow any faster i may as well get the practice range in play too yes interesting um ribbon says uh ribbon says empire's campaign was better but napoleon had better unit diversity every empire in empire had exactly the same unit roster Ugh, fair, fair, I suppose. It just, you didn't... See, you found the good thing to say about Napoleon, so you can make that video. No, because if the, if, because, because if the, the point in favour of Napoleon was, oh, it had good unit variety, then Warhammer would just be there going, ha, 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 hey, babe, is this guy bothering you? Push. Yeah, I, I suppose what we're saying here Warhammer is Warhammer is sitting that over there in... is the absolute fucking king of unit diversity. I think what we found here is a point against uh, against Empire for that yeah. portion of the video rather than pro. Yeah, but uh, that's it's kind of hard to say that because like in many ways like Shogun 2's base campaign everyone's got pretty much the same roster but it's still amazing. Like just like unit variety does not a fundamentally a good make and lack of it does not fundamentally bad make. Uh, but, like, unit diversity is absolutely, like, Warhammer is the king of unit diversity, and not just in, like, you know, everyone being a bit different, but everyone being distinct in, like, what they're doing. Like, you know, the weapons teams and the range of Skaven, uh, versus, like, you know, some factions that have, like, um, I think, like, I think to this day, the, um, uh, the undead, the undead counts have, like, uh, the vampire counts, sorry, have, like, zero range? And they don't have any. Uh, you know, versus beast and monster heavy factions versus, you know, the diverse steel and gunpowder. 
uh, factions to form the Empire, and then, like, you know, the really, really tanky infantry of the draws. Like, uh, Warhammer is the absolute gold standard for unit diversity. It's great. Um, but it's like, you, you, you can't use that in favour of Napoleon. That's not, that's not right. That's, that's not right. It, that's true. Napoleon feels like it should have been DLC for Empire. Agree. Napoleon does not feel like a standalone game in the franchise at all. I, I, I absolutely agree with that. I think the person who just said that, that's absolutely true. I Many think it should people be said that. Yeah, it feels like Empire DLC. I think that's absolutely true. It should not have been, I don't think it should have been its own campaign at all. I think that's completely fair. Uh, right. So, so I think what we're saying is that Napoleon Total War is in fact The Sims 4 My First Pet stuff. This is, I don't know what this reference, yes, sure. It's a really fucking sick burn, John. I, I, I'm sure it is. Can we get map information from the Gauls, by the way? Maybe an alliance. They, they want me to pay. Ah, oh, screw it. You can pay for your money. Uh, I'm mean, guessing you don't want an alliance. Oh, they definitely don't want an alliance in that case. Uh, okay. Well, fair, I guess they are. Right now, they're. Tr okay. You can pretend that you're not at war with the Julii. You're at war with the Julii, whether you know it or not, mate. All right. It's, it's flipping happening. The Gauls are very green on the map these days, by the way. The colours on the map have been like. If you think the vi the map in the campaign in general is a bit too vibrant, I don't think it is. But I agree that the flipping. The, the Gauls are radioactive on the map. It might be a bit much. Um, I, I think that might be a bit too far. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Oh dear. And. Oh, the Gauls are actually coming in for an attack. Which I'm. Really surprised by, because I have got by far the superior mega army. So they're bringing in... Yeah, it's nothing but... It's phalanxes. They've... Yeah, it's, it's literally one unit of cavalry that a giant pile of phalanxes. Oh, guys, you're in... You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a... Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh guys, this is... This is not a two-thirds me, one-third you. This is... You've made a mistake. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to... Um... Shout out to one of my very favorite usernames, to be honest, Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmundi. It's very sweet. Uh, gave us 20 pounds and says, Rome hype! Time for more character assassination of long dead peeps! <laughs> On that note, is Spurious Flavius the most Christian man who ever Christians? Based on anyone real, I can only find an early Republic Roman by that name. I'm, n I'm not aware of yeah, any. You've done more research, Dennis. I I'm not aware of uh, a matching historical figure who was particularly known for being ludicrously Christian, but I, I may be incorrect. Like, um, Western Roman Empire, at the, towards the fall of the Western Empire, not my area of specialization at all. Absolutely way more focused on uh, early, uh, uh, early Empire and late Republic. Uh, and to be honest, more of a Hellenist full stop. Uh, so uh, plenty of that, not, not something I am uh, not, uh, not something I'm familiar with. Uh, so I would not be able to tell you with absolute certainty whether that is uh, whether that's accurate or not. But I, I'm unaware of a matching historical figure. Let's say that. Mm. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just... They Claire got stuck. No, I'm working, John. Shh. I'm working. Somebody sent like a super chat that's like half the message and then the other half the message. I got to knit it together. Eh. Which is fine, by the way. Sorry. Like, I'm not... I'm not annoyed at that. I'm annoyed at John for, like, m m making me, um... Po pointing out. Uh, anyways, fine. There we go. I was going to have to count uh, all it's over. It's his fault we're behind, not mine. Oh, so much light that, lancing. So. Oh, so much light lancing. Oh, no! That's Claire. Yes. Can dear. you spot where the elephant was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no! Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is where the yellow... <laughs> Guys, get back into position. Stop playing with the elephant. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a problem for you bastards. Oh yeah, I forgot about the reinforcements. I forgot it was reinforcements coming in from this direction. Uh, okay, sorry, I forgot to actually check where the reinforcements were coming from. Uh, in which case, you guys just sort of be here, and we'll have elephants over over here. With the elephants over in this direction. All right, we're just gonna we can use the elephants tactically. Tactically, unless they're gonna are they planning to? I think they're planning to to come and meet up uh, in the center. Uh, which is fine. If that's what they're going to do, then we'll just bring everyone together. Then we'll just turn them in a sack. Uh, no. They are actually coming at me. 
They are actually coming at me. Also, the elephant's now just running. Th these elephants are just running in a circle. The elephant's just running in a circle at this point. Uh, who's my priority? I feel like I've got plenty of firepower pointing in this direction, so the Cretans can be dedicated over to here. So we're just going to use the elephants. Uh, you know, deploy the elephants. And guys, guys, are you 100, 100% 100 sure you want to get involved? With my uh, with my elephants, with that. actually the missile attack seventy six. Actually, the missile is the missiles are not actually that hard at all. Uh, the missiles are actually quite a light little attack, uh, which is I just love how they send everyone flying. This is one of the rare instances, by the way. Normally in this game, when someone falls over, they die. Uh, but when the elephant, when these elephants attack them, they fall over, then get back up. It, it's it's the one bit of war hammering in this game where it's like, oh no, I've been sent flying, but actually it turns out I'm fine. So don't worry, it's it's cool. Just, don't, don't don't panic. It, it's it's a okay. And we got a little bit, a little, little bit of high ground uh, versus uh, these guys. I'm just going to send the Cretans forward with a bit of flaming ammunition. You guys can both have flaming ammo too. You guys are just going to start opening fire. Yeah, that's just hoplite. So we, those guys can just be pelted while we're going by. In fact, you know what? The cavalry would do better off at the far side of the field. So I'm just going to send the cavalry like looping through in this direction. Round the outside of the hoplite, and then just try and catch these guys. That's going to be the better position for them, because the cavalry is going to do a better job against the um, against the peasants and whatnot. Though to be honest, the they're sort of heading in anyway. Are they? Oh, are you trying to get on top of this? They might be trying to get on top of this. Okay, you guys trying to get away from here. Time for you guys to get away from here. If they're actually trying to charge, then uh, I think that's absolutely fine. And turn that off, because otherwise that will just cause trouble. And now. Are you actually about to charge straight into militia hoplites with your cavalry? Is this is this a hundred percent sure something you want to? Well, it's a thing they did want to do. I think they're going to regret it. I think I think they're going to regret it momentarily. Uh, I think it might be time to send in the uh, the elephants. And by the way, where'd my cavalry? Oh, they're they're coming back to try and get my cavalry. My ca I forgot about my cavalry. It's all the way over here. Um. So that's all absolutely fine. So now we got yeah we got plenty of all this happening. And now yeah the problem is these guys do do break. So okay, deploy the cow, deploy the elephants, not the cavalry, the elephants, the 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 the, 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 cav the cav elephants. Uh, right. So okay, you guys can just go now, cause cause you 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 you're breaking my line, and I'm not I'm not thrilled about that. So just just break all these guys. And that's all a okay. We got plenty of cav coming up the rear, and then oh, I think one of my ele my, ele my ele oh no my elephants. What happened to it? Oh no, my elephants broke, and they're all dead. No, the elephants. Oh no. <laughs> Their elephants are they're desperately trying to get out of the battlefield. Have they gone berserk? I think they've gone... No, they've gone berserk. Oh, no, Claire. The elephants are going for me now. Okay, we should, we had to take down the elephants. Oh, no. Okay, the elephants are dead now. <laughs> okay, it's the elephants. Oh, no. Oh, the elephants. Oh, no. And, ah, you guys are going to break at this point. Where, where's, do we know where these guys are? Okay, well, you guys are just going to be, you guys are going to be fine. You guys just turn your attention over here. This, this army's gone. I think, I think, I think all the elephants died. But on the way out there, they panicked and killed a lot of, a lot of things. But I think the elephants are actually real. I think the elephants are actually physical items on the map. So I think my horse have to, yeah, a fallen elephant is an actual physical physics object. You have to kind of work around it. You can use fallen elephants as like barricades, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, my, my units are kind of stuck. Uh, they're kind of a bit stuck over, over here. So this is everything's, you know, this is all is entirely to plan. Everything's entirely to plan. I'm just going to send the light lances over, over to, to, over to here. This is everything. This is, this was, it was entirely my elephant related plan. This was completely how I wanted my elephant related plan to go. Oh, yes, they were always this big, but these are the fake cheat elephants. These aren't real elephants. And also, the elephants are absorbing my fire. Oh, no, this giant, ele this giant massive elephant ass is, absor is absorbing all of my fire. Boo. Boo, I say. Uh, right, well, I may as well pull you back. Claire, all yours. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Meta Green who gave us five pounds. Wants to know if you've ever thought of playing Master of Olympus. It is an ancient Greek city builder and makes up half of my childhood, the other half being Rome. Uh, and then we've got a message from Santa Claus agreeing, uh, gave us five pounds and says, um, Merry Rome Day. I agree with Meta. Give, give Olympus a go. It was a great game. Okay, I I will make somebody. Of Olympus. There's a lot like um the the um the Caesar games and Zeus and what. There's a lot of like old uh old classics and mythology themed games people do bring up on occasion. So sometimes we'll need to get round. Maybe we'll do like a dedicated week to all of oh, that sort of sweet. thing. That'd be fun. Yeah. 
let's see. Then we've got uh, on the remaster, Jack gave us 50 Norwegian Krona and wants to know if you can request a romance of the Roman Empire mode for this. <laughs> Wow. I, I, I really don't think they'll be adding hero units into this, and I don't think they should. That will be a massive departure. Like, what I love about this remaster is it's respectful. The changes that are made are respectful of the original, and part of that is they've been speaking to people like me and other YouTubers who are old-school, long-time fans of Rome Total War, where they've been speaking to us and trying to figure out, you know what, what do we think is okay, what do we think is not, what is feasible, etc. And I like that. I think that's very... I think that's a really good way to have done it. So you guys are eager. Let's see how eager you are when you are hit by lancers from literally every direction at the same time! They're only shaken, which is a little bit concerning. Well, we've got, we've broken the integrity. Okay, yeah, we've broken the integrity of the, uh, the, uh, the phalanx, which means we can now just pick them apart. Cavalry can 100% deal with these. Oh, they managed to get the spears back up! Then they gave up again. Okay, seriously, just, just can we, can we just make the break, please? Oh, they're only shaken. Which is, which is a concern. N n never attempt to do what I'm doing right now with a general unit. Because they will just... They'll just get... Oh! They got the spears down and then everything died. Claire, everything's dying. Uh-huh. Everything's dying. Why, 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 why am I hot cavalry not doing better against these elite spearmen? This is... This this strikes me as highly unfair. As soon as... As long as they just don't get the, uh, the spears down again. Everything's going to be under control. There we go. There we go, they finally broke. We got it. Everything's under control. I think we got them. This is... And that was that was scruffy than it needs to be. But all we really lost in the end was uh, cavalry. And screw cavalry. Who cares about cavalry? Yay! Okay. We've still got like over 3,000 men present, which is dumb amounts. What I like having a single army is like 4,000 men. It's great. I think that was their general, not mine. It was their general, right? I think my general was, was tucked away nice at the back. There, there we go. Oh dear. Um, did the by the way, did the elephants um, did the elephants were they okay? I'm not sure the elephants were okay. I think the elephants might be gone, which I think is it's acceptable. Did, did any elephants survive? The elephants, the elephants have not survived. The elephants are now very dead, which is which is sad, but we accept it. Also, I don't know where the Spartans are. Uh, maybe they're like the one unit I can't see. Uh, here with yeah, yeah, they are. That's them. There's new Spartans. We get to see the Spartans in action. We'll see them in a. We'll see them in just a sec. Uh, then just get you round the corner over to here. That's. Oh, I shouldn't have. That's. I've come to a bad neighbourhood and I shouldn't have done. Uh, everything is under control. That city's got to be fine. Uh, Thessalonica's got plenty of defence. Uh, to yeah. Weird. I, 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 I must have known this in the back of my mind somewhere. That for whatever reason, these guys have got walls literally that are not allowed. They've got walls ahead of what they should do. Uh, the elephants are... The elephants are dead. Poor, dead, tragic elephants. But there's... there's oh! I don't know if you, anyone have heard that, but there was just a big tabby meow. I mean... I just don't... She's going towards the living room. She's fine, is she? Yeah, she's fine. I just went to the bathroom. I, ju I just went to the loo, and yeah. then as soon as I got out of the bathroom, she was at the door, like, waiting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just happens to be the time of her dinner. Yeah, she's she's getting a bit on the peckish side. How are you doing, by the way? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, great, okay. Well, I'll, I'll try and give you some time to catch up. Will you, though? Yes, I will. It'll be, uh -huh. nice. It'll be nice like that. I mean, you'll try. Yeah. Okay. Marriage celebration, settlement besiege. Yeah, we're, we're going to take Sparta. We're going to take Sparta, and then we're just going to wrap around to Termon, and then we'll probably sue for peace uh, at that point, because we'll turn our attention to uh, to Rome. So, oh, poor flipping, uh, poor flipping lads there. And I think the Spartans are the Spartans are two hundred. Even on the extreme units go, there are not three hundred Spartans in a unit. It's it's a trick that has been missed. I agree, and my. My fleet is about to be destroyed by everybody. And there's not much I can do about that. What can you do? Because I don't even bother really investing in the fleet. So, yeah. Um, still, let's go kill those Spartans. Which I can do with my Cretan archers. Hooray. So, that is just... Wait, what happened to the... What happened to... What? What happened to the... Wait... Did they break down the... I think they just broke down the Spartans because they couldn't afford them anymore. We all saw there were Spartans here. 
Okay, there's not Spartans here anymore. They've, they've, got, they've got rid of the Spartans. I don't know what happened there. I, I, the, the AI, this is a thing the AI can do now. The AI now understands, oh shit, I'm going bankrupt. I better disband units. Which does raise an interesting, um, it does raise the possibility of economic warfare. Where if you just go around, like, trashing their cities and, like, you know, blockading their ports, they actually will break down units to compensate. So economic warfare is way more effective. Like, blockades, trade embargoes, which is a new thing you can do to stop their merchants being active in your territory, because merchants are a thing now. Um, now you can do all of that. It's, um, yeah, it, it makes economic warfare a lot more meaningful, whereas previously it didn't really used to really like, mean anything. Uh, to be honest, like, there was no point, like, doing economic damage to an enemy, because, you know, didn't matter. Uh, but now it does, which is really cool. I think that's, I think that's really cool anyway. Uh, by the way, not, not the ranged units. The ranged units should be... Why are all my archers on the ranged units? For goodness sake, guys, stop it. I need all my ranged units, like, you know, outside the gate, ready to murder. Activate murder mode anytime you're flipping ready. Not that they're actually bothering to send reinforcements or anything, but they might do at some point. Just in case they do, let's have our ranged units ready to flipping go. This is a nice small city, so I'm not seeing a major, major issue here. Also, bring up the phalanxes, because, yes, these are hoplites. Okay, this will be an interesting test. I've not really done this, and, like, the game has been a bit rebalanced, which is phalanxes have a big advantage um, when they're pikemen over spearmen. For the simple reason, the pikes can attack before the spears can. But if the spears are well enough armoured, they can just punch through and then hit the pikemen. So I'm going to see how actual hoplites, who are on paper, they're way better, way more expensive. And these guys have got experience as well. Like melee attack of 9, defense of 18. Versus defense of 6, melee attack of 7. So, yeah. Um, but I'm going to see how they, how they perform. Uh, I'm going to send my own guys up here. And we're going to see if we can bait these guys into... Uh, the attack. And we're just going to see what happens as a result. So, no, not you. Not there. How about, like, here. Here. Extreme. Extreme units go up ahead. Never mind, don't. Uh, w w either way is fine. How about you just be behind your friend over there? And then we'll just bring up the lovely, lovely, uh, Cretan archers, who will hopefully fit, like, here-ish. There we go. We got him in. It's fine. Everything's under control. And then we just bring in uh, some lovely, lovely uh, people about... Yeah, we could have uh, some skirmishers about here. Luckily, you guys are damaged, so you're actually going <laughs> to... This is vaguely going to work. Oh, God, this is this is not... This, this, this is... This is this is not... Not how this is supposed to... Stop. 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 Guys. Guys, just, 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 just... Find, find a place to be. Stop. Stop! No! Just, just find. Okay, they, they could be, they could be here. Apparently, this is fine. This, this, this would be okay. That's, that's okay. We could have you, you here. Okay, that's, that's, that's okay. That's, that's workable. Yeah. Okay, there. Okay, we got, we got something. At least it's, it's, it's not, it's not spectacular, but it, it, it'll, it'll. It'll... I'm just going to try and get them into a good position. Clap! Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, shout out to Justinian the Great, who gave us five dollars. Uh, and to AK On, who gave us five euros, and says, First time catching one of your streams. Thanks to you both, and I hope you are well. Um... Exodus gave us five dollars and says perfectly arrayed phalanx off boop. Oof. I've been, I've been booped like ten times simultaneously by by perfectly aligned fingers. It was it was an experience. I I, I don't know about perfectly arrayed, but I tried. Yeah. Uh, the artliest. Uh, that's no. That's a T. No. No. Stop. That's no. That was not what I told you to do! That was... I told you to... That's... No! This! I told you this and you're in flipping! You're in flipping! D -d -d Stop! Stop it! St Stop! No! Oh, I'm firing on them now. Oh, that's, that's, not, that's not what I was really supposed to be doing. Um... Okay, uh, does anyone know whether the phalanxes are in roughly the right... Okay, just, just... Put the... Which way are you facing right now? 
Okay, you guys go over there. Are you guys... You guys are facing over here. Which is not, not what you should be doing. Oh god, they're, 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 they're going to refuse to cooperate, aren't they? They're going to refuse to cooperate. Oh no. Oh... Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, here. That would do. That would do. Okay, everyone, put put your pikes down. Okay, put your pikes down. Yeah, this is this is fine. Um, if you guys could speed this up a little bit, I'd appreciate it. Oh, they're gonna be slaughtered. <laughs> they're gonna be they're gonna be absolutely slaughtered. Everyone's gonna be slaughtered. Um, this is this is uh, this is fine. Um, just lay down some pikes. Okay, it's so pikes, pikes, uh, pike. Pushy, pushy pike, and pushy pike. That guy's just been set. I mean, this is going actually better than I expected. I mean, to be honest, yeah, it's just like, these guys can sometimes push other phalanxes out of their formation just by virtue of being better. Uh, are you guys shooting, by the way? Why are you guys not? You guys should be shooting. You guys should be... Just, just, just shoot. It's fun. Okay, basically, extreme unit scale is a mistake, and we should never use it for anything. Are you guys even going to- I your... saw people are pointing out in the comments, John, you warned yourself this would happen. I did, and I did it anyway. Um, okay, um, I'm going to- I'm going to try- I'm going to tell my pikemen to turn. Oh, God. Um, oh, this is- okay, that's sort of- no, no, that's not- no, guys, pikes- I would like the pikemen to use their pikes, please. Okay, yes. Yes, that's it. That's, that's, that's good piking. That's good pi Okay, they're doing it. They're actually doing it. Yes! Pikemen are defeating hoplites. Which should not happen, but, you know, they're pikemen, which is great. So we're just going to give them a little puck. Puck, puckity puck. And as soon as we poke them off the, um, the thing. Are you guys here, by the way? Yes, you know what? No, you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to turn you. We're going to turn you right now. I'm going to have you guys turn in this direction. I'm going to have you guys try and take care of this. I just want you guys to turn over here, if at all possible. I want them to come back in this direction. I want them to be an actual phalanx. Oh, no, they're not going to be ready in time. They're not going to be ready in time. They're not going to be ready in time. Guys, that's good enough. Stop. Get the pikes down. Yes. Okay, now go. Go, everybody. Everyone, everyone, pikes down. Pikes down, pikes down, pikes down, pikes down. And now, Stab. 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 Yeah, this is the problem. These guys have got the armor. So even though they're being poked, they can just push through. And we are... Oh, they're already way fixed. The morale's so bad. Um, But if they could just stabilize. Like, I just I just love the push and shove of it. The push and shove, it's great. If these guys could just stabilize, then... I mean, they've got a chance. I mean, they're doing good damage to a hot blight. They've not actually lost that many troops. And that's the thing. Because they can... They, they The amount of troops they're losing is minimal. It's kind of effective, and ah, but now they're pushing in. Uh, but no, they're, they're pulling back out. And look at that, the moment the phalanx breaks. And this is, okay, this is thick. This is, that's actual history. What you're seeing is the actual point of phalanx combat. Okay, I, I want you to express this, okay. The thing is, when phalanxes are pushing against phalanxes, you have literally got rows of men who are presenting their best defended side to each other. And then they are pushing against each other. And it is a case of push and shove. Okay, and neither side is going to take many casualties because both sides is protecting their best possible angle to the other. But the moment somebody breaks, there is an immediate spate of severe injury. Because at that point, you can start actually getting the spikes into the squishy bits. But then after that very, very brief period when you've basically managed to do some, um, some injuries... At that point, the battle's over because you can't pursue because the phalanx is slow. And if you do pursue, you've just given up the whole point of the battle because if your phalanx is still in play and your opponent isn't, you've won. If you break to pursue, then that's it. What was the point of the entire bloody battle? You may as well not have been in the phalanx in the first place. All right. So pursuit is not a thing in the ancient world. Casualties in phalanx on phalanx warfare are not big, which they couldn't be because these people were citizens. Hoplites are citizens. They're valuable people. Alright, these are the people with wealth and land. They're not going to engage in a form of combat with high casualty rates. They're going to go for a form of combat where fundamentally the number of people who die is quite low. And it all makes... And it's actually represented. And it's not represented because of some gimmick that Creative Assembly put in this game. It's represented in this game because the whole thing's been so well thought through that... Just organically, the gameplay represents historical and cultural realities. Ah, it's the best game! <laughs> So good! So good! I'm so glad that you are loving the remaster. I'm so happy for you. Such a good game. 
Hey, shout out to Alexandria in chat who wants to know if their super chat got mixed because it's been a solid couple hours. It didn't. It's on the list, but it's, uh, you know, not near the top of the list. Cause I think my archers just ran in and shanked the hot likes to death. John likes this game a lot and he keeps... Uh, oh, dear. He keeps squeeing about it. Yeah, sorry. My mistake. It's fine. You're cute. We took sparks, though. <laughs> Oh, history John is best John. Mm. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, shout. Uh, shout out to, um, <clears throat> shout out to Anna who gave us $5 and says, yay, uh, Rome Total War. Here's some extra money for bribing anyone who stands in the way of your house move. Lol. <laughs> Uh, Wedge gave us 20 Danish kroner and said, ooh, uh, head hurlers could make a return. Uh, head hurlers are in the game. They're, they're, Britain has them. They're, Britain has their existing roster, mm -hmm. uh, which is absolutely uh, A-OK. -okay. In fact, I think now we've taken... I think we should do some fun custom battles. I think people would like to see some custom battles. Uh, yes, please set them up and then I can yes. read stuff. Um, mm. Yes. Um... Somebody whose name I I know enough about uh, I know enough about Irish that I know I can't read the name. Mm -hmm. So so I won't. I'm very sorry. Uh, ooh. Um, mm. Yes. I guess some kind of because it's like Neve at the end, but I don't know the beginning of the name. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, uh, he gave us $10 and says, I need to know, does the spy still hulk out and smash open every gate? Yes, he does. Uh, the spy the spy just opens up all the gates. So how about a full army of war pigs versus a full army of head hurlers? Nice. I don't know what's going to win this one. But it's nice. gonna, it's, 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 it's also, I don't know what happens if I actually lose. If I, I think I need to... I think officially they're berserk. I think I need to get rid of one of these. I think I need to get rid of one to have one unit that's like a general. Because if I don't, I think I auto lose the moment I've sent all of these guys into uh, into combat. So I'm going to send one one general because otherwise that's that's going to go wrong. And okay, for the fairness, therefore you get one uh, you get one barbarian warlord on a chariot. There we go. I don't know what happens. All right, we're just going to we're just going to have that. Egypt is the same as they were. Egypt is still weirdly Bronze Age, and it makes no sense. But I don't care. It's fine. It gives them some diversity. It's great. So we're just gonna just uh, just, we're gonna have we're gonna say, okay, say place bets now. Place bets now. Who's going to win in the pig versus oh good lord? Uh, also, it's raining because it's Britain. I don't even how do you even use these? Do you have to set them on fire, or do they just set themselves on fire? I don't know. I've, I've, I can't, can't remember the last time I've used pigs. Uh, basically, uh, charge! Go! Go, my piggy brothers! Do your pig-related things. Whatever they are. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be great. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, mm, 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 let's see. Um, Brian gave us five euros uh, and says 99 bucks in the code, 99 bucks in the code. Squash one down, 891 bucks in the code. It's, that's, that seems oh pretty dear. accurate, I think, yes. Oh dear, oh dear. And Dalton gave us $20, says I've never played a Total War game before, but I've watched you play them for years and it's always so entertaining to watch. Excellent. Uh, okay, here we go. Yes, here come the pigs. Here comes the pigs. The pigs need to be manually lit, or are the pigs just do they, 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 they just light? But the pigs are the pigs appear to just be attacking, but they're not actually on fire. And I don't I don't see a button to are they, are they are are they on fire? There's there's a lot of pigs. There's a lot of pigs coming in. Some of the pigs. Oh, some of the pigs are in trouble already. Oh no, the head hurlers are the head hurlers are, are beating back the pigs. But okay, there's at least there's at least one pig on fire over there. I don't know whether that. They seem to be setting themselves on fire. And I don't really know what that means. But oh, it's because it's there's... Oh, there's chariots. The chariots. And I don't know where the, where the pigs... I don't even know where the pigs were. How many of these guys are even left, by the way? Okay, so the enemy unit count is full. It turns out that the um, the on-fire pigs don't actually hurt units. Um, Because it, it, would, it would appear that the enemy still has 100% of its... Um, still has 100% of its units. So I feel like we've, 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 got to, we've, we've, we've got to see some nice piggies. Here with some lovely bacon, but they are uh, they're, they're, they're nice. They're kind of a little kind of uh, they're kind of a bit more. I think they're less pigs and more hogs these days. I think they've been upgraded. 
They've nice. definitely been upgraded. Oh yes, it's because it's raining, which I, I can see would be the problem for the for the uh, for the for the uh, on fire thing. Rain is rain is more important than it used to be. That's that's true. I feel like in many ways the weather was against the pigs on this situation, and also the fact that flaming pigs are the worst units in the game. So in many ways that that didn't didn't work desperately well. So hooray for Britain! Hooray for Britain! Everything's under control. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Let's yeah. see. Uh, 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 uh. Four casualties inflicted. Who were the four? One group of head hurlers somehow took three casualties. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Kieran, who gave us uh, five pounds and says, First chance to catch a stream live in over two years. I can't wait for this game to come out proper so I can reclaim Macedonian glory. Damn straight. Indeed, Kievan uh, gave us five dollars and says, Well, that is, uh, there's some wonderful pathing right there. Yeah. Uh, Deploy the dogs also, this time. Dogs are actually good. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and also gave us another five dollars and said, Thank you for getting my name pronunciation right, Claire. I've been called Kevin way too many times over the years. I, I mean, like, I feel like if you're an English speaker, the spelling of your name is pretty, like, intuitive phonetically. So I feel like people, I mean, you know, people have no excuse whether or not it's intuitive spelling. You should just ask how it's pronounced and then do it properly. But, On this you know. occasion, the Romans have got a better chance. The dogs might actually be... Uh, the dogs might be workable. Okay, so the head hurlers are back on. But this time, it, it, it's a full dog stack going mm -hmm. up against them. Okay? No new historical battles. They're the same as they ever were. It's exactly the same ones. Uh, yes, indeed. We've got... Uh, we've got a new member. Shout out to William uh, Burghardt. Thank you very much. Myra is also a new member. Uh, and then we've got uh, the artliest... Gave us uh, five dollars and says just because. Uh, cheers and shogun too, please. <laughs> uh, I, as I say, uh, there's 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 plenty of Warhammer and Total War coming this year, so I do not know when we'll have time for the uh, going back to shogun two at this point. I'm sorry, but I do not know. Uh, yeah, and then Spanky the sock puppet gave us eight Australian dollars. And says, John, I have insomnia and I can't sleep. Can you sing me a lullaby? Mm hmm. Um, a hush, little baby, don't suffer from sudden infant death syndrome. What is wrong with you, John? <laughs> Deploy the dogs! Dogs, 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 versus chariots! And oh, this is this is their warlord, so they've made a mistake here. Right, deploy deploy dogs. There's a lot of dogs being deployed right now. A lot of dogs going in. A lot of dogs. Okay, the chariots have already been seen off. Aww. More dogs are being sent in at this point. More dogs. Dogs versus Brits. Who will win the fight between dogs versus British people? Also, um, I just want to try to tell you about the, um, the heads are now significantly, um, significantly more detailed than they used to be. Are the heads all matching though? Or are the heads a, uh, okay, this is interesting. Though the people are semi-randomized, the heads are all the same. The, uh, the heads are identical. I, I I may mention this to the dev team and say, hey, is there any chance we can have randomized heads on the head hurlers? That'd be kind of fun. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to see about that. I mean, right now the game says that um, I'm like you know massively losing, but I feel like you know there is a, there are a very large number of dogs who have yet to be deployed and who are just going to chew their way through these British people. So I feel like this is this is okay. I feel like the dogs are gonna the dogs are gonna be oh there's more dogs coming. There's a lot of dogs. You see here, obviously, you know, the game's running, you know, very smooth. We've got a lot of, we've got a lot of units, a lot of stuff happening on the field right now. But, the, you know, the units are doing very, very well. They're good dogs. They're good boys. How many, uh, do we have any more dogs we haven't actually deployed yet? There is, like, one unit of dogs over here that's not been deployed. I feel like there's, the number of dogs appears to be going down pretty fast, actually. I'm concerned at the level of, uh, the level of dogs. Oh, it's, I think it's because the dogs are... Okay, this will be a useful thing to test, which is, uh, do the dogs still do... Oh, the dogs are all obsessed with following the warlord, which is a problem because the warlords need them over here. Okay, so we've got a massive number of um, dogs who are just going in the wrong direction. There's, there's a big there's a big glut of dogs in the middle right here that are doing an excellent job just clearing out these guys. These head hurlers are fighting to the last man, which is very impressive. 
So there's some good dogs in the center where there's enough. But the problem is there's a big hunk of dogs that are following the warlord over here. Uh, which is a problem because... Uh, okay, they're going to catch up with him because he's reached, he's reached the edge of the map. So the dogs, the dogs are now going to catch the barbarian warlord. And then we're going to see whether they're going to follow him as he breaks and goes over the edge of the map. Or whether they're going to turn around. Because they always used to follow people off the edge of the map. So we're going to find out what happens next. At this point. So that's, this is a lot of dogs. There's a lot of dogs just going yum, 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 yum. Chariot, 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 chariot. They're going to, oh, they've taken down one. Taken down one. The, the enemy warlord is now pinned to the edge of the map by dogs. Okay. So, but the, do the dogs have, it's a lot of dogs. So all these dogs just going after this one guy. He's got a lot of, lot oh, that, no, that, 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 turning away. Okay, it's because they're hunting this guy. Uh, this is, this is fine. Is he going to, at some point, oh, my general's gone down. The dogs are, the dogs are still doing some good, the dogs are just desperately trying to, apparently I've been defeated because the dogs don't count as units, they just count as, okay, so the dogs, the dogs did not do very well. I mean, they, 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 they were making progress, they were making progress, but the dogs, they would do, they, they did their best, they were good boys, but it was not good enough in the end. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Kyle, who gave us $10, and says, Hey, John and Claire, I've been playing a Greek campaign in anticipation of the remaster whilst watching your Rome Total War videos. Yes. And I'm enjoying hoplighting, everyone. Uh, hoplites are great. Don't forget about Artemis for ranged boosts. Artemis is so good. I love it. Yeah. Artemis is just the best. Uh, Jared gave us $5 and says, I can't stick around, but I'm glad one of the best games of all time is officially back and better than ever. Cannot wait until the 29th. <coughs> love, Tabby. Oh, we love uh, Tabby too. Tabby is a lovely bun. Tabby is great. Uh, yeah, and Brian gave us $10 and says, John is playing as the Macedonians, and I'm just over here with my original Brutii campaign, slaughtering Greeks and bringing the true rulers to the plebs. April 29th cannot come soon enough. Yes. You can see that, by the way, obviously, it's all the original units. It's all the original units. It's completely uh, normal and as it should be. Oh, dear. Everything is under control. Uh, oh. Yes, of course. We've got uh, two euros from Brian, uh, who said it's raining men, literally. That came in, <laughs> of, course, of course, when it was raining men. Lol. Uh, Stokill gave us five, pa five dollars, even, sorry, uh, and said this one... Um, <laughs> Said a thing that I think is potentially uh, very lewd. So <laughs> it's a reference to the film American Pie. It's fine. Yeah, no, kind I of. mean I, I figured it was probably fine. I just wanted to show it to you. Yes. Uh, anyway, Stokell said this one time at band camp, I stuck a Julie eye up my Parthia. Yeah. <laughs> so they. We, we will not be explaining. I'm sorry. Which we will not be explaining in detail. We will not be explaining indeed. Um, Urban Cohort gave us six pounds sixty-six. It says there's no such thing as overkill, but I am still here. Oh. Uh, because you were mean to Urban Cohorts before. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dalgesh gave us five dollars and says, "Fun fact: the game actually spawned one of them in a rebel settlement once. The battle was fun." I'm assuming from the time this came in that they mean elephants. Yes, they, they yeah, refer to elephants. I I think I've seen that like once before. Mm. It's very rare. It's extremely rare. Uh, I think this yes, cavalry I might well be able to just see these guys off straight away. Uh, 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 I think uh, I can uh, handle that. That's that's doable. The game says it's in their favor, but I think it's manageable. Uh, yeah, and uh, Christopher gave us $10 and says, I'm glad to finally catch a live stream. Super happy to see Fallout 4 YOLO on Monday morning so I can avoid working for a bit. Shh. Have you considered doing any of the Age of Empires 2 campaigns? I've never played any Age of Empires 2, mm. which would make it a bit of a problem because I, I wouldn't know any of it and I probably would really annoy the people who were uh, into... Uh, Age of Empires, so that 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 could be a bit of an issue. Oh, that's why they think uh, they've got a chance. It's because obviously they've got uh, reinforcements coming in. Well, I'll just try if I can just take out the um, the brute eye before the skippy eye even uh, show up. In which case, the best option might well be to say, well, if you're going to try and come this way, I'm just going to basically line up a massive line right over here, and then if we can just get there before the skippy eye even uh, arrive, then that would be a okay. Especially as you've kind of just given up the high ground to me. Right there, so that is absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, just you guys push forward. Uh, now I've got the high ground. Just I think I can just get a good charge in 
to be honest. Like, with proper good heavy cavalry and high ground advantage. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to see what we can do. So I, I'm willing to bet this is actually going to... This is going to hurt. This is going to really hurt right here. Because they're not... Like, I'm going to get a good proper solid charge in. And it is going to... Yeah, so that's... That's, um... That's broken. All right. Straight on. Uh, into the next. So the Hastati. And there's already there's already a break. And they're wavering. The Velites are wavering too. We can just get the second break here. But yeah, we're basically... We're just pushing through them. Uh, cavalry with a bit of momentum behind them off the back of a hill can just basically wide the whole thing. So these guys are already wavering. There's now two broken units close by to them. And there we go. That's... Right, that's the entire Bruti army dead. Uh, so what have you guys got planned for me? Actually, you've got a Roman general that's going to go somewhere. I don't know whether I don't know what happens with the reinforcements now. Whether they're going to like pull out or something? Because I feel like um, yeah, I feel I feel like we've we've kind of got that. I feel like this. That's that's the idea, Bruni. I love it. It's I, I love the um how significant like. Okay, these battle maps looked fairly plain, but the what was there was meaningful. That's the thing about Rome to War. What's there's meaningful, which is like the slightest uphill slope is huge because it gives you bonus damage and bonus range with your range. It gives you added momentum and hitting power with your units that actually kind of rely on their charge bonuses. It makes it really difficult and slow for the enemy to charge up against you. Like slight slopes made a huge difference. Ignoring this nonsense gibberish over here, uh, and that was wonderful. That was, it was great. That was just great that that was a thing. Uh, I loved it. And like, you know, the, the much more showy battle maps of later Total War games. So they, they, you know, they've got a lot more stuff on them. I think feel less meaningful. I think all the battle maps in, um, in say, uh, the, in Warhammer feel less meaningful than a much more plain battle map in Rome 1. That's just got a bit of a few slopes in it. I think that just felt way more significant to me. So, okay. That is, yeah, Roman Cavalry and uh, Roman General. And hang on. Oh, that's Hastati. Okay. One unit and then Hastati. Okay. Well, Hastati, you're going to struggle to make it through much of a pipe. I'm just going to slightly just redraw this into a slightly thicker uh, level right here. Yeah, he thought he had an opportunity there. So what are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? Because are you going to try and... If you're going to try and use Peeler, then I'm just going to charge you. Come on, what are you thinking? Right, well, I'll just uh, play cat and mouse with this guy. Clap! Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Just a Cactus, who gave us a thousand Hungarian forint, and says the guide for the anthology edition is the Bible itself. Keep up the good work. I, 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 I think I've missed something there. Yeah, I'm somewhat confused. I'm very sorry. Um, it seemed like, you know, it was okay to read. It seemed like there was not very many ways for it to be, like, incredibly bad to read out. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm missing a reference there. And I there. couldn't figure it out, you know, uh, I couldn't Google it, so I said it, but... I, I'm afraid I do not know what that yeah, refers I'm to, so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, here's one you've already answered, but... Um, <laughs> uh, Wedge, uh, Wedge and Talese gave us 50 Danish kroner and says, Hey, John and Princess Claire... Has uh, John considered playing any of the other Total War games like Empire or Napoleon? Empire at some point. Napoleon, no. Napoleon, bad game. Napoleon, uh, bad. Yes, indeed. Uh, is it weird that I keep picturing Claire squinting at John for the constant interruption? It's not weird, it's accurate. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Violet who gave us $20 and says, Another request for Dragon Age or Stardew Valley. But another Total, uh, Rumors, another Total War Remastered Rome uh, is great too. Also, YouTube sent you my money. Hooray! Ah, good. It seems to be working for everyone now, then. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age is going to happen, right? Yes, uh, hopefully yes. before the end of this year, in fact. Yes. yes. Indeed. Um, and then Department of Redundancy Department gave us five Swiss francs and says, I owe you my love for games such as Medieval 2 or Stellaris, but also Train Valley 2, which was my go-to chill game before Dorf Romantic came to town. Oh. Dorf ah. Romantic. Dorf Romantic. Claire's enjoying that. Yes. Okay. Well, they've... Oh, you've just lost... A they thought they had a good chance to get a charge in there, but it, it didn't turn out well for them, to be honest. I feel like, yep, that's a general who's not me dead. 
Uh, there we go. Good, 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 good. Oh, good, somebody's. Good. Uh, apparently, the the Bible joke is. Uh, they're just saying that the guide is very, very, very long. Oh yes, uh, I think Medieval Twos is even longer. Actually, mm. I think Medieval Twos is incredibly long. Uh, there's a heroic victory. Apparently, it didn't feel that heroic. It felt like I, I ran down a hill and then just laid a phalanx out. But the game was... Uh, uh, Total War's always been bad at figuring out what's a pyrrhic victory or heroic victory, yes or no. Uh, yeah, and people are reacting to, like, how uh, how uh, long ago some of those comments were. And, yeah, I've got, like, three and a half pages of Super You're catching up. That's catching up. It's good. That is catching up. But, yeah, it's just because of that thing that happened earlier where Super Chats were broken. And so it was just a bit, you know. Yes. Um, really just wanted to make sure that we were bringing in some comments from chat yes, uh, earlier. No, so it makes perfect sense. We started a bit late, so I'm sorry about the wait. Uh, but yes, indeed, Dorf Romantic is amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's a trash game that's terrible. Uh, John is mad because Claire's better at I am me. so much better at it. Than, Seriously, um, so much yeah. better. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Raging Canadian who gave us uh, $20 and says, Hey, John, Claire and Tabby, sorry to hear that your move is still scuffed. I moved in November for a job and I'm still working from home till probably... Till prob probably... September, thank you for all the entertainment. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Dear God, I hope we get to move at some point in the future. Ah. Yes, indeed. I, Dear I mean, God. you know. It, it's it's like one of those things where like you're waiting for a boss for like hours and hours and hours and then three of them come at once. Mm -hmm. So it's not like three house moves, but like now that it's maybe happening, it might happen in like ten days. Yeah. So <laughs> this is great. We're not really packed. No, no, not at all. Not at all. I'm sure it'll be um, fun. Dear, dear, shout out to Simon who gave us ten uh, pounds and says, John and Claire, thanks for all that you do. Uh, COVID, COVID is rough, but you've helped us through. You've even inspired me and uh, my, I'm not sure if it's boyfriend or best friend, but to start a gaming podcast while we are separated by two thousand by two hundred miles. Uh, for the last eight months due to the UK lockdown. That does sound like boyfriend. Sweet. Um, that's, oh, that's so fun. Like, it's it's really not nice. Not necessarily. Me, me and Matt do a little podcast together and we're not dating, tragically. Sadly. Do you do a podcast with Matt or do you... We do the pod, we did the podcast for such a long time. Yeah, you did for such a long time and you're not doing it now. Wow, way to rub it in. Well, I'm sorry, I misheard you. <laughs> Dear oh flippin' dear. Right, where are you bastards? There you I think you. in context of saying we're separated by lockdown, I mm -hmm. think that's what they mean. Mm-hmm. Is all. Anyway, Amanda gave us $25 uh, and says, uh, Faith Farm for making a mistake in uh, the the previous Super Chat. Uh, wanted to clarify it is my seventh wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, it will also be our sixth year watching John. My husband read an... My husband read an article about John doing his Fallout 3 YOLO run back in 2015. Oh, sweet. Nice. Happy days. Uh, dear, oh dear. Um, <laughs> yes, see, the thing is now, they're yelling about bringing back the podcast. Mm -hmm. You've made people sad that the podcasts are gone. Mm -hmm. uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, Jai says, I assume the high school for the Dorf Romantic video didn't last long. No, Claire's, uh, Claire's like doubled my score or pretty close. No, yeah. N well, your high school has lasted because you've not been playing that much. Yeah. Uh, but I, I've been playing a fair amount and, um, uh... Why have you, did, did, you did, just did, broken, you coward? You absolute coward. Light Lancers, bloody useless. Anyway, um... Yeah, my new high score is like 20,000. Yeah, so. Claire, Claire's broken 20,000. I'm still on like 11,000. So Claire's a long way ahead of me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And if we can just break these guys in a bit. I'm just going to pull my cavalry. No, that was the enemy general. That was the enemy general. It's not me. It's not me. For once, I haven't completely ruined everything. It's fine. Also, the water's really reflective now. Possibly the water is aggressively too reflective. I feel like the actual... The actual uh, sea is not quite this perfectly still and reflective all the time. But uh, but what what can you do, eh? Oh, dear. Claire. Uh, yes. Uh, Chris gave us £10 and says, It's the first stream I've caught in ages. 
I finally got my PhD. Thank you for all the videos that kept me going through the write-up. Wow, well done. Yeah, congrats. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Dr. Chris. Uh, and then Alexandria gave us $10 and says, I wanted to say thank you so much for all that you've done with this channel. It's helped me keep sane and happy since I started watching in 2013. Oh, sweet. May I also ask for some birthday wishes uh, the 15th of this month? Uh, so there you go. Happy birthday in advance. In the, okay, just play this back in, 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 in this. Happy birthday! There you go. Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. There you go. Oh dear, oh dear. Sorry, we're, we're just... We're just a little wee bit tired. Uh -huh. Quite a bit, yes. This, this, oh, this, dear, this oh dear, oh dear. Um, there's a super chat from Tabby. Oh, Tabby, good girl. Uh, there's a super chat from Lady Skittish of Fluffiness. <laughs> oh, that's an excellent name. Does sound like Tabby. Yeah. Uh, who gave us 200 Swedish kroner and says, Hey, John and Claire, you introduced me to the Total War series uh, and now I have over 2,000 hours in it, mostly Warhammer. Me and a friend of mine are wondering if the campaign is available in multiplayer with this remaster. I don't know. Uh, that you need to ask them. I've not looked into that at all. I mean, I know that is going to be like the traditional competitive multiplayer. I don't know about the rest of it. Uh, that I do not know. Uh, so sorry, I'm afraid I cannot tell you. Uh, oh, that's a bit of an awkward one. Yeah, they've shipped in reinforcements from somewhere. I think actually the best option would be, actually, you know what, the best option is, uh, use the fact that enemies, yeah, unlike in certain more modern Total War games where reinforcements just come from who knows fucking where, they always, in this game, they come from the correct direction they're supposed to be coming from. So I know where these guys are coming from, and that means this is going to be very much in my favour, because I'm right next to where the reinforcements are coming from, meaning I can ambush them as they approach the field. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Population mechanics used to have changed, but then John kicked in the door and said, No! You may not change the population mechanics of Rome. They said, No, please, we'll put them back. Please, don't hurt us. Your penis is too large. Um, that's entirely how I remember it going. No, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Claire gets annoyed with me when I make it weird. It would be nice, however, if when you rearranged units, they um they stayed rearranged, which they don't. I literally thought you were going to say, it would be nice, however, if someone would acknowledge, like, how great my dick is. <laughs> that would be nice, too. <laughs> you know, just sometimes, Claire. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Slander life, anyway. <laughs> oh, now who's the one making it weird, Claire? <laughs> you stop! <laughs> you started it! Okay, so what we're gonna do okay. is we're gonna catch them as they come in, then we're just gonna oh roll my them God. up. <laughs> People can't be trusted, and you know that! So you shouldn't make it weird! Mm hmm. Jesus! <laughs> right, all of you, just leave the rams right there. What's this, by the way? This is. Stop! All of you guys just squeezing right over here, and everybody is A-OK. -okay. Nobody's skirmish. Everybody just, just open fire. And you guys just get in wherever you feel like it, to be honest. But Thracians can just be sweepers on the far side. So basically, I know the enemy's going to be coming oh from God. somewhere pretty much around here. Um, so now if we're lucky, what's going to happen? Oh, dear! Oh, no! It turns out you're all here already! And you're all going to be immediately under fire. Now, admittedly, the cavalry is a little bit out of position, which is a bit unfortunate. What is this, by the way? Is that... Okay, they, they might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, uh, get you guys over here. These Thracians are going to be in trouble. But the rest of this is going to be uh, is going to be a okay And they're probably going to... They're already breaking. So now we can just start sweeping. I don't know what this is going to be, by the way. Where are the Thracians? Uh, that's militia cavalry, which is actually pretty good. Thracians should work pretty well right there. So then we're just coming over... Here, hit this militia cavalry. This is going to instantly break because uh, it's got too many routing friends nearby. Then there's Rodian slingers that are going to immediately break because it's now got even more routing friends nearby. And now everyone's got routing friends nearby. And now everybody just cocking dies. And they're desperately trying to make it to the city. And some of them will. Small, small handful of them uh, will. And you, oh, you did it. Oh, the Thracians did a great job. Well done. The Thracians slaughter the militia cavalry. So a handful of. Units including, yeah, that's the militia. 
Uh, but inside the city is where the actual generals are, I believe. So, okay, now we just need to reposition over there. But that was, uh, that was the excellent sort of early battle, uh, ambush you can do in this game. Now, I'm, I'm fine with this. Like, some people say, oh, it's really cheesy because you know where they're coming from and you can ambush them as they come in. But, like, that just strikes me as, like, the point. That's just a tactical move you can make. That, like, you know, the enemy have the advantage, they get to have an extra army arriving. But the advantage of the attacker is, okay, but I can ambush them if they're coming from a wrong angle. So this is, I, I think it's fine. I, I'm totally cool with this being a thing. Clap! Um... <laughs> Sorry, um... I made it too weird. This is hilarious. T Weird says... T Weir uh, says, Please stop making it weird whenever someone complains about making it weird. I get tagged because it weird contains my username as a substring. Interesting. Which is, uh, which is a fantastic uh, kind of example of, you know, um, the, the, those issues that, uh, that arise with, um, you know, computer programming... Um, uh, comp various programs banning certain words because they're rude and all of that, and then the entire town of Scunthorpe can't be put in yes. uh, various That's programs. That's always fun, yes. That's always fun, so sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, T. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, Charlie. Oh, this is an interesting question. Charlie gave us five uh, yeah. dollars and says, if you had to pick one Roman emperor to live with, one to fight against, one to party with, and one to go back in time and replace. Who would you pick? Uh, Claudius to live with, because he's a great big huggy, uh, great big hug bun who's just great and thoughtful and caring, and he's just great, and history was so mean to him for no reason, just because he was a bit boring. Uh, wait, what were the other options? The things I'd select? Uh, fight against, party with, go back in time to replace. Uh, party with Nero. Uh, sure, he, he killed people, but he was fun. Um, uh, replace, probably best you pick Augustus, because that's right at the beginning of the Imperial Era, so before there's, like, a huge amount of, uh, you know, you'd have a lot more control over the ways it would, uh, develop as time went, uh, by. Fight against... Interesting. Interesting. Hmm, right, who's the, who is the... I think Tiberius was quite physically frail, so I'll go for Tiberius, because at least I've got, like, half a shot. Yeah, and uh, go back in time to replace. I, I said Augustus. Oh, sorry, I was just uh, I was just looking at chat. Yes. Uh, let's see, Haggard Blaggard, excellent name. Uh, Haggard Blaggard gave us five uh, pounds and says, John, I need to create an Athenian commander for a miniatures war game about the Peloponnesian War. Peloponnesian, yeah. Peloponnesian War. Can you come up with an appropriate name? Oh, good lord. Um. <laughs> Biggest dickers. Claire, that would be that. That's mock fake Roman. For I, I'm aware. I know where sake. it come from. Mm hmm. Uh, dear oh dear. Anyway. Uh. Da, 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 da. Okay. I, I I just say, guys, you were supposed to be going in this direction. Keep going in this direction. And now you're going to attack these guys. And that's going to be a bit of a problem. Just t take out this guy. Uh, general's bodyguard looking bad. Yep, enemy general routing. Okay, we've taken out an enemy general, uh, which is going to be good. And then, oh dear, this is... Okay, luckily we've got enough firepower. This should be A-OK, -okay, right? Yeah, we got we got phalanxes coming oh. in. Yep, they've already broken. Good, good, uh, good, lots good. Of amazing, uh, lots of amazing... Lots of amazing... Example of the Scranthorpe problem in, in chat, by oh the way. Oh dear, oh dear. Bunker said, uh, when I lived in Sale, Google became useless for finding anything local. <laughs> which is lovely. Oh, that's very cute. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we've got, now we've got, the, okay. When you've got a proper fight phalanx pike up, uh, this is, this is what happens. And then it's like, oh shit, I, I should probably try and get past these guys. Oh no, wait, I'm dead. And now, now I'm just now I'm just dying because I physically can't penetrate this ridiculous gap, this ridiculous mass of uh, of spears. And now they're gonna. Oh no! Oh, is that cavalry? Is that genuinely cavalry? Are you about to try and charge cavalry? They're like, I really don't think I want to do this. I mean, fair. So they're just gonna try and toss some javelins at me, but that's fine. These guys have got, you know, they've got some defense, and then they're gonna sooner or later they're going to. They're just gonna get a bit forward. Oh, do I want to? I just want to push forward. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna try and push forward. Generally, moving as a phalanx is a bad idea 
because like uh, they will break the phalanx of the slightest of provocation. I mean, just got a little tiny, the tiniest, tiniest bit. Clear. Shadows are really good, by the way. This is the shadows, I think, set to max. Uh, but the shadows are really good. Like, every individual weapon has a really accurate shadow map. Like, the, the, with a really high resolution. Like, the shadow mapping, when you get right up close, is really impressive, actually. When you consider the, no, like, you know, a single unit has, like, 240 or 300, like, flipping spears in it. And all of them are casting really accurate high resolution shadows. So I think it's really cool. So, I think that's very impressive. Uh, right there. I think that's really cool. Uh, yes. Claire. Uh, yeah, uh, in more questions, uh, Lord of Titans gave us $5 and says, Hey John, what moment, if any, from your channel history would you say is your end flap moment? Anything from YOLO would work. Also, I haven't come up with a bloody Athenian name yet. Uh... Okay, fuck. It's quite a random quick game. Very difficult to do. Uh... Also, there's, there's just there's people just there's just, just cavalry piling into cavalry just piling into phalanxes up ahead for reasons best known to best known to them. Don't really know why you decided. Yeah, they've decided they've realised that was a dumb idea. Don't know why they felt like doing that, but they just kind of they just felt like that was a thing they wanted to do. And the, there's more that want to do it yet. <laughs> there's another, oh, there might be another general yet. Actually, I forgot there was actually a second general. Uh, so we got reinforcements coming in to uh, to back up. Now a general might well be able to just punch straight through. Uh, in theory, uh, that's militia cavalry at 92, which means it must be a different unit to what we already had. So you guys just head up here, and you guys head up here as well. Honestly, you guys can just go straight for the, uh, yeah, the general's bodyguard. So they're going to fire a little bit, but they're going to struggle to turn around. Like, the, the large unit size is going to work against them too. And yeah, here we go. Here they come, and now they're just going to be running straight in, and that's going to really flipping... Hurt a lot of people. They're not going to be... I mean, they, they're going to kind of get around the side a little bit. And with enough... Like, I think cavalry's mass has been increased. I've not seen the patch notes. And, like, I uh, haven't had this confirmed. It feels to me like the mass of cavalry and chariots has increased. So it's easier for cavalry and chariots in sufficiently large numbers to actually push their way through. Uh, I think that's actually true. Because you notice, like, they, they did a fairly... These guys actually did a competent job actually pushing into me right there. And I think they have more mass than they used to. This is why I said the second unit back, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but I think, I think this is true. I think they genuinely have way more mass than they used to have. But now these guys are just going to walk straight into the uh, straight to the next lad. So I think it's, it's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, a lot fine. of people are citing uh, some uh, tremendous moments. I think a lot of them are just from end cards because we remember them. Yes. Better. There's lots of, uh, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake. Um, mm -mm. The best still around. Yeah, you know, people. You know, something I saw, I've, I saw recently. Just I've seen this many times before. But I saw it. I happened to see it today. I think it on Twitter. People think the bear is still around was from Skyrim. They misremember it because mm. it's the the end card's been retired. Because it was the old style of end card. So people think it was um it was a Skyrim end card because bears feature prominently in Skyrim. It was not. It was Far Cry Four. Mm -hmm. The bear is still around is from Far Cry Four, but people forget this. I, I think that's a really cute. There's, there's a cute little kind of uh, Mandela effect of that. And I think this unit's going to go down too because their integrity is falling apart. But the um the general is down to. The general's down to like nothing. In fact, the general might be about to be killed by his. The general is also no. You guys recovered. You guys actually recovered. Well done. And the general is now fleeing. Uh, so well done. Just just push forward and try to take out the militia cavalry. They're already wavering before I've even made touch with them. So therefore that should be absolutely fine. These guys are... I'm shaking. I'm wavering. They're also... They're, they're shaken and uh, down towards wavering. Then, then that's wavering. Then that's broken. This is... This, these tiny handful of spearmen are going to do it. They're going to do it. I, I, I believe in them. I don't believe in them. But maybe they'll do it anyway. Uh, oh, um... that's good. Yes. A, a couple of people have also brought up uh, in fair Verona we set our scene. Oh my God, Becky! <laughs> Etc. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Becky! Look at her butt. It is so big. Ah, oh, and finally the pelting took care of that. Okay. Uh, you know elephants what? in the rear, of course. Uh huh. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Right, getting over there. I'm just sending some calf to finish up the job here. This is this is that awkward moment where low low morale units just sort of all break each other. Enemy generals routing, but I think at this point my cavalry can just go in and uh, murder their general and murder all their stuff. And at this point, there we go. 
nice easy victory. In fact, technically, did I... Yes, this was actually attacking the town, so I do actually get the town immediately. But actually, wait, did I just clear out the entire town garrison, but I actually get the town, because this was not a battle against them. Uh, but no, it's fine. If I actually, if they'd been wiped out to the last man, I would have got it anyway, because I would have automatically got a, um, a city with nothing in it. Uh, so that is, that is absolutely fine. Uh, so you've Aww. been murdered. Yes. Uh, Myra just uh, gave us uh, 10 euros and says, uh, you've got a song in uh, uh, in your inbox. I got vaccinated today, so hooray, but I'm getting side effects, so I have to leave. But don't forget uh, about the song. And the chorus is really loud, so be careful, headphone users. Ooh. Okay, so, well you got you got a song at the end coming up. Yeah, too. we've got a song coming up at the end. Uh, Myra, I hope you have some good rest. Uh, uh, yeah, you said you got the Oxford vaccine, right? I that's the one I got, and um, it was it was a little bit painful, like first day, like, like the arm in the evening, first day, and then this second day it was like a little bit, you know, under the weather, but not like too bad, and it was fine. So hopefully it's not they're not too bad for you, the side effects. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. It's very exciting to start hearing about more and more people getting their vaccine. I'm still getting my vaccine. Mm -hmm. I put it. I put it. I don't get my vaccine. Claire got her vaccine on a Thursday, and I didn't get my vaccine at all. So now, um, I've bought a every single Thursday. Yet, I put. You haven't got your vaccine yet. I put. Um, I put. A, I put a note in the um calendar every Thursday at the same time Claire got hers about various things pertaining to my death. Because I'm not vaccinated yet. Like, you know, call the undertaker for, for coffin measurements. No, we changed know. that one. Uh, you know, buy Claire power tools so she can make the coffin for me. And I'm going to keep adding these until I get my cocking vaccine. Um, I'm sort of a key worker. The, you, the you, shittest way. Like, look, it doesn't matter if you're a key worker. The categories are care home resident or worker health worker or unpaid carer mm -hmm. right they're not that's not you know <sighs> i'm sorry hi mm -hmm. anyway the vaccine uh the vaccine q calculator says you should uh you should uh, get your first dose um at the end of may end of may feels okay. a long way i might be dead by then oh my god Oh my god, so I dead. wish I could find a way to give it to you earlier. Just to so shut you up. Stop being so bloody annoying about it. <laughs> I thought I, well, I thought I assumed you were going into so you'll stop being so bloody dramatic. Yeah, I kind of assumed that's where you were yeah. going with that. Oh dear. This is really useful, by the way, which is now, yeah, you can turn this off if you don't like it. But um, yeah, it tells you about um, any assets, which means any agent or army that's not moved. Uh, in a few turns, in case you've forgotten about it, which is actually really useful. Ah, Myra says she's getting chest and back pains, and she got hers because she's working uh, uh, on the ambulance. So I think she said that she does. Uh, obviously, she's a teacher, but I think she said she does. Um, she does um, paramedic work, yes. like uh, voluntary work as well. Yeah. So big damn hero all around is what I'm saying. Yeah. Greek cities are willing to pay money for a ceasefire, which I will give them. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and yeah, we can actually get a merchant out as well. But merchants are really kind of interesting. Uh, so, oh, this is really cute, by the way. I like this, which is uh, when you select a city, you may have noticed this. Um, it basically indicates what trade routes are active. Uh, so in the case of Sparta, Sparta as a port has only got one C trade route. So I can see immediately the city that Sparta is trading with, because trading this game is happen it, it does automatically. Um, and it only trades with whatever is the most valuable place to trade with. So Sparta is trading with Athens. And I can see also on this road, I am trading with Corinth. So you can see immediately every area, uh, every route that is being traded with. So Athens is trading with Termon and uh, Larissa by road. And it's trading back with Sparta by sea. Because it's the uh, most... I mean, you can also see... You can always see this with the boat. But it's, it's way clearer now. And I think this is a really nice UI thing. It also lets you see when a um, a route has been interrupted. Uh, by, say, uh, like, you know, an army in its way. Or a port has been blockaded. Or um, a city's under siege so you can't trade with it. Because it shows it as a dotted line. This means this is an interrupted uh, trade route. Which is really cool. I think that's really, really damn cool. Um, so I think that's a really nice useful bit of... Uh, a uh, bit of you, I like that. I like that a lot. I can't remember. I think I was going somewhere with this, but I've forgotten where I was going with it, so it's fine. Uh, yes, m sorry, I was saying, yes, uh, I wanted to get out. Do I have a market anywhere? I'd like to get out of market. If I have a market. Uh, is there a market? I'd like to get out of merchant. I'd like to get a merchant out if I could. 
Uh, but unfortunately, I think I've got like no markets coming out at all. Screw that nonsense. All right, give me a. Excuse me. That's not, that's not even a trade there. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. That's not even a trader. Uh, get rid of paved road. Uh, just get me a market. Then can have a. Then can have uh, traders because traders are cool. Merchant. Oh no, never mind. I've literally just acquired a merchant. Yes, because merchants belong to cities. Merchants belong to cities. Uh, nothing else. So he's devotion to love. Uh, plus two finance when training rarities. Minus one finance when training iron. Natural born merchant. Okay, show me our lad here. Uh, yeah. So term on. So yes, a sit. When a city trains a merchant, it belongs, he is of that city and he always will be. So when I take the city, I get the merchant. So merchants are inherited with the city. And what they do is, yes, this is where I was going with this. So Termon right now is not really doing much trading at all because Termon does need, uh, uh, just needs ropes, actually. Termon could do with ropes. It doesn't have a port. So I, I could see this. Um, yeah, it's doing a bit of, um, it's doing a bit of land trade, uh, but it's really not doing much. Trade is 75. So, what you can do is you can use a merchant to generate an artificial trade route that would not normally exist. The cap is, if you're doing like a high-tech civilization, uh, it's it's basically the number is capped per settlement at the, um, uh, at the, uh, uh, based on the trade building. So, market gives you your first one. You don't get one for trader. Then you get another one for, say, Agora. Then another one for Great Agra. Then uh, that's actually it. It's it's uh, three. So you basically want them plus two. So it's three total per city. And wherever they go, they effectively create a trade route. So even if it's... And this is really important because landlocked cities used to not be able to trade. Um, well, at least they could only trade with their immediate neighbours. They couldn't trade long range. But like, now they can. Uh, so you could just... Um, what I'm going to do is... Now I've got actually a trade route with... Um, uh, the Thracians, and obviously the Thracians have got Byzantium right here, then, yeah, if you've got, like, if it's a territory you don't own, that is pretty nearby, that is a valuable good, and ideally, like, a good multiple stack of it, like you've got, say, with this purple die right here, then they can actually make a lot of money. So, yeah, this, this is saying, look, this guy's gonna make 30 gold plus a third, even when he's only, like, you know, skill two. And in, like you could do in medieval two, he can go around buying out other merchants. So I'm going to send him round to that gold. And I think there might be, yeah, there's some, some timber there. I think there might be some more stuff these guys have got. That's, you know, if you, um, when you've got a merchant selected, if you hover over an area, it tells you what you're aware of that's in the area. So yeah, there's timber here, there's gold here, there's gold and timber, uh, here. So the gold's going to be the thing I want. I don't want to work on my own gold. Because I can make a bit of gold working on this. But, like, I already am gaining the benefit from that gold. It's better to do it when you're elsewhere. Because then I'm literally trading. Like, I'm creating. Basically, I'm just creating a trade route. Which otherwise would not happen. And that's better. Because back in Medieval 2, merchants didn't do that. Merchants just generated a flat amount of money based on what they were trading. And they haggled with each other. And they still do that. But now they're better. They've actually taken. They've actually taken, um. Uh, yeah, they, they've, they've taken the merchant and they've made it different. So now it generates a trade route. So it massively increases the viability of a landlocked settlement. Though it does also raise questions as to how much you could do with a one city run. Because obviously a city that's say, like say Athens, that's got like a load of resources it can trade. That's on the sea. So we can already get three sea trade routes. And also multiple land traders. Athens is probably a really good candidate for like a one city run. Then you also have three traders. So you just go far afield. And you create, excuse me, three additional trade routes with say, you know, something valuable. Like say, you know, you go over to uh, Cyprus. And you create a good, you have a good trade relationship with Egypt. And you have one there. And maybe you go over to, say over here, close by to Antioch. And you trade silk, which is really valuable. Or you could come down over to... Uh, here and trade more purple dye and then all of a sudden you've got effectively six sea trade routes and whatever you're trading uh, by land and whatever else you've built and I genuinely am worried about what's going to happen with like uh, you know when we say worried I I'm curious what's going to happen uh if you did a one city run that's not what I'm doing uh because I think it's like it's, it's interesting but like it's more of a one-off challenge thing so maybe I'll do it just like as a one-off at some point uh but I'm really interested in, like, what a one-challenge run might look like. Because uh, I genuinely think that's really cool. I, mean, I think it's really, really damn cool. Um, so, yeah, that's... I, I, I like the idea of it. I think it's very I think it's very interesting. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Sorry, I'm just collecting uh, pet pictures. Yeah. 
And so uh, we've got uh, we've got more questions. Not a ninja gave us five dollars and says uh, I'm glad that I could catch this live stream. What are some other possible games for live streams in the future? Thank you for all you do. Well, one thing we definitely won't be seeing is Dorf Romantic. What a trash game! <laughs> trash game for trash people. Anyway, um, we're gonna play Dorf Romantic. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have asked about a John versus Claire Dorf Romantic live stream, and also maybe like a flipped stream where I play John reads the comics. Uh huh. <laughs> so oh we'll dear. See. Oh dear. We'll oh dear. Oh dear. But yeah, this guy's now generating. Yeah, he's generating 32 gold straight away. Let's see if this does show up um, immediately on his thing right here. I think it might need to turn up next turn because it's not showing up yet. But he's effectively making the equivalent of a trade route, as I understand it. Though, if I could find. I think I saw a. That's a skill to rebel merchant. Yeah, merchants. Uh, rebel merchants just pop up too. They can be very good candidates um, if they're low skills for just basically saying, well, screw you. I'm just going to, like, you know. Uh, I'm going to kill you to get my skill up. Uh, and also you can go and sit in cities. So actually, Byzantium is saying 30 plus. So I'm going to go and uh, try and... Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and just st sit in uh, Byzantium and see what that does. Because uh, I'm, I'm still learning the new stuff. I'm still absolutely learning the new stuff uh, right now. Potavium still belongs to ghouls. That's quite frankly amazing. Uh, but yes, maybe it's... Maybe you need to be in the city? To generate the trade... Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll find out, because I'm still learning this. Like, I may have misunderstood some of this. Uh, it is, it is new. It is new. But I'm going to go and... I'm going to go sit inside, uh, Byzantium. Because I've got... I've just got a good feeling about this place. I feel like it's going to... I feel like it's going to be a big deal. And potentially mm. also go through several names. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Ballistic Bacon, who gave us five euros uh, and says, uh... Are the, um, so are the not historically documented hanging gardens removed from this game by now? Can John finally sleep in peace? You know what? I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask them to take the hanging gardens of Babylon out of the game. I, 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 I do not. I mean, in all fairness, I, I accept it as acceptable because there's a note in the thing. I think this was here in the original too, where it says Babylonian records do not have any reference to the hanging gardens. I, they didn't cock and exist. Weren't real. Uh, and yes, people say, whatever the truth of the matter, like, I think the note makes it perfectly clear, this might not have been real. This, 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 this might not have been real. So I, so I feel like that's fair. That's, that's fair right there. So I, I guess I'm okay with, with that being, uh, with that being a thing. Actually, you know, a, one city could, actually, no, Cadonia, because Cadonia doesn't have any land troops. What you need is, if you're doing a one city challenge in Rome, which is way more viable, I think, now, than it would have been previously. I think what you need is, uh, yeah, you definitely need land routes. I think Athens is a really good candidate. Um, you know, any of the cities like, like Capua, uh, theoretically, could work as well. That'd be sort of interesting. It'd just be interesting, like, how many um, city, how many armies you could maintain. But, like, the thing you'd have to do, I think, like... The problem is, in this game, there isn't raising. In this game, you either, you know, you either um, occupy, you enslave where you still get it, it's just the population is low, or you exterminate, but you still get it. The idea of raising where you take a bunch of stuff, but therefore you don't get the city, was like something that came along much later. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of, it's, there's a lot of cool stuff here. And you get so much more, just, there's, there's a lot more information just like um, on maps. Like if you just hover over any road, it tells you how much money that road's generating for you. And if you then alt it, it shows you where it's coming from. It's, it's really cool. I just, it's, 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 you get data, you get a lot of data in this game now, which which I approve of. I approve a lot, damn it. It's great. There's also a flash flood. So. Uh, yeah, and shout out also to Alexander, who gave us five pounds, uh, and has a has an ancient history question. Oh no, yes. Do you prefer Thucydides or Herodotus? Herodotus. Okay. I assume you mean Herodotus. I, I do mean Herodotus. Yeah, and Herodotus. why? Huh? Because he's more fun. It's just, it's just where I know it's not true. I know Thucydides is actually like, you know, actual, actual history. And Herodotus is a bunch of shit a drunk guy told me in the pub. But Herodotus is so much more entertaining to read, even if it's all bollocks. It's fine. I'm fine with it. It's not a problem. It's not a, not a problem in the slightest. I'm, I'm, I'm A-okay with that. Anyway, uh, shout out to uh, Ryan the Rabbit of Rancorous Rambling Region who gave us five dollars and says I wanted to let you know, John, that I recently started playing Medieval 2 Total War because I'm re-watching your series on it. 
By the way, Milan are jackasses. Everyone hates Milan. Milan mm-hmm. just the worst. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, literally, Judas gave us five pounds and says, John arranges into a coward square for safety. Crassus dot dot dot. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with Crassus aside from the bit where he failed then died. Uh-huh. Aside from uh, that bit, it was fine. Pyros Wolfbane, what an excellent name. <laughs> Pyrus Wolfbane gave us five uh, dollars and says, Hey John, Clem and Tabby have been subbed for years, but this is the first live stream I've caught because I'm usually at work. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Captain Cool404 gave us five pounds uh, and says, What's poppin' y'all? I'm riding high because I had my first date with my best friend and it went really well. This Aww. stream is just the icing on the cake. That's so sweet. That's so cute. Yay. The well, fruit. that's really good to hear. I hope um, the second, third, fourth and many more dates go just as well. Yeah. Uh, also, just to confirm, you can see there. Yes. Even though it looks like there kind of should be a land bridge here. There is not. You need a boat if you want this to uh, if you want this to happen. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, that there is the the, uh, the merchant cannot cross that particular pathway right there. Nice and simple. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, Evans uh, gave us ten Canadian dollars uh, and says, "I hope you're both well. Thank you for introducing me to the Total War games. Medieval Two is my favorite, and let us always remember Peasant Warp." Uh, sending oh, lots peasant of love. Oh, good old peasant twerp. Peasant twerp. Lots of love for the, from the great white north. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Ron Garion gave us a hundred dollars. Oh wow. Thank you for a much indeed. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I've noticed uh, in... Um, I've noticed in a game that it seems they've either forgotten or it's broken. It seems no one has noticed... Uh, it's shown this game after speeches. The soldiers don't cheer. Is there anything that small? No, they that... cheer. They 100% cheer. I've seen them do the cheer. Uh, is there anything that small that really irks you but really shouldn't? Like this, as to me? Uh, they still do the cheer here. Also... Well, I mean, you were saying before that, like, they didn't want you to show certain things because it wasn't quite ready. So it might just have been something like that where yeah. someone showed something they shouldn't also, have. Also, you can flip the map if you want. It's oh, all that's very pretty. Up. It's, yeah, but then, then then, you can make everything be upside down. It's like, oh, no. No, this is wrong. This is how it should be. Oh, God. Why is the world upside down? Make it stop. Anyway, I think the things that annoy John uh, that are... Uh, you know, that really shouldn't irk him that much, but do are um, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Fuck the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. There's no such thing. Uh, and the Colossus not being on the actual beach. Sorry, it, honey. It shouldn't be on the beach. It should be by the, by the Yeah, I port. know it should be by the port. You know what I mean? It's on a hill. You just got it wrong deliberately to annoy me. I mean, yeah. Um, anyway, Darkish gave us two dollars and says, Mercenary only challenge when? <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, bad, bad, bad decisions made in life there, dear oh dear, no. Uh, uh, Derp Squad has an important historical question, gave oh, us five lord. pounds, and says, Was the fall of Rome the fault of World War One Royal Navy Admiral David Beatty? Yes, it Please was. Please find a way to say it yes. It was. It what? absolutely was. Um, what? Because he shouldn't have been Time wearing... Traveling. He shouldn't have been wearing pants that day. So it was basically... Oh, the... you're always on about how people shouldn't be wearing pants, though. It's true. Sometimes it's just way more comfortable without. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's just how it is. Mm-hmm. You know, don't 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 blame me. Okay, plus four percent. That's fine. Damn you! It's just ship some peasants. Just ship some peasants over there. Do we have the? Oh, do we have the? Um, where did we? Where did I trade a? a, a there it is. We had that. So yeah, now I can start trading additional merchants. Yeah, I'm my own merchant. So you have like, bear in mind. Just, just consider like the the long victory campaign in this game is to have fifty cities. Okay, so like. You can have a lot of cities. Like, if you just, if you're the Bruto and you just take over Greece, you've got like 10 right there. Every city can have up to three merchants. Okay, so that's that's 30 merchants if you were just invest in those cities. Like, just off like 10. So then that's, that's just 30 merchants going around. And every merchant can very comfortably, and bear in mind, merchants don't have upkeep. That's, that's part of the key 
of merchants. To my mind, merchants have zero upkeep. So as a result of that, you've just got you know, everything they make is pure profit. They can't not make profit. So they've just got this weird scenario where merchants can just sort of like um, be generating ridiculous amounts of money. Just dumb, dumb amounts of money. Then ridiculous mega merchant spam. Where you say, you know what? I'm just going down to Egypt and I'm taking my... Just taking my 50 merchants with me. Like, I, I genuinely, like, I haven't had a chance to play with, like, massive merchant spam yet. But I'm really curious what happens if you do. Like, you actually go for full-on merchant spam. And you, like, you know, it, it's going to be, like, it's going to be priests in Medieval 2 Crusades. Like, times a million. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be so dumb. It's going to be the dumbest thing. Uh, and I'm looking forward to what people can do with it. Because I think it's going to be amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> yes. Uh, Derp Squad wants you to know that he's going to cite you. Uh, that they're going to cite you in a paper on the fall of Rome. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Uh, obviously. Yeah, uh, I think you should do that. That's fair. Uh -huh. um, Richard gave us $20 and says, I consider the start of 2021 to be the salad days of MATN. Hitman, KOTOR, Fallout 4, YOLO, CK3, Portal 2. It's been a joy to experience. Thanks. Yeah, just give it a week. You're going to have You Only Live Once running at the same time as Rome Total War. So basically, Jumanji, what year is it? Dot gif. Uh, is is also, how I feel about um, this. Is the salad days actually a good thing? Because I, I, I feel I like Leslie Neff would I feel find like, it an insult. I feel like bacon days is this. Is... Ice cream days. Thrace are kind of hundred percent invading again. Thrace are completely one hundred percent cocking invading again, aren't they? They're invading again, but this, they're sending in nothing but Falksmen this time. It's it's just Falks all across the sky. So that's that's fine. I'll just prepare the phalanxes. They can't do a thing to me. So all right, fine. You want to give it a go? That's that's fine. You know what? I'm going to send my mega army back to go and deal with this problem. You stupid Thracian losers. Dear oh flippy dear. Oh my, Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Ryan the Muppet gave us five pounds uh, and says, I pre-ordered this as soon as I saw your preview. Can I get a shout out from my fellow aces out there since yesterday was International Asexuality Day. Happy Ace Day, everybody. So yeah, happy Ace Day for yesterday and shout out to uh, any aces out there. Damn straight. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, uh, earlier, earlier there was uh, earlier someone was talking about an operation in a message, and the chat uh, immediately went uh, trans rights damn straight because yep. we didn't mention it. Why but, not? Uh, hey, trans rights and yep. ace rights. Mm-hmm. Uh, Florin uh, gave us uh, 25 Romanian Leo and says, Miss you guys, take care and keep on keeping on. We'll keep on keeping on as best we can. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I am, um, I am, uh, I'm just trying to read the, the explanation about salad day, but it yeah. still doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Um, salad just doesn't make sense to you in general. I literally ate salad today. When had you? When did you have salad last? I literally ate salad for lunch today. Okay, well I've been fucking called out. Wow, so fucking hell, Claire. Sorry, honey, but like, <laughs> sorry, you eat vegetables, just not salad specifically. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, you, you're blatantly here to attack me, and I don't appreciate it. You are. You, Absolutely blatantly here to here to attack me, and I, I don't I don't like it one little bit. Where are you, by the way? Where'd you get yourself? Oh, there you are. There you are, right there. You could just kind of sit here, make yourself a little bit of uh, nice gold for uh, for Corinth, because why not? I need I need to understand. Like what I don't understand entirely is how this is um like represented, like because it's not represented as like a a line. So like turn one has now got a, a sort of trade route with uh by with byzantium but it's not actually pictured and as far as i can tell it's not like it's not listed here against the turn income of the place it's not listed as uh trade here so i need to understand like how how it's recorded i think it must i think it's recorded a little bit unclearly in a way and i really don't trust you guys i do not trust thrice at all here at all 
Screw it, I'm going to attack them. Screw you, all right? I was perfectly happy to be friends with you, but you, you had to be a dick. So now we're going to murder each other. Also, can I? No, I cannot fight Night Bowser. I'm Ooh. not up to Command Star 4. Yeah, we're going and we're going to destroy this stupid Falksman. Uh, now, interesting question from Ron Garin, who gives yes. another $75. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you Incredibly so, so much generous. indeed. Um... Uh, who wants to know if they rebalance the economy of the game so that merchants are actually useful? I remember being able to get a hundred uh, thousand uh, uh, monies denarii before turn 10 on normal difficulty was never in need of cash. Uh, well, technically, money is still in pretty high demand, but I suppose, like, you know, you can balance that just by virtue of having more armies. Uh, I suspect there's going to be a, there's going to be a, a bit more, the map's going to be a bit busier. In terms of, oh blimey, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, the map's going to be a bit busier in terms of sheer number of armies on them than they used to be. Um, and I say that purely as I think there's going to be more stuff. Uh, there's going to be, there are a few more ways of making money. Excuse me, whether it's actually going to make a huge difference in the long run, I don't know. Also, I've got way too many range units and not enough actual front line here, but we'll just have to improvise as it happens. Um... So, I, I mean, I think it is... A uh, trade is still really powerful. They've not, like, tried to do a complete economic pass here. But merchants potentially could be pretty strong, I think. And the thing is, like, because they've got zero upkeep, they kind of, like, you know, they're free. Like, literally. Uh, like, you know, they're, they're very cheap to produce. It's a one-off cost. They're gonna pay for themselves. And I think it's just... It adds a fun little bit of variety. I just... I wonder... And I haven't played a long enough late game to know whether this is uh, seems like it's going to uh, to happen or not. But I, I wonder whether there's a possibility that, like, it's going to be a bit too... It's going to become a bit annoying to manage all of them. Because, like, as I say, like, if you can have three per city and you've got an empire of, like, 20 cities plus, that's a lot of cocking merchants. But then I suppose, like, the point of them is you find something nice for them to stand on or a city for them to squat in, trade with, and then that's... They're done. So you don't, they don't need to be actively managed once they've been set up for the first time. So uh, kind of a bit of a question for me. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go in the long run. So we'll have, to, we'll have to see about that. I honestly don't know how I'm going to feel about them, uh, like, eventually. And now we just slowly move forward for the big battle against the dumb old Thracians. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Alona who uh, gave us $20 and says, Hey John, I know you don't really like scary horror games, but would you ever consider playing Rule of Rose? It's one of my favorite obscure obscure horror games and I would love to uh, hear your commentary on it. Uh, I, I generally don't do horror games. I wouldn't hold you. I don't know anything about it, but I wouldn't exactly hold your breath because I, yeah. horror games are scary. Uh, and Steve gave us uh, $5 and says, John and Claire, in a new place, have you considered putting in an elevator for Tabby? A Tabby Vader, if you will. Oh, that sounds Well, super we cute. have looked into buying her more uh, little sets of stairs so that she can get up on, like, say, windowsills uh, and look outside. Yes. And so that she can get up, like, maybe on the sofa or whatever. Um, but, like, you know... She doesn't really like being, she doesn't really like being picked up and being, like, she doesn't like not being, like, in control. Yeah. And with her feet on the ground, you know, so I don't know how that would go. I don't know if we could, uh, I don't know if we could do anything like, I, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm not ruling out the idea that she might struggle with the amount of stairs to, to go up an entire flight of stairs and then you house because it's a yeah. house and now we're in a flat yeah um she's only ever done like three stairs at a time so i'm not ruling out that it might be tricky and that i might need she might need to get used to like get picked up for going upstairs but i think if that's the case then it would be like probably just get her like a carrier that is used only for going upstairs yeah because, like, the thing is, when I try to carry... When I need to pick her up for whatever reason, which is quite rare, she usually, like, wriggles and stuff, and I wouldn't want to just, yeah. like, do that on stairs. <laughs> like, you know, just... It, mm, yeah. So I was thinking maybe, like, a little carrier that's, like, a soft one, not, like, a hard plastic case, and, like, put put chicken cubes in it. Oh. And she knows that it's, like, look, in the evening, you get in the carrier, you get some chicken cubes, we go upstairs, and it's, like, you know... 
in the room there's there's access to like you know some dry food and water in the little box so yeah. it's fine if she has to stay up there yeah I, mean, I don't know I mean I hope she can use the stairs Yes. We might have to put like little little like night lights on the stairs like oh. in the cinema cuz like her eyes you know she's an older cat she's like 16 now and um when she when she's on the bed in the evening and, and like you I know as soon as the lights falcons, are turned I'm off I'm going to go in for these falcons. I think we can just hit these falcons because we got a bit of a bit of a slope advantage. I think we might just be able to kill them. Mm. I think one good strike from multiple angles will just cripple. Yeah, there we go. They're gone. Oh. I think we can just start wrapping. I mean, Lisa my cavalry... says she might figure out regular stairs easier because she'll see you and John use them, which yeah. I never thought of, but that's true, I suppose. Possible, yeah, that's true, because previously she hasn't really uh, so much. Yeah, because we don't use her little stairs because they're, you they're know, tiny. Yeah. tiny and not rated for humans. Mm. Mm. Okay, my, so far my little cavalry unit is doing, doing a really good job. Whilst the main forces just face off and skirmish at the front door here... And yeah, my archers just do a very good job just firing at anything that gets dumb enough, is dumb enough to get close. My cavalry's doing a really good job just round the outside, just taking care of all of this. Uh, you have wavered for now. Let's just make sure, let's get you broken. So if I just turn my attention to you, you will break. And that's going to make it way easier to break these guys, because they'll like break immediately now. And then now there's so many units nearby that are breaking, one solid charge might just break. Oh, withdrawing! They're going! That's it! Okay, so they've decided they yeah they Thrace have decided they've lost. Good, so that means we can just hit these guys now. Just hit these guys. We've got actually the funny thing about withdrawing is it doesn't cancel their attack activities. So yes, yeah, skirmishers will still skirmish even while they're withdrawing. I think that was true in the original, but I can't remember for certain. So that that's a cute touch anyway. Uh, so yeah, basically I've just got a huge amount of experience for my cavalry here. Lovely, clap. Uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, Oma and Gaming gave us uh, gave us five dollars. And since I've been playing a lot of Total War Rome 2 lately, would you ever consider doing at least a video on that one? Uh, I, I'm not the biggest Rome 2 fan. I, 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 I you know, maybe it's because I love this one so much, but like for me, Rome 2 doesn't, it just doesn't work. I like the original a lot more. Uh, and I, it kind of, it kind of spoils Rome 2 for me maybe a little bit. I just play Rome 2 and just think, the mechanics, like, you know, the mechanics that are now, like, were the first time we got to saw what these days is now foundational stuff. Like, you know, the way uh, provinces work. It was uh, an interesting experiment at the time. But it's been done so much better since. Just so, so much better. You guys are taking a lot of damage. Back off, back off, back off. Got a bit overconfident there. Um, so, like, you know, the basic foundational stuff, I just look at it and think, well, this just feels like it's now, you know, it, well, it was. It was a prototype. It was a prototype for the modern formula of Total War. The idea of provinces and little sub-regions versus capitals, that's that's uh, that's a big thing these days. It was, I think Rome, I'm pretty sure Rome was the first, Rome 2 was the first to do that. But, like, now it, it feels like a prototype. It feels like a scruffy prototype to me, where, like, I don't like the way lots of the things in the game works. I compare them negative, because I, I think it's, uh, I think it's a less organically interesting game than Rome 1. And, like, uh, the stuff that's more modern, that probably needed modernising, absolutely, probably. Um, like, I look at it and I think, well, it's been done better since. So, Rome 2 sits in a really awkward place for me, where I'm just not sure whether I think it actually... There we go, you just needed a charge to break you. And now you're going to break too, and then your friends behind you are going to break too, and then I will have all of the experience, because as soon as some of your friends are breaking... I, I just love this, like, for me, no game after this, in Total War franchise, like, had this feel, because, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, for me, Rome to the War is all about looking for the first break and then rolling up the line. And it didn't happen for me, it, like, it, it's a little bit like that in Med 2, but it's not quite as much. And, like, subsequent games, like, you know, there's way more recovery or units fighting to the last or units with re really high morale. Like, some, plenty of units in Warhammer have such high morale that they will not roll up and break. They'll keep fighting even if some units are breaking and things like the Expendables tag actively, like, helped that and made that situation, like, you know, more than it already was. Um... There are things I, therefore, like uh, I like a lot more about uh, Rome. Rome 2 is awkward for me. It, it's just an awkward thing for me. Claire! Uh, yeah, Tyler gave us uh, $5 and says, Hey, John, I started my first new job today since getting laid off due to the virus. Please take this money for all the content that I've co consumed since then. 
Uh, well, congratulations. Well, congratulations, absolutely. On your new job, that's really exciting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Our Hands Are Tied gave us £10 and says you got me into my two favourite games, Medieval 2 and Crusader Kings 2. Thank you. I hope you had a good Easter. I hope everyone had a good Easter. Yeah, I mean... We didn't, I, actually, have much, we didn't have much chocolate, actually, which yeah, is... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, look, we don't usually celebrate Easter because we're not... Uh, we're not... Uh, Maybe we'd have gone and picked up more chocolate if there hadn't been a, if there hadn't been a pandemic on. Well... You know, John, the whole thing about how chocolate ends up being on sale after Easter? Yeah. The food order that we have weekly that arrives on a Tuesday? Yeah. You have to put the order in before Easter. Mm. So next week, probably, we're going to have more chocolate. Anyway. Okay, lovely. Yeah. That's the idea, anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, John's been eating mini eggs every week since they I came have in not, the shop. I've not had mini eggs for a while. Yeah, because they keep being sold out because now it's actually Easter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but you keep getting me them. I don't actually ask you for them. I find them a little bit too sweet. Oh, but you <laughs> should say, you dumb dumb. I just like, I thought they were a thing you like, so I would... I do on occasion, but you kind of, you slightly overbuy them. You could just say it to it was me. Just, I enjoyed the sweet gesture. Well, then you could tell me what else you'd like, so I could be sweet, but with something that works better for you. Uh huh. Dumb you. I. Anyway. Alex just got and forgot to tell you several times as well. I'm sorry. Alex forgot to tell you several times as yeah, well. Okay, good. Um, Mini eggs are so good, but I, I can't eat them in the quantity that Claire thinks I enjoy eating them. I I only buy like one pack in the order every week. I don't think that's. You definitely lot. bought two before. But they were on sale. Yeah. Like, they were, like, two for one pound or whatever. You know? <laughs> like, if it's on... Look. Look. There's only so far away from being my father's daughter. Uh -huh. I can take myself. If it's on sale, I gotta buy it. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I want the opposite of pure sugar. I, actually, I, 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 find, I can find plenty of things way too sweet. <laughs> uh, I need... Uh, I, I like things to be uh, more... Uh, I like savoury things very often. To resolve that. Yeah, I know, that's... but she likes stuff that's on sale. Yeah. That's that that that's true. It's not untrue. It's like... One time I came back from I don't know work or wherever, like I, I think I don't know if it was before I worked from home, but anyway, one time I came home uh, and John told me very excitedly how there had been a sale on Terry's Chocolate Oranges. I bought a lot of chocolate oranges that day. That's and there true. was a pyramid. I bought a pyramid of, of chocolate. I think it was 10. I think about 4, 3, 2, 1. I think it was 10. Mm -hmm. I think it was 10. Yeah, I think yeah. that's true. I mean, it was delicious. Yeah. It took a while to get through, but it was delish. Yeah, I think uh, that's... Anyway, um... Alexander gave us 200 rubles uh, and says I'm late to the party so I'm watching from the start but here it goes how do you make the Macedonian war machine how do you make the Macedonian war machine run smoothly is this a joke yes I don't know you grease its gears uh... Uh... <laughs> Anyway, uh, Jeff gave us five dollars and says I played this back before game time was counted. It's probably a good thing I played every faction. Julian has approved. Thank you. Uh, thank you, John. Hi, Claire and Tabby. That's 100% my, my thing too, which is yeah. I've, still got, I've, I've got over that. I've got the original box of Rome to the War that I bought back in 2004 or five or something. Yeah. Um, and I've got it over there. And then I've got the second version I bought because I found a boxed version with the DLC. Uh, that was because I, I couldn't find the DLC. This was before online sales. Uh, so to get the DLC, I had to buy the base game again. I've got that over there as well. And obviously, that's that you didn't track hours. So I, I think I've got several thousand hours in this game. Uh, but I've no way of verifying. Uh, it, 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 I've got a, I've had a dumb amount of hours in this game back in the day, so I but I've no way of verifying precisely uh, precisely how many. Uh, that I do not know. No. Uh, yeah, and um, MG Steve gave us five uh, pounds and says, "Hey guys, I hope you're all well. 
John, how much are you looking forward to Stellaris ne Nemesis? And are you taking part in the Cold War event? Please say yes. No, they didn't even ask me. I was a tiny bit offended when I when I heard this announced. They hadn't even asked me. But then they they've asked me to they asked me to be involved in like the YouTube Awards a couple of times previously, and I said no uh, on both occasions. Um, that was actually at um, uh, the Parox convention. Uh, cause it was a long way to go. It was a, it was a very long way to travel, uh, during busy time of the year. Uh, so I think they just don't ask me to that sort of event, uh, anymore. Uh, but no, they didn't even ask me, which I don't, it would, would have been nice to be asked. But what can you do, I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably my fault for not being involved in the first two times they asked me and I said no. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh... <laughs> oh, the Hermit King gave us ten uh, pounds and says, "I've been a big fan for a while now, so here is a tenner. Keep up the great work." Also, any plans for more Warhammer in the future? <laughs> uh, yes, Warhammer Three will happen at some point. By the way, I attempted to buy a Rebel Merchant, and unfortunately, I got myself killed. And I think it made him better by doing it. So, unfortunately, our merchant must have angered Hermes, for he tried to buy a rival into have his own business collapse. So that was, uh, that's the new message if you are uh, in the ancient world for when buying out goes wrong. Uh, should you get better, by the way? I think, I think the only way to get this guy better is either Ancilla is in the right place, making enough money, or trading resources, uh, in the right location. So that's, uh, that is fascinating right over there. Also, I think you might have just seen over here for a second. I think this guy was an example of the AI breaking down units that it doesn't want. Uh, because we saw this, this, this guy merge with another army and then his banner just emptied. But, like, they didn't go anywhere. There was no boat for them to go into. We didn't see any separation. I think the U the AI just broke down some units, which I assume also happened to those Spartans earlier. So, yeah, the AI does break down units when it has to these days, which, as I say, is really good. Because previously, the AI just kind of built massive armies. And even if it was completely bankrupt, it didn't care. It just kind of kept going. So, oh, you know, I've got these armies. It doesn't matter. Um, so, like, um, the AI would just, yeah, these days, you, you can wage economic war economic war way more effectively. Which I like. I think that's really cool. I think that's, uh, that's a really cool thing uh, that can happen. Um, but on the other hand, uh, we should probably now, yes, we can now trade a new merchant. We're, we're just going to keep trading merchants. Sooner or later, one of them is going to get lucky and take out that merchant. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, and uh, Nathaniel gave us five dollars uh, and says, "John, the Marauders in Doom Eternal are they good or bad?" Christ, I'm, I, I, I don't know enough about Doom law to comment on this. Sorry, I've no clue. Uh, Which yeah. ones are the Marauders? <laughs> And Nathaniel also says, uh, I started a group that gives out condoms to those in need. We are the rubber band. Oh, dear. I know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, oh, this guy's three. This guy This guy is a genius. He's, he's, it, it, it works the same as Diplomats or Spies, by the way. Um, when, you, when you get a new guy, you... Um, he gets a random starting stat between one and three, or three, I believe, is the best. And uh, yes, uh, in case you don't notice, by the way, this is really useful. This tells you everything you theoretically could do with this guy per area, so you can open and close the areas and see, like, what's happening. So, yeah, if this guy goes and trades in Apollonia, which creates a new trade route, that's worth 61 gold a turn. If he trades in Larissa, that's worth 63 gold a turn. So you can, like, you can see ahead of time using this, like, what's going on, though sometimes you're not going to have... Uh, information you're not going to uh, know for certain uh but trading in uh apparently trading uh up with dacia would be worth a lot trade in poral eastern will be worth over a hundred gold apparently so for whatever reason that's uh that's just a really good uh that would be worth a lot so like one imagine this it's like one merchant who has no upkeep can generate over over a hundred over a hundred gold just like just like that it's like that's that's a lot like, even if you're just trading with your own territory, with territories you don't normally have access to because you don't have a sea routes or you don't have a road link, you know, you're still, you're still making, you're still making that. And yeah, he'd make much less in Athens because we're already trading with Athens. But I'm going to, I'm going to try a buyout. Come on. Yeah, we got him. We actually got him. So now he's up to four. Are these, the, I think the, um, the traits have got the same name though. Uh, I think the traits are like, uh, bean counter. Yeah, bean counter level one, just like in medieval two. Uh, and now he's now he's doing that. Now if we check that, he's, he's going to be worth. So yeah, now now he's gone up from level uh, three to four. All of us on trading Athens were thirty three. So at that point, it's Polis. Look at that. It's it actually seems to multiply. Like Polisim is now worth two hundred odd gold. Like in in like no time whatsoever. So I'm I'm, I'm setting him up there. I'm I'm curious how much that actually is going to be worth. And if he can pick up another merchant. In fact, is that a merchant right there? 
That's another merchant right there. He's going to pick this guy off right here. He's going he's to assassinate that guy. I'm going to see how much this is worth. Because this, this could be a good experiment for how good a, a merchant can be. Because I suspect it's very good. All right. A question about the game from Ron Garion. He yes. gave us another $50. Uh, thank you so thank much. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and said, and what's to know? Does the color filter in the options make the campaign map look more muted in color like the original game? Yes. This green is very green to me. Yeah. Okay. You know, just, for, just for people, in case your eyes are getting tired, we'll we'll, we'll have it down. I'll put it down in campaign to zero. So this is uh, this this is it without it. So some people might like the slightly more muted color. Yeah, but uh, you can go it is more anywhere like the original. in between. Yeah, you can be. Yeah, you can be anywhere in the one. Also, well, that's 50, lovely. 50. But like you know, it's entirely your choice uh, if that's what you want to. Uh, that's what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, I, I, this is, it's really useful to be able to just say, you know what, you can just kind of s cycle through everything and just figure out, okay, well, who's, where are you going to make money? Where, where are you going to make money versus uh, not? And like trading somewhere far away, like Apollonia is now 70. But yeah, you seem to like, like just getting one additional merchant star seems to like double the amount you can actually make. I can't show you Barbarian Invasion. Sorry, soon, but I can't. Not right now. It's, it's, it is, it's against the law. All right. Uh stop right there, criminal scum. Yeah, indeed. Uh, let's see. Um, Amanda Skylarkland gave us uh, five dollars and says, "Can I tempt you into a house flipper stream, John? If I do some digital paintings of Eggbox John and Cultist Claire, Ooh. you can also mow the lawn with fire." Now, I am aware of this. Yes, which is rather exciting and very cool. Uh... <laughs> At some point, yes, maybe it will be back. It is it is a fun time. Look, once we are in a new place and we get really annoyed with, like, any, you know, anything we realize in there isn't quite perfect. Once we get a new place, we get the VR set up in a new place. I want to do House Flipper VR. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going to do House Flipper. I've been waiting to do that for a long time. But I packed, back when I thought we were moving in February, I packed all the VR stuff away. And since then, it's been in a box. Guys, uh, my books have been packed for, like, a month and a bit because I was concerned... That it was going to take me ages to pack because I have so many books. Yeah. So I started packing my books in little boxes to see like if I was going to have enough boxes so that some of it was done. And then it got delayed and now like the room looks like a tip because there's just boxes and no books on the shelves. And like it, it's harder to read books, you know? Right. Assassinate Very. that guy. Right. He's now up to, he's now up to level five. Okay. So now he's gone from four to five. All of a sudden, if he were to trade with... Uh... If you were to go and trade with, not Dalmatia, not Scythia, uh, go and trade with, okay, no, no, none of them. What we do is, okay, well, in theory, if you were to trade with uh, Salona, monopolize gold to 40 plus, uh, trade in Bylazora is now worth 79, uh, trading in Attica. Yeah, Athens has now gone up to 37, but that's, that's, and that's low, that's garbage. So I'm going to, I'm going to set, I'm going to send him north at this point. And there are any more merchants, by the way? I want to find some more. Oh, that's why he can't... That's why it's because he's blocking the bridge. That's why the game's getting confused. That's why the game's getting confused right now. I see. I see what's going on. So we've got that. I think that's just a handful of Falksmen, isn't it? Yes, that's fine. So you can just go down, and then we'll just burn Byzantium to the... Actually, you know what? It's fine. It's a Greek city, so it's not a problem. How much did you actually have here, by the way? Okay, you, you had yourself a few bits and pieces. Uh, so we can we can repair up a few... Uh, What's some McJibbles and build some roads because apparently you didn't bother for some reason and retrain all of the things though I think actually we're we retrain them or we re I think we might be rearming them but I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. Claire! Uh, yes indeed a shout out to uh, Roger two times uh, who gave us ten dollars and says hey Claire, John and Tabby I hope you're all well three words stubs the zombie the protagonist is a zombie set in a futuristic city in 1950s America. Stay well, lovelies. I've heard good things. Uh, so at some point I may well give it a loopsy, but I do not have... Just because of all the fuss of moving right now, yeah. I do not yeah, have... Sure. There's a lot of stuff we don't have uh, exact timescales for. A lot of stuff is on hold until or if we move or whether we know whether we're moving or not, bloody hell. Okay, a couple more questions about games that might get covered. Yes. Jensen Art gave us $5 and says, John, sorry if this has been addressed already, but I'm wondering about Mass Effect Legendary coverage. And then Yash gave us $2 and wants to know if we're going to get any Solaris coverage. Uh, I will do at least a one-off on Solaris, and I want to do a full series on Mass Effect Legendary Edition just for Mass Effect 1. 
I think there are some things they're changing that look good. I am concerned mm -hmm. about some of the other things that they are changing. Uh, it looks like they're kind of DRPGing it, and I'm not 100% on this, but we'll see whether they've changed the core feel of the game. I really hope they haven't. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to do a full series. I want to investigate this properly and see what's going on versus not. So, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, yeah, and then Oman Gaming gave us $5 and says that uh, the vampire counts in Warhammer 2 have limited ranged units. There is one crossbow unit that I know of, but it's not easy to get. Yeah, but like, I, that, not even everyone can get it. I think you need to use, like, use one of the blood kisses to unlock like a particular person, and that one leader has like one crossbow unit, and it's not even the best crossbow unit. Uh, I, I feel like it, it's quite a stretch to say the vampire counts have access to... Uh, any significant volume of, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that sort of stuff. I, they, 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 they do, they do not. They do not. Yeah, and uh, Diego gave us five dollars. Uh, and I love how those elephants are so massive that they blocked uh, their fire. Even in death, I still serve. Mm-hmm. They are, they are good stuff. They I like, they, I, I love how they fall out. I think this works for little elephants too. It's just they're so small you don't generally notice it. They're like dead, um, large creatures, like elephants, actually act like debris. So you can actually use them as like barricades and cover against fire because fire will not penetrate it. It's a real physical object on the field, which is great. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, so yeah, it's all, it's all just a lovely, lovely time. Okay, you get out of my way, by the way. I've got a flipping merchant that needs to get through. Claire. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Angry Octo gave us $5 and says, I love the stream. Keep having fun. Uh, and this one, I'm afraid, Reaper uh, gave us $5 and says, Next live stream should be Barbarian Peasant Swarm. <laughs> oh dear. But did you say we can't do Barbarian Invasion yet? We can't do Barbarian Invasion yet. No, yeah. that's that's against that's against the law. Stop right there, criminal scum. Uh, if I yes, lifted my mother. Indeed. Uh... <laughs> Jake, uh, Jake gave us five uh, pounds, and uh, so I was wondering who your favorite underrated ancient character, either in mythology or historical, is. Uh, also, I wondered why you sometimes pronounce names differently than in traditional media, like uh, Achilles, mm -hmm. Achilles versus Achilles. Achilles like, is always... the Latinized form. Achilles is the original Greek form. As I was a Hellenist, and as it is Achilles in the original Iliad, overwhelmingly I favor that pronunciation. Uh, yeah, and then... Um, Very often it is a case of uh, Hellenized versus Latinized form. And like your habits. Yes, usage, exactly. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah, and then a favorite underrated ancient character, historical or mythological. Yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough. Maybe that's easy Sorry, one there. You, 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 you set me up with a nice easy one there. You have a usual rant about Claudius. There's another oh, I'm bloody... I'm sorry. There's another idiot right here, but I, I kind of want to... I could kill this guy to get up to sex. I mean, he's right there. He's right there, so he's... There we go. You better have got up to six, by the way. And... No, he stayed at five. Okay, well, that's a shame. Uh, excuse me. Hi, this is my city. You're seriously. You, you you think you've got a chance here? All right, fine. I'll kick your ass if that's what you desperately want me to do. We're going to do a night battle just for fun. I'm going to do a night battle here. I've got reinforcements coming in. Okay, we're just going to just going to kill this guy. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. So, um, Ultra Yahoo Fi gave us a uh, fifteen Norwegian Krona and says, "No pursuit, bah! Sending the cavalry to." Secure the victory! <laughs> Sounds like legit tactics to me. Yeah, and Ome uh, Omega Games Studio gave us 25 polish slotty uh, and says uh, <laughs> maximum poker age formation, Pokemon. Poke like your lives depend on it. Poke for your gods and your king. And I realized that they're responding to you talking about poking with poking six rather than Pokemon, but, it, yeah. but I. I saw the phrase. I saw the phrase "poke men," and I read it as Pokemon. So, um, can we can we just assume that I was being cute rather than just entirely misreading the joke? Yeah. Okay. We 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 can pretend that. Neat. Thank you. They seem to be really charging forward <laughs> in a hurry. They're really in a hurry, actually. Uh. Okay. We'll hit this generous bot. We're just gonna hit this generous bodyguard because I feel like it, and we're just gonna see if we can just maybe just take him out right now. Then again, they've got they've got militia cav right there, which I don't appreciate. This is this is maybe a bit of a mistake right here. 
Uh, actually, I've got my I've got my faction leader right there, so I feel like I I would win this. I'm just gonna get this. If we can just get this. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. Let's see if we can just break these guys. Yep, that's pulled them in. Okay, so they're gonna die. They're gonna be absolutely screwed. This militia cavalry, and then they've sent they've sent one of their generals. Okay, the general. <laughs> I was about to say, where's their general going? Oh, he's dead. Okay, so their general's dead at this point. You can just take care of them. Uh, I'm just taking care of this. Their general's bodyguard is now shaken because their actual general's dead. Now my my much more experienced general and who is who's massively outnumbered them is now just going to take care of these bastards. Uh, so, okay, so he's now running as well. So now we're just gonna now we're just gonna smash these guys. And now there's there's probably some stuff going on over here. Oh, there's a bit there's a bit of a hole in the line, mind. There's, there's a slight slight hole in the line. Falksmen are very good at uh, generating holes in lines. Uh, how about we just create a little side up the giblet right over here. Now we just need to get over here. Peltas, and you're not going to get over everywhere. I need to create a new uh, line over here. That is... What happened to you guys, by the way? Oh, you... Okay, the um, the Macedonian cavalry is dead. Okay, you just follow in this direction. You said in this direction. What's this? That's General's bodyguard. I can just break these guys. The Falksmen have now split up. It's lovely, the glow. I love the glow. The nice, the nice warm barbarian invasion glow is excellent. Uh, so if we can just hit you with a little bit of a... No, get your poking sticks down. Thank you. Oh, in they come to the poking sticks and they're having a bad time of it. Oh, that's going to... Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, they ain't enjoying the poking sticks. Good, 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 good. Well done, lads. Uh, where are the phalanxes? Uh, there's one over there. You guys are over here. Yeah, I think they're pretty much... Are you guys withdrawing? Yeah, they're withdrawing. They've decided, oh, wait, hang on. No, we're hopelessly outnumbered and uh, we can't possibly beat John. He's just too good at the game. Oh, good rear charge. Good rear charge by Militia Cap. The enemy, I think this is an AI tweak. The AI seems to be much more willing to use, like, skirmishing cav for charges if the opportunity presents itself. Um, and be much more willing to change between skirmishing and taking aggressive action, which is really cool. I like that. That's a, that's a nice change. Claire? Uh, yes. Uh, James, give us five uh, euros and says, Hello from Ireland. I love your videos. Can you play as the Roman Senate? Uh, no, but I assume you can modify the game to do so like you could in the original. Though it might be slightly broken. Because, like, the reason why you didn't necessarily want to play as the factions that were not real factions in the original was it could lead to stuff breaking. Um, stuff was just sort of a bit broken. And Rome, the Roman Senate in particular was a bit broken. Uh, I, I see no reason why you couldn't modify the game to do so if you wanted to, like, tinker around in the past. But, uh, Rome and the Rebels are the only two non-available factions because they're not really proper factions in the traditional sense. Uh, yeah, shout out to Urban Cohort who gave us $20 and says, Don't underestimate the pigs, John. I beat my friend in this game using pigs only. <laughs> Oh no, I clearly I'd see more practice with my pigs. Dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, Shadow uh, gave us $5 and says, Hey John and Claire, I want to thank you for making my brother smile. Uh, so this one, um, I'm afraid this is a little bit of a sad one. Oh, okay. uh, I want to thank you for making my brother smile before he died. Uh, I love you guys so much. I hope that your day is amazing. Yes. Uh, so I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Um... And I mean, you know, it's just um, yeah, it's just really humbling and and beautiful that this is the kind of thing that we can do for people. You yeah, know? precisely. Like I would have never yes, agree. Like, you know, um, oh, sometimes it's. I mean, you know, it's a bit weird. Yeah, most of. We're not was, weird. Not bad. Like, sorry, that's the wrong. Phrase. I was gonna say most of the time it's really nice. It, 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 you know. Um, I'm already very grateful for, you know, and very happy to be doing this job most of the time. But, you know, sometimes it just kind of, like, hits you in the face. Yeah. Uh, but it is a bit, you know. Um, see, the thing is, when we don't know what to say, I just babble and John shuts up. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just uh, trying not to get too emotional here. But, uh. Shout out also to Cusco, who gave us two euros and wants to know, John, if you've ever played Supreme Commander. No, that one I do not know. Mm -hmm. That that one that one would be new to me. I do not recognize that. Uh, let's... Oi, get the flip out of that mountain range. You naff off out of my mountain range. I'm going over here to trade with cocking Dacia. Okay, that that is what we are doing. 
Get out. Naff off out of my mountain range. Cooking Thracians. All of the... Oh, it's a Thracian video territory. Where, 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 where? Uh... What else have we got here? Is this how well guarded is this? That's not particularly well guarded. Yeah, screw it. We're, just gonna, we're going straight for the capitals. It's good to tear it all down. Screw you, basically. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to Flowers on the Wall who gave us $10 uh, and says, I started my first playthrough of Outer Worlds last night and I spent half the time laughing hard enough to cry. Dumb dialogue options with Max Charm. Swave idiot go! <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Fallout 4 Demolition Man challenge? Demolition is interesting, but like, I feel like you'd, um, it's more of a one-off, like, you know, special little gimmick thing, rather mm. than, I think you would get old as a full series. Uh, but as a potential, like, you know, occasion, like, you know, just as a little one-off silly thing you could do maybe once. Yes, that's possible. Yeah, and then uh, Count Patchy gave us one Canadian dollar. Thank you uh, so you much for that. Thank very much indeed. Uh, we've got $10 from Stokill as well, so thank you so, so much. Uh, Stokill also... <laughs> this is just after Stokill gave us $5 and says, Claire, you were the one who made it weird. John, make sure you read this. <laughs> what am I supposed to read, sorry? Uh, I think it was just uh, making sure that I didn't not read the one where it says I made it. Do you know what I mean? I ah, see. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, Slayer said it's dead because why wouldn't they Ow. be? Um, shout out to uh, Stego Stomatidi. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope I, I said it okay. Uh, who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you so, so much. I mean, thank you so much. Uh, I started watching your channel at the beginning of the pandemic by watching your original Rome Total War series. Um, that um, that and your other Total War series got me through the worst of last year. Thank you. Um, thank you for all that you do. And hello from the Caribbean. Well, thank you for very much to you as well. Uh, yeah, thank you And so have fun in the Caribbean. I hope the weather's better. It's really cold here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, there was like snow the other day. Yeah, it's really bloody cold. Um, really bloody cold. Yeah, and I mean, I'm good to hear that. Um, yeah, good. I mean, I hope that means you're feeling better. That's. I mean, I don't yes. want to put words in your mouth, but reading, reading between the lines, it sounds like so. So I hope so. Yes. Um, and then yeah, Motley Brit uh, gave us five pounds and says I can't look at Rome Total War and not get flashback to watching Time Commanders on the BBC. Oh, on Time a Commanders! Thick telly after school. It's good. It was good stuff. Time yeah. Commanders. Time Commanders were a bunch of vicars tried to play Rome Total War by voice command. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, I can maybe buy out this guy. That's six six percent. Go. And come on, take him out. Take out the... Because it's not an act of war for your merchants to like, do stuff. And did he, did he fail? I think he failed. Yeah, that was a failure. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. What's this, by the way? Oh, that's a diplomat. You can't buy out diplomats. That doesn't help me in the slightest. Uh, but yeah, I want, to, I want to get back into Poralism at this point. This is this is all absolutely fine. Because you're now up to... Yes, uh, five. So you're, yeah, basic three, then bold barter, finance plus two. If I'm lucky, you might pick up, like, if he just hangs out in a really valuable place, making loads of money, it might generate a bit of extra, uh, bit of extra cash right there. You guys can just, uh, head back to, uh, Byzantium and just, oh, blimey, there's, there's too many of them. Okay, and then everyone, everyone just, 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 just swap you round it, thank you. Uh, and then you head back over here. Everything is, clap. Hey, John. Yeah. Happy Thursday. Yay, happy Thursday. Look, I'm, I'm letting you do the super chats. I'm letting you do the super chat. No, you're not. Intermittently, you, like, are talking for five minutes at a time. I like this game, and you knew that when you agreed to do this job. You should have foreseen they were remastering Rome <laughs> six years ago. Oh, God. I feel like you should have foreseen this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we had a lovely time on our first date. Who would have thunk it? Eh? Uh huh. <laughs> Who would have thought this would? Anyway, shout out to Megan. Wow. Out... <laughs> no, Fucking hell. <laughs> uh huh. So... Sorry, I'm just, I'm just quite hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Shout out to Mega Raptor who gave us five Canadian dollars. Hello, Mega Raptor. And says, hello, John. Hello, Claire. It's been a long while, but I hope you're all well. Good luck on the move and tell Tabby hello. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so here we go. This this guy, this merchant five, who was only five out of ten, all right? He could be he could be a lot better yet. Okay, just a sound knowledge of local and foreign markets is making a hundred and seventy-seven denarii a turn just sitting in Poralisum. Alright, that's just he's just sitting there. He's not doing anything. He's just generating a hundred and seventy denarii a turn. That is more than Oh, there's the there's the Macedonian plague happened. Everybody drink. Uh, that's like, you know, enough to pay for a couple of units in an army. It's like, you know, basic, uh, basic militia hoplites, uh, 100 upkeep. So he's, he's, he's paying for a tenth of an army on his own. And I can have three of them coming out of every city. I think that's, this is going to make a, I think this could be really important. I think this could be really powerful and interesting, uh, how good merchants could be. I just, I just hope they don't require... When it gets, like, to a certain sale, it's so many, it's really difficult to manage and it becomes a bit annoying uh, to deal with. So, uh, yeah. Interesting, I think. it. Also, hang on, we got... Oh, we got some T-posing! I've got a T-posing man inside inside a territory! Yay! Uh, I'm going to have to report that to the dev team. Uh, I think it's... Maybe it happened... Huh? He's T-posing. He's just standing there going like... Oh. It, it's the, like a default pose. I assume it's because I, I, sw I did swapping... Uh, I assume that's why he's doing that right now. I'm going to guess that's what's going on. Maybe we'll, set, we'll give him a boat and we'll send them over there. Because basically, flip Pontus. No one likes Pontus anyway. So maybe as, as, as Thrace has said, No, please leave us alone. We can't wait. We're too pathetic. Please stop attacking us with your penis. Uh, we should just head over to Pont. <laughs> Claire's, we should, Claire's, Claire's giving me the look. Uh, we'll just go and, we'll go and smash Pontus. Because screw Pontus. Screw those bastards. Claire. Don't. See, I'm giving her time to do things. She doesn't want to do the thing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Shout out to Nola who gave us five dollars uh, and says first hex seed and then Dorf Romantic. Please stop showing me games that I end up loving and devour my life. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, John, yeah. stop doing that and then making us stream for like hours and hours and hours. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Ghost Raider. It's hot and cold with you. I can never, I can never keep up. What? Shh. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. But I didn't hear you. Uh, so it's hot and cold with you. I just can never keep up. This has been like, no, I'm, I'm sorry, honey. Uh -huh. but like I love you and you're extremely annoying has been our vibe for a very long time. Fair, How do you not fair, recognize fair, fair, that? Fair, 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 legit. <laughs> Fine, reasonable. Uh, anyway, shout out to Ghost Raider. Oi! Fuck off, Numidia! <laughs> Oi! No! This is why! Numidia is not allowed to fucking attack my- I will fucking destroy them. I will burn Numidia to the fucking ground. How fucking dare you? Do you have any idea how important Kedonia is to me? Do you have any fucking clue? How dare you? Sorry, Claire. <laughs> so Shout out to Ghost Raider who gave us twenty dollars and says you were my biggest inspiration to start my own account, and this is the first live stream I've ever been able to watch. It brings me uh, joy that it is one of my favorite games. It's wonderful. I just love it. Yes. Oh. Uh, Kristen gave us five dollars and says have some money because I've definitely missed these live streams. Plus, I've sent a newborn kitten photo on Twitter. Uh, it's, it's very sweet. It's very cute. I'm going to put it in chat. Uh, who is, uh, Alex, who's Alex, uh, gave us $5 and says someone should make a compilation of all your decommissioned end cards. I recall the one from Far Cry 4 where you jumped out on the tower from the buzzer. <laughs> oh my. You've also had a factor in, of course, another thing people are doing, like, uh, people... In a way, people are correct that, like, um, you know, you could argue, well, money's put into merchants will be better put somewhere else. Merchants are also spies. Notice how I've now got permanent visibility of Poralisum. I can just see what's going on in Poralisum. I just get to see that now. Um, so, yeah, Poralisum is just mine. 
uh, in terms of his abilities. So you can use them as spies inside territory or just sort of keeping an eye on. And also, look at this. Look at the information I've got. I have got full visibility of every building in Poralisum. I have full visibility of the exact population, the exact population needed to upgrade, uh, the exact everything. And I've got full visibility of the army. This is a spy. This is basically, this is not like, in many ways, I think in some ways, like, there is an argument to say uh, the merchant is better than the spy. The spy, if you've got, if you go, you know, against a hostile power, someone you're already at war with, yeah, spies, absolutely. But against a neutral power, you're just thinking of attacking down the line? Merchants. You get the exact same information. You get full information on, on the armies and the city and everything. But you also gain money at the same time. And bear in mind, this guy costs 250. He costs 250. He's making... Okay, right now he's making nothing because the city is under siege. The city is under siege so we can't trade at all. Which makes perfect sense. Bastards. Get out of there. Um, which makes perfect sense. But like, you know, he was making like 200 gold a turn. So he's like, you know, he's paid for himself three times over in a handful of turns. That's good. That's a good solid amount of money, damn it. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, good. Numidia have pissed off. Well done. <laughs> and shout out to Terence who gave us five dollars uh, and says, Hey, Claire, as a D&D &D fan, have you ever considered playing it uh, online? Uh, if you two were to play in a campaign, what classes would be best for the two of you? Um, so, I've not, like, actually played enough D&D &D that I would feel confident, like, you know, doing it as, a, as content. Uh -huh. right? Could I be a goblin? Mm? I want to be a goblin. You'd be a bard, though. I want to be a goblin. Can I yeah. be a goblin bard? I mean, also, a goblin isn't a class. It's a race. I want to be a goblin bard, then. Yeah, you can be a goblin bard. I want to be a goblin bard, yeah! Um... Goblin bard. Goblin bard. Gobble, gobble, gobble. As I say. As we say when you're goblin bards. I mean... I've... <laughs> I feel like I would want to, uh, I feel like I would want to play Rogue, and I feel like that's a, an extremely cliched answer, but, like, at some point, like, in the last campaign that I did, uh, with a few friends, I played a dwarf fighter, and, like, she was really fun, but, like, yeah, it was just, like, there was nothing to do except for, like, run into the battle with like a bunch of axes and and like punch shit mm -hmm. and it was really fun but it was just kind of like it, there was just like not a lot of versatility oh my goodness the dumb east infantry pajamas are even more fabulous now that is true i mean they were already pr i mean the parthian pajamas are of course arguably more fabulous but like this is that oh well that guy's dead that, that guy's dead that guy's oh shit we should be wearing pajamas we're on fire now. shit we should have invested in actual armor okay that that that's good that's 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 good stuff right over there marvelous everything's under control clap uh john can be a goblin bard says amanda Ta claire is a tabaxi cleric of tabby yay that makes sense to yeah, me yeah makes sense to me too uh let's See, uh, Kelsey gave us five dollars and says, I've been watching your Mass Effect stuff for the first time, so here's my donation to say, finish Andromeda, you coward! It's, it's, it's add, add it to the list of things that maybe one day will happen, we who, who flipping knows. Okay, this is pretty good. Uh, their general's coming forward to attack my Thracians, but they're walking straight into a huge amount of fire. So this is, actually, with a hundred people, this might actually be their faction leader. I don't know. And yeah, Eastern Generals are cool because Eastern Generals get little, um, really tough javelins that really hurt, actually. And now we can just send my Thracians around the corner. They probably won't win, but like, they, they do pretty well against armor and heavily armored stuff, so they might well do some stuff. And there's a huge amount of supporting fire coming in. So like, at the bare minimum, they'll do a good job. But these guys are steady for the time being. Should have done a war cry. War cry is huge. It's like plus 10 to attack for like 30 seconds, which is a lot. But there's so much fire coming in in support here. These guys are just going to do great work. And also we just need to uh, just admire the lovely lovely leopard print, like, you know, thong skirt thing they've got these days, which is great. Are they... Are you guys breaking already? It's breaking already, oh cowards. God. Absolute flipping <laughs> cowards. And now... Okay, now that they're, now they're attacking my... They're actually in my Cretan archers right now. Okay, didn't realise that was going to be a thing. Maybe guys just sort of head, head forward and... Okay, would someone would someone less important like to like sacrifice yourselves for the, for for the greater good? 
if you'd be so uh, be so kind, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Because just just take again over there. I just uh, send an additional Thracian mercenaries. Uh, you're impetuous officially. It won't last very long, clearly. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, they, they might pull back at some point. Or they're just going to sacrifice themselves here. Who flipping knows? I've got a large number of Thracians. Just Eastern mercenaries, man. They they stand and fight. They they do well. Okay, now, now we got them. Now we're fine. Glad. Uh, yeah, shout out to Bad Coffee who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very <laughs> thank much you indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, people are being incredibly generous today. Mm -hmm. um, Bad Coffee says, Hey, John, I just wanted to donate and say that I love your work and to continue... And to con... Mm, sorry. And to continue on strong. Quick question though. Yes. What do cannibals eat to freshen their breath? I don't know. Mentos. Okay. I see. I see. I see, I see where we're going with that. <laughs> and now okay, this is what this is what I'm looking for. Thracians versus Eastern Infantry should work pretty well actually. Uh, this, this this should be this should be a fun time because these men are wearing pajamas and are generally going to go down uh, pretty darn fast. Actually, these guys are they're the worst. They're like uh, yeah, uh, morale two, melee attack three, defense is ten, which is not the worst. Five of that is shield as well. So even if they go up against armor piercing, it's okay. In fact, I'm amazed that pajamas represent three armor. That quite frankly feels you know generous. And the Thracians, the Thracians hey. are losing some strength. Uh, they they, they would are at least wearing something all over. Yeah. Um, unlike the other guys who are like in a thong. Yeah, but these guys are like you know badasses, which is why they're doing that. They're wearing like a nice hat. They've got this lovely, uh, this lovely. And they do have a shield. Yeah, and they've also got. I think though the faces are semi-randomized. I think the chest hair is not. That's actually this guy is. <laughs> Do you think this is random? Do you think this is a? Do you think this guy's got less chest hair? Yeah, I think he is. I think, I think. Look at this guy and the guy behind him. Oh yeah, that goes. Okay, yes. Okay, can confirm there is randomized chest hair in Rome Total War Remastered. Answering the important questions for you. That is okay. Who's the hairiest chest in this entire army? Versus okay, actually no, this guy. Oh, this there's, there's also I need to find also the guy who's waxing. Like who, who's the who's the clearest? I think there's a pretty. Oh, don't be mean. Maybe some of them are a bit younger. Yeah, there we go. I think I think this guy who's at the back. I think he's kind of you know he's the one there. Okay, so can, can confirm it's not just faces that are randomised. It is also chest hair length. This is this is this is chest. There's this guy. This is this is the guy. He's got the least. There we go. We now we now know for certain. And this guy's this guy's got bright green hair. <laughs> Look, will you stop shaming these Shh. poor men for their fashion choices? This guy's got no chest hair, bright green hair. This, who, who are you? I, I want to know your backstory, mate. Listen. I need, to, I need to know this man's backstory. What's going on with him? <laughs> why is he, why is he got bright green hair? How did he end up here? Hey, hey John, you know the, the, the. You know the trope of like a girl who dresses as a boy to like, Oh holy battle. shit, holy shit. It's like a leprechaun who dresses as a human to good battle. <laughs> what? Or something. The fuck are you all about? Is he the last one? Yeah Three C Yuds! Three C Yuds! Three C Yuds! Well now I'm gonna buy this game, said Thumper. Now that now we know this randomized chest hair length, it's not just faces and hair, it's cocking chair. I'm amazed. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the get I'm gonna tell the devs, like some on the, the, the private Discord. I'm gonna tell them I really appreciate that the naked units have randomized chest hair. Wow. Uh shout out to Axel Fack who gave us five dollars and says thank you once again for all your videos. I'm an astrophotographer. Wow and often have hours to kill sitting in the dark. You vi your videos make it much more fun. Oh. That is so cool. That's a cool you job. You have the coolest job on top of the coolest dogs. That's a cool job, yeah. Mm. Uh, Brian gave us five euros and says, wait, there's actually a mini-map now? Game changer. What, mini-map in the, in, the, in the fights? That was always there, wasn't it? Mm, Am I, I misremembering? It's your game. I thought it was always there. Well, technically, I didn't actually make it. Well, but I mean, like, it's your fandom. I I would have if you'd asked me I'd say that would that had always been there. Yeah. Um, I thought that had always been there, but I may be misremembering. Who knows? Uh, let's see. King of Camels uh, gave us ten pounds and says, "Hey John and Claire, it's been ages since I caught a stream. This brilliant game is great to return to. Lots of love to you both and to my lovely fellow fans too." 
P.S. Bring back Julianus Vitinius. I, I was hoping he might show up, like there might be a promotion <laughs> out of, uh, you know, the, uh, out of the city or whatnot. But in the end, he just chose not to appear, which is sad, but what can you do? But yeah, I think you can see here the, um, the consequences of the extreme oh. unit scale and real population system. This town has 500 people in it. Pontus has been draining it dry. Pontus has just been completely draining it dry, and that's just a thing as has been happening. Um, Brian says he meant on the campaign map. Oh yeah, I think that is. I think that is kind of new. Uh, though, as I say, it's almost it's weird how radioactively green uh, Gaul is. Also, I think I think we should put out as we as it is past midnight uh, at this point. We should we should fact we should thank Claire for her service and point out that if you wish to support Claire, you could do so like directly with her coffee link, which I'm sure the bot will generate at some point. If you wish to support, if you wish to give a little tip to Claire for her many many hours of service. Thank you. Excuse me, Greek cities. Um, we have talked about this and also kicked you out of Greece. You sure you want to start something with me, mate? Because I'm not convinced you do. Bloody hell. Bloody Greek city. And they go, oh, you kicked us out of Greece, so we're slightly annoyed about this. And, ah, Porolisum's back. So this guy's now up to... Yes, he's now generating 177 denarii. That's a good amount. Honestly, I think that's a really, really good amount for him to be... Trading. Uh, and he could be trading, yeah, a lot less than that elsewhere. He could trade in Thrace for 150, which is pretty good. There are merchants he could uh, buy. That's a merchant. In fact, you know what? I feel like he should step outside just to buy out this merchant. That's apparently only 66. We'll give it a go. Okay, he's dead. And now he's, Oh, now he's up to six. Oh, now, he, now he's up to six. Now he's up to six. That generates... Okay, so now that's up to 196 gold every time. And I'm, getting, and I'm getting gold just up front for the murder. So this is, it's just, I think it's its really cool. I, I need to investigate it, but I think, it, I think it's a very cool system. I think it's a very cool system indeed. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Ghost Raider who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much thank indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, Ghost Raider says, sorry if this has been addressed before, but how possible is a Fallout 4 you only live once? Preston can't give you missions if he's gone, wink, wink. Sorry, what? Well, I'm not sure if maybe they've missed something because, you know, we've been doing Fallout 4. You only live once. And... Huh? I, I, I'm afraid I don't know. I don't understand. Didn't you park Preston in the castle so he wouldn't give you missions? Uh, so, so, he, so he wouldn't give me missions that uh, he gave me directly. It's easier if he gives you... Uh, it's easier if you get given missions... Uh, not directly by him, uh, and you get them over the radio, so you can turn them in more effectively. Oh, Ghost Raider says, sorry, I meant to kill everyone. Okay. Ah, that sorry, makes a I lot just saw more that. sense. So, yeah, uh, how possible is Fallout 4 kill everyone? Preston can't give you missions if he's gone. Yeah, that, that makes more sense right there, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, it, it's, uh, like, in many ways, I kind of consider, like, it's, okay. it's something I've already, like... I feel like the no gun drum was kind of in the spirit of it, which some people have never been satisfied with. But I feel like some, plenty of the material I might have used for it, I've already kind of used for, uh, I already kind of used in, in no guns. I, I, it's not something I'm in a rush to do anyway. No. Oh, oh no. What? Nick gave us $5 and says, I skipped all my classes today to watch this stream. Rome is more important than a degree. Stay in school. Stay in school, kids. I mean, that's very Be kind, cool. but also... Please, like, take care of yourself and your future. Yeah. Um, you know, also, if, you ha if your lectures are all on Zoom, maybe do both. Yeah, yeah doing both is entirely possible, too. <laughs> oh, this is just... Oh, I love mm. it. Flipping love it. Uh, in theory, it is... Trippers guess I is not very much. Thrace is... Tyler's will be 167. We could go and check if there's any more. Like, look at that. It's so much trade. To bloody Thrace just gets to swim in the money. Also, this was such a lovely visual representation. The caravans and the boats, like, so you had a visual representation of how much trade was going on. That was always a lovely system. I always enjoyed that. That was great. Claire. Uh, yeah. How are you doing, by the way? Oh, uh, let's see. How am I doing? <laughs> That's a good... Uh, 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 I'm under a page. Oh, sweet. It's almost we like could eat food soon. It's almost like I'm good at my job. Mm -hmm. Um... 
anyway, shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Ale who gave us twenty dollars and says, John, I forget where I read it, but someone pointed out that there are no such things as male palm trees. This author theorized that they were upward corkscrew water fountains, allowing there to be hanging gardens. I've I've seen the theory before, but I'm not aware of any significant evidence outside of pure speculation uh, to it. Uh, so I, I I'm not aware of whether there's any real significant, uh, you know, uh, academia back it up. Besides, yeah, that sounds fun. Let let let's let's go for that. Uh, I'm happy to just take care of you. Ooh, did a bit of. Okay, apparently those two are now allied with each other, which I was not expecting. Uh, I, I, I hadn't realised they were allied with each other. Also, basically, screw you. We need to get some more flipping towers out. Clap. Yeah, uh, it's your favourite username. Smells like Tim Spirit. I do love that username. It's great. Uh, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars and says, Hey, you guys, rad news. The play for the end of my programme is in two weeks. And I'm super excited. I hope that you guys have been having a great day. Love you all a ton. Oh, love you too. Uh, yes, indeed. And a very important set of questions following from Andrew, who gave us $10 and wants to know, John, Papa Doms or bread? I think I'd probably go for bread like 99% of the time. Like, yeah, but maybe a very specific time I might go for Papa Doms, but it would be very rare. But I also feel like that's a bit of a weird question because like Papa Dom is a type of flatbread that's very specific, whereas yeah. bread is like... There's so many different kinds. Agree, you know? yeah. Um, and uh, Claire, still or sparkling water still every time. Yeah, uh, still, 100%. I don't really like Her sparkling still. water at all. Yeah, uh, yeah it's um, gross. It is gross. I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, I will take it in a white wine spritzer because I am a white lady. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> there are things you have to do. Wow. What? It's a very classic Karen drink, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Grish just throwing hot lights at me. But actually, this can be fun because this is this is another thing that says, which is if you built buildings on the battle map or on the campaign map, they appeared on the battle map. So there ought to be a an actual tower uh, in this battle map. It ought to be around here somewhere. And interesting. Yeah. Papa Doms are crisps, said Thumper. I don't... Not convinced. Mm -hmm. No, no. The thing is, like, crisps, crisps, sorry, crisps, are yeah. made by taking, like, a root vegetable, mm -hmm. cutting it into thin slices, and frying that. Yeah. Whereas poppadums are made by making a dough, and cooking it, frying it, pan... I, I don't actually... I don't actually know how poppadoms are made but i'm assuming fried maybe uh-huh um so like the key element there is that it's a dough which is what i think makes it a flatbread yeah okay interesting theory going on here mm -hmm. interesting theory this is not really enough uh yeah, this is a lot less infantry than I'd like to have. Uh, but we have what we have, and we will simply do what we can with it. And then I do actually have a giant pile of it. It's all going to be about the um, it's going to be about the cav, right? It's going to be this is going to be entirely about the cav. Because uh, other than that, yeah, we're just going to have to hold against a giant pile of hoplites, and then we're just going to have to hit them in the rear. When the time is right. So, okay, clap while they uh, come up to us nice and slow like. Uh, yes. Uh, people are pointing out there are other types of crisps that aren't made of potato. Yeah, uh, they are. And that are made of like grain and, you know, and they can be chickpeas very and nice, stuff like yeah. that. Um, Poppadoms can be baked in an oven or deep fried. Thank you so much. Um, I mean,. Eh, I don't think, I don't think it matters because bread is delicious, crisps are delicious, and poppadoms are delicious. So you know, it's all in the same category of deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. What do you? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. 
Alex gave us five pounds and says, Hey, John and Claire, I've been watching the channel since uh, No Kill. I was in the hospital for some bad mental health last week and your videos have really helped me. Thank oh, you. Oh, good. Well, not good, but like, uh, glad we helped. Yes, I'm glad we helped rather than making it worse. And I uh, hope that you are feeling better and that you are able to be at home and that you are safe now. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I'm uh, so very glad that you are still around to let us know that. Yes. This uh, is interesting. I think the AI used to be much worse at like keeping its hoplites in hoplite formation under all circumstances. But these guys seem to be, yeah, they're moving outside of hoplites and they're only forming up hoplites when they get close. Which is actually really interesting, uh, which obviously you know means they can move a lot faster. So that's actually kind of interesting. This guy's trying to block me from looping around the outside, so this is this is actually okay at the moment. I'm in a good position to just get around the back of them, and as soon as they actually make contact with my actual units, we can just sort of like um, close the door on them, and then we hopefully can get the uh, get the brakes that we need. Uh, so yeah, they're coming in right now, and you get over there. You're going to be over that. You're going to be over that. And you two are going to... You can just join over here. You can do a little bit of a... Oh, good, 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 good little fake out there. Good little fake out. And then these guys are... Yep, hit him in the back. And that's going to break them. And that's Hoplites destroyed. And that's another unit of Hoplites destroyed uh, right over there. They are broken too. And now we can just start lining up our Hoplites. You can't have just Hoplites. Like, this is another thing I love. Like... If you play this game for the first time, you look at it and you think, oh, well, these, these units are completely unbalanced. No, absolutely not. They're not. Because they're so slow and unwieldy. They need to be supported. Unsupported hoplites are garbage. Let's look how easily I've just broken this army right here. It's just they, They've just fallen apart. Absolutely fallen apart right here. Uh, but, like, if they can be, if you can get enough of them in a line at the end against the right army composition, they're hugely powerful. Hugely, hugely powerful. Now you guys Ooh. already broken, actually. Good, 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 good. Everything's under control. I think we're just going to chase them off. Clap. Yeah, I think we've got a resolution to this question, which is that Brian gave us five euros and says, I feel as a culinary arts student that as far as I've learned, poppadoms are basically tortilla chips, but from non-tortillas. And then weed and wine in the chat uh, says, as someone from that culture, you're basically right. It feels, it fills a similar food space. And I, I think that makes sense, right? When you say, is something a crisp or a bread or is it a sandwich or stuff like that? Like, I was talking about how it's made, but people rightly pointed out it's, all of that stuff is made in a lot of different ways. Yes. And I think probably the use case is what we want to look at. Like, why... I'm like, I'm so tired, it's past midnight, and then someone is like, a food question, and I'm like, oh, the use case, blah, 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 suddenly very awake and having deep thoughts about stuff. Lol. So there you go, that's, that's very me. Um, yes, indeed. And just smash into them, they should be, this is Militia Hop, like, they've got to be breaking sooner rather than later, right? Because, yeah, they've regrouped on this flank, but they can't do... They can't do that much, surely. This has got to be... How on earth are you not breaking? Come on, wavering, wavering, wavering. There we go, there's the break. You gotta... They're very powerful. Everything's powerful. Like, elephants are ridiculously strong and so tough. But then you can just, like, if you can just make them go berserk, then all of a sudden they're attacking the enemy. Phalanxes are ridiculously strong. But if you can just hit them in exactly the right way, then they just collapse and, like... Uh, chariots are dumb powerful, but then if you just get a phalanx on them, they're absolutely screwed. There's so much interesting rock, paper, scissors going on. You gotta love it. Alright, you guys get over here and just cause these guys to break, please. More spiky, spiky, spiky poke. Spiky, spiky, spiky poke. Oh, you can see some of the dirt here. Units get dirty as they fight, and this guy's been fighting for a while, so they are filthy at this point. I imagine there might be like a little blood DLC at some point, because yeah, you... They, they do that for the reason of the rating, like, um, they keep the game not bloody to keep the rating down, then the blood is DLC, so that the DLC can have a rating, but the game can still be, like, you know, have a more generous everybody rating. Um, so I imagine there might be a blood, uh, there might be a, a blood DLC at some point, which would be very interesting to see. Uh, but yeah, you got some of the dirt there. You don't see it, I think it can do with seeing a bit more of it. To be honest, but uh, yeah, there we go. There's some uh, there's some mucky mucky pups. So for people who enjoy their men, uh, you know, naked in leopard print skirts and also covered in mud, uh, bouncing wow wow. There you go. 
I was excited until you said coveted man. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the Greeks have decided, oh shit, it turns out we cannot possibly stand against John. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Let's see, Eli gave us $10 and says, I really enjoy this channel's content. Thank you uh, for all the wonderful content over the last six months. A question for uh, each of you. What's your favorite book or series today? Uh, today specifically? Well, I mean, just because, you know, I'm assuming they mean because a favorite book is kind of hard to say. Yes. Like, well, I just started. I just got the first episode of Invincible on Amazon, the um, which is the adaptation of the graphic novel, and enjoyed that. So I, I'm enjoying that right now. That's very current. Uh yes, that was fun. The first episode of that. Um, I thought they meant a book series. Um, the the thing that I've read recently that really made an impression is uh, the um, the newest and final book in the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers, which is called. Um, the, I, I, and now I don't recall because it's late. Sorry, no. just give me a second. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. Uh, the Galaxy and the Ground Within. Yes. She always has wonderful titles. Is that part of the same like extended series that I had read the first one of? Yes, it is. I enjoyed the first one. Then the second one completely lost me. Yeah, that's it, because it completely changed series... the cast. It changed the cast entirely. Like all my favorite characters weren't in it anymore. Yeah, that's because it's you know in the same universe, but it's not really like a series that follows. It's not direct sequels. But it was a direct sequel. The event, the the event, one of the key events at the end of the first book was immediately picked up on in the second, and two of the main characters were continued from the first. Right, but like, it's you know that there, there's a spectrum of how direct sequel a series is right mm. like you've got stuff set in the same universe that's fully different it's like you've got a guards book and a witch's books and some of the characters will be the same but they're not like a direct you know yeah um this one is and i mean also i think you know it's quite <sighs> the first book had a very specific structure that was very episodic mm. and with each subsequent book she's kind of experimented a little bit more and this one is like um the the galaxy in the ground within is just like a, a kind of a it's it's a story that is like maybe smaller stakes like a smaller cast and the stakes is only like for these people very personal stakes mm. and i don't know i just i just bloody loved it it was really really good and really impactful and also i've been really struggling to read for a long time because 2020 mm -hmm. and um and yeah i just uh i just really really loved it um i don't know i just i enjoyed the structure of wayfarer 2 more than wayfarer 1 because i found that quite um quite i found it too episodic for me the first one that's the wayfarer series by becky chambers mm -hmm. uh, and the first book is called the long way to a small angry planet mm -hmm. that one i really enjoyed that was really good yeah no it was really fun i just like really oh blimey oh, dear. like it's one of those <laughs> things where small angry planet was her first book and it was really successful as self-published online because it was really good and intriguing and it did different things but i think you can see through the future books in that series how she's really clearly like honing in on the type of stories that she likes to to to, to focus on mm -hmm. and getting better as a writer and like i just you know i just yeah that, that final it really really it's it's about like basically a space truck truck stop like a shitty planet where nothing happens but the only thing about it is that it's in between two like you know space highways basically like two corridors for uh hyperspace jumping mm -hmm. and so people stop there to like refuel and stuff and basically like something goes wrong with the <laughs> the station the space station and they're like stuck in this you know basically space truck stop uh for you know four or five days instead of like four hours mm-hmm and it's a bunch of people from like different species with different experiences that all have places to be <laughs> and are stressed out because uh, anyway it's just really great just bought potassium for 100 grand by the way because i didn't really have anything to spend so i thought oh, i got potassium here you go here's 100 grand piss off 
<laughs> this town belongs to me now. Screw you. And I just love it because it means... Oh, this is another thing I love, by the way. That, yeah, if you just had enough money, you could just basically say, you know what, that guy belongs to me now. And it means you could have, like, you know, your Greek faction could just have a, a barbarian in it because, you know... You just feel like it. And it also means you can get followers you wouldn't normally be able to get. And once you've got a follower in your faction who you'd not normally be able to get, you can transfer him to anybody else. So that Beastmaster can now just go to, you know, mm. anyone else I feel like. It's just like, yeah, this is great. Love it. It's just like, oh, the flipping. Just, 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 just great. Just, it's just the best. Just the flipping best. Oh, just, oh, it's this cocky game. Ah, oh, spy towns for hundred grand because of cam. Clap. Uh, How are you doing, by the way? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're at like half a page now. I think. Go, Claire. Go. Then we can feed Tabby. And us. Yeah, and um, us too, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Brian who gave us five euros and wants to know if there's a cap on the number of merchants, like in medieval too. It is. Uh, it's ca it's on the economic building. So uh, one at market, one at forum, one at great forum, and I think that's it. Uh, so yeah, it's three per. Uh, yeah, three per. Uh, dibbly blah, 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 uh, building. But like in theory, if you had like fifty settlements, you could have one hundred and fifty of them. As far as I can tell, I can't see any limit in that regard. So yeah, it's it's interesting. Also, why am I building levy pipemen and phalanx pipemen are right there? Uh, yeah, shout out to some other guy, part two electric boogaloo, who gave us twenty dollars, and to uh, Pope Joe Fitz, who gave us five euros, and says, "Hey John, I'm donating to support uh, after all uh, that you've entertained me, and to hear the amazing Claire read my name." Oh, so thank you, Pope Joe Fitz. <laughs> Uh, and Warble gave us five pounds uh, and wants to know what is your favorite misconception that people have about the Iliad. I love how Ellen and I love how Helen and Paris are supposedly in love, but she only speaks of him with utter disdain. No, no, that's I think a lot of people know that it, it's fun. And also like how Helen blatantly flirts with uh, Hector um, and tries to choose me. He's like, nope, don't care. <laughs> Which is always fun. Um, I don't know. Uh, I suppose people like get hung up on the idea of you know Achilles or Achilles as like you know they get hung up on uh, the violence of it, and a lot of people just sort of skim over the fact that you know a lot of uh, the entire the entire point of the book is is Achil is Achilles basically realizing that. Uh, you know, rage and battle and glory and everything is all completely pointless, and in the end, it it, it can't. Uh, and in the end, it, it basically screwed him over, and it doesn't matter. Um, but people, you know, get get really into get really into you know the whole uh, uh, dog yet decorum, and kind of forget the whole moral message at the end of the Iliad. Possibly because the Aeneid, when it converted the Iliad in the second half of the Aeneid, cut it off, which is hilarious. Did you know? I don't know if you know this. I don't know if it's spoken to all. No, I so, don't think so. The Iliad is the Iliad is primarily a, a revenge saga, where a series of revenge killings leads to Achilles ultimately killing uh, the the greatest Greek, ultimately killing the greatest Trojan. Achilles kills Hector, and you feel like that's gonna be the end. And it's like, oh shit, I don't feel any better. And and yeah, because this, Patroclus and, is still dead. And Patroclus is still dead. And like this doesn't actually help me. And shit, I've I this is this is completely pointless. And I feel shit about it all. Um. And then the Aeneid takes the exact formula of the Iliad and like, as, oh yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a series of revenge sagas which culminates in Aeneas, the greatest of the Trojans, killing Turnus, the greatest of the native Italians, and that's the end. He doesn't feel bad. And some people speculate this might be some very subtle literary, uh, a little, uh, a little literary point by Virgil uh, that for people who are wise enough to see it, that this was very subtle anti- you know, anti-Augustus propaganda in the pro-Augustus propaganda. Um, which I like as a theorem, I don't know whether, whether I really believe it or not. Uh, but yes, it's fun. Also, I'm massively outnumbered, but screw it. This Pontus force is nothing but trash. I might be able to hold up against it if I get a good hill. Uh, yeah, and Karabidov gave us uh, 5 euros 50 and says, Hey, John and Claire, I love your videos. Thank you for the entertainment. I'm looking forward to the finale of KOTOR. By the way, what's your favourite literary period outside of ancient Greece? I like Dickens, so let's go for whatever period that is. 
<laughs> uh, Ron Garion gave us another $25 uh, and says, I don't know how you feel about what if scenarios, but I'm asking anyways. If the Senate, or more specifically Cato, weren't so hell-bent on not giving Caesar the pro-council position he wanted, would he have crossed the Rubicon? He probably would have found a different reason to do so, I would speculate. I would speculate an excuse would have been found, some perceived or actual slight or dishonour. I do not realistically believe that there would have been uh, any chance that... Uh, some, that he would not have found a different excuse to do precisely the same thing for some other reason. Yeah, and uh, Oman Gaming gave us $5 and says the Seleucid campaign in this is a prime example of players being much better than the AI. With those uh, OP phalanxes, it's hard to lose that one. Uh, it depends. Uh, it, can, it can be a simple campaign. It can be a very difficult campaign. Uh, okay, these guys are attacking me, and I said uh, the only way I've got a chance is if I've got a good hell. Ho oh, ho, have I got a good hell. So I may have some very spread out, uh, very kind of slim, not deep at all phalanxes, but I've got a lot of firepower. I've got an awful lot of firepower, and with a bit of momentum behind me, these cavalry can do a lot. So we'll see how this goes. Clap! Hey, John. Yeah? Um, if you build a highway in Greece, would there be a Colossal of Rhodes. It's quite flimsy. That's from uh, What Watex, who gave us a five pounds. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> extremely apt um, message here from Brian, who gave us five euros and says, eight hours later. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Iswa PL gave us five Australian dollars and says, Can John award us an MATN degree in classics after watching every Rome Total War video and stream he's made? Uh, uh, rises bad history being corrected, etc. Mm -hmm. That seems eminently fair and reasonable to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many a true degree. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know these are spearmen, but like I've got. But they're, they're, they're trash spearmen. So I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna go give him a little bit of a poke. What's this, by the way? Is that that's Pontic Light Cavalry? Uh, I'm just gonna try to charge into these guys, and they're gonna be sent. That did not go as well as I was hoping for. Uh, and now they're sending. Oh, now they're sending the heavy cat. Oh shit! The heavy cavalry just came in and absolutely wiped my. Oh dear! This 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 is dicey. Uh, that heavy cavalry just did mean horrible things i did not keep an eye on those guys being there and heavy cavalry is not a joke uh okay that that's tricky uh but on the plus side i do have plenty of oh dear uh they're kind of flanking me they've got they're using the numbers pretty intelligently here they're staying away from my they're staying away from the front but on the plus side the chariots are about to come straight into uh, flipping. But look at this. I think chariots are better than they used to be. Like, look at that. That chariot would have taken way more damage and fallen apart way more easily in old, uh, old Rome. So that they're trying to just get the flank around me. Uh, there's also... That's Pontic Heavy Cavalry. That's just going to hit... Walk straight into that. And look at that. Like, that's... That, that's got good penetration. Better than it would have done otherwise. How are you guys doing, by the way? Wavering. Just hold for one second, guys. Just hold for a second. You guys, getting over here. I've got... I've got Cav coming in, guys. I've got Cav coming in. No, don't, don't mass break. Yes, come on. If I can just trigger a mass Eastern Infantry break here, I might have a chance. But you guys just hold for one second, please. Hold for one second. And eager. Oh, no. Why are you eager? Eastern Infantry should never be eager. That feels weird and wrong. Um, what have you guys got? Oh, the uh, that's falling apart. Uh, you guys redraw up over here. Try and guard this flank as best you can. The cavalry's pretty much falling. Ah, oh, I think we got. I don't know, I think we got this. Uh, use the use the the AI use the uh, the Eastern Infantry pretty well here. To be honest, this this was actually pretty pretty effective right there. They did a good job at just using their numbers to get around the side of me and not engaging directly with the phalanx and now they're just using their skirmishes and they're not engaging and they've got so many here that they can stand and fight even without major issues i mean maybe okay my only chance is this weak unit 
If I could get a break on it, that I could convert into a mass. But I can't even get a break on that. Even then, they're steady. Yeah, we're done. This is... Unfortunately, that's a loss. That's... Uh, I I shouldn't have auto-resolved at Pergamum. That was dumb and risky. And now everyone's going to die. And yes, as a result of that, this is all... Yeah, these guys... They've done a really good job. They've done a really good job. I think this is an example of slightly improved AI. Which is the AI avoided engaging directly with my phalanxes. They worked around me until the phalanxes broke by themselves, which is clever and makes sense, and yeah, was a good job. Good job all round, basically. Well done to the AI. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Ken, who gave us $10, uh, and says, John, which would you rather have, this one is tricky, by the way. Oh, bloody hell. Which would you rather have Fallout New Vegas 2 by Obsidian, that's everything you've ever dreamed of, or... A key to deciphering linear A. Oh, New Vegas too. Fuck linear A. Linear, it's probably oh. boring. It's probably boring as shit. Wow. Do you have any idea how boring linear B is? It's fucking shopping lists. And people are saying, oh, so-and-so didn't give me enough money for my ox. And he promised me five copper and he got four. <laughs> so, like, fuck, it's boring as shit, linear B. Linear A is probably just as boring. So this is fine. Yeah, okay. fuck, fuck linear A. Well, Ken also said... Oh, there's another dead general. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you do. Wow. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, Sergeant in the chat points out the amount of dye used on those clothes uh, enough to build a freaking empire. Decent troops uh, are not that far removed from those guys. Lol. Yeah, that's very true. Um, and from Walnut Pea Shooter, mm -hmm. uh, who gave us $10. Hey John, I've been a fan since the Fallout New Vegas uh, days. Have you considered doing a Total War Shogun 2 series? I'm mostly asking because it's now 10 years old and I've been doing a school project on it. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy, fancy, but I don't think it's quite for uh, quite for me. You're about to offer peace. No, I thought so. It's like, there's too much, like, I want to do Rome Remastered. I want to do uh, Total War, uh, Warhammer 3. Like, at some point, yes, but not right now. Basically. Uh, now is not the time, and... Oh, this guy's become a commercial conqueror at this point, oh, though he's picked cool. up a few enemies, so his personal security goes down. Just like, um, merchants, uh, always used to. Like, as you get better at your job, you become more assassinatable, uh, unfortunately. So, yeah. Generate he's, he's generating 200 denarii a turn, so he's, he's supporting 10% of an army just by himself, which is huge. That's, that's a lot. That's, that's an awful lot for one guy just... And he's also acting as a really useful spy. Ah, there we go. I think I, I think I've massively overextended and not bothered actually building enough troops here. I got a little bit a uh, little bit overextended in this part. Also, why on earth are you guys not repaired, dear oh dear? Clap. Uh, yeah, we're uh, caught up now. Brilliant. Yeah. We can um, do, I'm putting some pet pictures in the chat now mm -hmm. for people. Uh... Oh dear. Okay. Who are you? And yeah, this guy's just chilling out here, but he's he's relatively achieving nothing. He's generating he's generating nothing because one he's in my own city because I accidentally left him in there, and two he's uh, we're under siege there, so that's a bit of a it's a bit of a problem. And actually, that's that's true. If you explore settlement on the battle map while it's under siege, what does that look like? Do, do you actually get to see anything? I've, I can't remember if that was actually a thing in the original. And if so, what's about to happen? But yes, the uh, examine settlement in Battle Map you can do, which is wonderful. Clap. Uh, we're still caught up, and I'm still sharing cat pictures in the chat. Oh, that's a shame. It doesn't actually... Um, you do have, Oh, look at that. The sun in the distance is nice. That's pretty. Uh, so we do get the boats. The nearby boats are represented. So it's just... You know, you've got the little, you've got the little gap right there, and the boat that's in there is actually represented. But I, I think it's, I, I, yeah, cut it out. I'm a bit sad. I am a bit sad that this is, uh, the city's under siege, but it's not actually under siege. Like the enemy army's not here, which I guess is fair, I suppose. But it would still be nice if it was. It would still be nice if it had shown up there. That'd be cool. This is also, have they changed this? By the way, I did give them one bit of feedback. Which is when you zoom down, when this is like this, um, all the women have one facial expression and they are fucking furious. They, they, they absolutely, they, they hate everything. No, it's still there. Every single woman looks just like this. They, there is only one face. 
all the women share one face. So, like, all the women in, like, like art history that are bored yeah. of, like, men talking at them. And they are really fucking pissed off to be living in Byzantium right now. Uh -huh. The men have got a bit of variety going on. Uh, but the women all have the same, like, ones. They they have the variety hair, but they're one and the skin colour varies. But the actual face, they, they have the same single shared face. And it is y yes, pissed off. Yes, all women. All really pissed, alright? Uh, all the, really angry. You see, the, the men have the same level of variety. Like, her skin tone is a bit different. Her hair's a bit different. But she, they have one, they show one single expression. And it is pissed off. Fair. Yeah. I mean, it tracks. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. There's so much more nice weird. clutter and decoration in the towns these days, which is really nice. It's really nice how much just stuff. There's just stuff. There's a bunch of just like you know. There's just a bunch. Of, there's just nice stuff just hanging about, making things a bit more you know nice. There's even look at that. It's like this tiny, tiny insignificant bit of water over here. It's got a bit of like glimmer on it. This is tiny well. No one's gonna see that, but they've bothered animating like a little bit of well. They That's actually put really like glittery nice. water in it. That's lovely. Appreciate that. That's really nice. There's a little fountain over here that's got a bit of glimmer. So then in this corner, this building that no one has any reason to ever go in. It's just like, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff here. I approve of this. This is nice. You know, they didn't need to do this. Like, no one was no one was going to kind of say, oh, well, the toads haven't got an extra additional clutter of so zero out of ten. But they did. They went above and beyond. Appreciate this a lot. Yes, uh, and let's see. We've got a few more things that have come in. Yes. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Hannah gave us £10 and says, I've been subscribed to the channel for five years this year, so here's a donation to support many more years. Thank you, John and Claire, for all your hard work. But most importantly, thank you, Tabby. Oh, Tabby. Uh, Brian gave us five euros and says their husbands must have gambled away all the savings on the chariot races. Something like that, yes. Yes, pretty much. Oh, dear. Uh, and from Sci-Fi Storm, who gave us ten Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, I realized I wanted to give something once I found work, which I have now. So here you are. Yay. Thank you so much. Also, what are your thoughts on overhaul mods like Medieval 2, Stainless Steel, and Rome 2, Divide et Impera? Mm -hmm. uh, it really depends, thing to thing. Uh, you know, sometimes they can add a bit of freshness to me. For the most part, I like my mods to be subtle and compliment, and compliment what's already there. Uh, on occasion, I can I can be interested in this, but for the most part, it's not my cup of tea. I, I like my mods to be a bit more subtle uh, than the full <laughs> conversion. Sorry, Hannah says in the chat, to be honest, I would look like that if I lived in Byzantium. Me too, there's no internet there. <laughs> be pissed. Dear, oh dear. To be like, I, 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 what do you mean I can't play Dorf Romantic? Oh, good lord, always you and the Dorf bloody romantic, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, mostly, I would miss my slack, but, mm -hmm. you know. And also, you know. Fuck I'm... off, Numidia! We have been <laughs> over this! We have been the fuck over this! Oh, my God. Fucking Numidia. <laughs> hate fucking Numidia. I'm putting the brightness back up, by the way. I like, the vi I like it to be vibrant. I know. Vibrant! Vibrant! Yeah! Colourful! There we go. Uh, there we go. Shout out to Derp Squad who gave us two pounds and says only 3.5 hours to go to match the Factorio stream. No, no you don't. No you don't. We go, we, we, we go, we go to the end card. Yeah. Uh, do I have the song, is, by the way? The thing is, unfortunately, I've got, to, it's in the inbox. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Fine. Yeah. I'll land her up. Sorry. Um, the thing is, I mean, we, we've got loads of work to finish. If we're actually going to move in like, you know, nine days or whatever um we uh oh we... yeah <laughs> but we won't find out whether we're moving in nine days until two days so we've actually only got seven days well no we're finding out tomorrow now are we because it's 1 a.m oh okay fine whatever <laughs> that's a technicality sorry i'm 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 a little stressed out about it mm-hmm dear oh flippin dear right thank you also very much for joining us and uh yes we will be Rome Remaster will be back next week. There is the Oh, that's a picture of some kittens. They're Rome Remastered tiny. will be back next week, beginning on Monday, brand new series, a challenge run. Obviously very hard, very hard in the base game. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good flipping time. So 
<laughs> oh dear. And you know what? Okay, God, I'll tell you. Uh, what I decided to do, and this was brought up earlier, but I kind of, I kind of, I deliberately laughed it off. Yes, I'm going to be attempting a mercenaries run. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try and beat Road to the Wall without actually training any units. Where the only units I'm allowed to use are the ones you can buy. Uh, are the mercenaries or bribable units or whatever. And it's... It goes some places. It goes some cocking places. Because you can't really... Well, you can retrain mercenaries these days. But only if the mercenaries are available to retrain with. Which is... Often not a thing. So that's that the challenge run begins uh, in uh, next week, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's, we've recorded a few parts of that already. It, it, it's blimey, it goes to places. Um, so thank you all so very much for joining us. Very much. Thank you so much to the Super Chat donators. You've been incredibly generous this evening. So thank you all so very, very much indeed. And bear in mind, we do have one song at the end to, uh, to play us out. So there is a song. It's Raining Elephants coming oh, up, wow. which sounds rather exciting. Um, it's raining men, but it's elephants, as the song explains. So that's, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you all so very much for joining us. Uh, Patreoncast people, uh, Patreon will be recorded tomorrow. Uh, so if you want a ridiculously long podcast of my stuff, then uh, now might be a good time to sign up to Patreon as well, because that will be coming out in a few days' time. Thank you all so very, very much for uh, joining uh, all of this madness and bloody hell. Uh, everyone cross your fingers that maybe there'll be a new MTN headquarters in a few days. Who bloody cocky knows? Thank you all so much. Join us. We're going to have a lovely song to play us out. Thank you very much to Claire. Everyone, consider giving Claire a tip on her coffee. Claire's worked a very many hours. Claire's Thank very tired. You. We're going we're gonna to go now. We're going to feed tabs because she was meowing two hours ago. So... She, she's, she's probably started she knows to, where we sleep she's probably destroying stuff by now thank you everyone <laughs> but Rome to the Wall Remastered coming back very very soon indeed and yes whole bunch of fun stuff coming up over the next few days as well including tomorrow a bit more Hitman 3 uh, the first of the Seven Deadly Sins which is weird stuff so yes more exciting stuff coming up and okay a weird paradox takeoff on Saturday that's worth checking out. It's weird. Someone's tried to kind of make a weird paradox takeoff, and it kind of works. It's weird. Uh, so, yes. And also, I'll enjoy the word weird today. And, of course, the other one's on it. So, all sorts of exciting stuff to come up. But in the meantime, I'm a Joe. I'm Big Claire. 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 Players out. It's, it's Myra, right? It this is, is Myra. Players yeah. out, Myra. It's going to be good. Ah. Macedonia's rising. The super chats were down. We up the troop size. We can't fit in the town. It's Rome remastered. The chain codes are active. The coward box is being destroyed. It's gonna start raining men. It's raining men. Hallelujah, the elephants. Hey, man. With all this modding, John's gonna get into such a flipping mess. Good news, guys. Elephants coming. It's raining men. Hallelujah, the spears again. Hey, man. Phalanx, archers, cavalry The stream is now the place to be It's raining man Hallelujah the elephants Hey man It's raining man Hallelujah the elephants Hey man It's raining man Hallelujah the elephants Hey man, it's raining man Hallelujah, the elephants are dead That was really cool, I love it. That was, that was real talent there. That was some real amazing difficult work. That was amazing her. vocal work in there. That was amazing. Good night everybody. Have funk. Good night.